Let's go. It's time. What's happening? Hi. Hello. Welcome, everyone. It's Abdallah here with the full-on brand new DLC, the Teal Mask, part one. Part one of the DLC. So what we're going to do right now is we are going to hang out for a little bit until the DLC drops. Feel free to use the chapters at the bottom of the screen to start seeking through. Odds are this is going to be a really, really long live stream and or VOD depending on when you're watching it. Those of you guys watching it live, thanks for being here. Thanks for enjoying all the content. Those of you guys watching it post, awesome. Enjoy. Uh, now, by watching it all the way through, you'll find out whether or not it's going to be worth the purchase of what, like 30 some odd bucks? For two things of DLC? I don't know. We'll take a look at it together. And it should be a really fun time. Anyway, thank you so much for coming out. Thanks for sharing the stream. Uh, those of you guys that are on Discord squad, awesome. Thanks for being here. Let me know if you guys saw it on Facebook, saw it on Twitter, all of that good stuff. Uh, hopefully you guys saw that. But anyway, um, I'm excited. I'm excited for it. So uh, it'll come out. Uh, the DLC will come out in like literally 20 minutes from now, according to Japanese websites and everything along that. So... That being said, it's uh, it's time now to get ourselves refamiliarized with what the game is. Um, honestly, I haven't touched this game since like the holiday times. Um, I don't remember when we stopped playing it, but like some there are some other games that came out like Zelda and pretty much everything. So that being said, like let's go through, let's see what else is going on and what's uh, what's happening. I don't know which Pokemon we're gonna bring over to that game. Um, and, or maybe we'll find a shiny, right? Like that green one. No, totally not a shiny, but anyway, good to see all of you guys. Thanks for coming out. Uh, hands up at home. If you guys already purchased the DLC, as soon as they released the DLC, like months ago, I just dropped like the 35 bucks and I'm like, all right, you know what? I trust it's going to be good. You know, the game's pretty much unfinished, so we might as well just put it in there. Um, so yeah, that, that's kind of where we're at over here. I don't even know who's in my Pokemon boxes. I don't even know where we're at. We'll maybe do a raid or something like that. I don't know. But it's good to see you guys. Thanks so much for coming out. Um, I, I found my Legend shirt from like Pokemon Legends Arceus. And I'm like, you know what? I should wear that today. Um, so if you guys didn't already purchase one of these, you guys can get some at AbdallahSmash.com. It's there. I think it's pinned somewhere in like the bottom or I don't know. You tell me. Anyway, I'm excited. It's been a little bit since I streamed over here. Uh, we are ready to go, man. I'm ready to go. We're just kind of waiting. We're just waiting until the DLC drops. So anyway, thanks for coming. Let me see. How do I... Uh... Oh, I got my Mew. That's right. Oh, he's level five. I didn't do anything with him. I remember I used like the code to get the free Mew and then like that was it. So yeah, maybe we bring Mew to the next thing. Um, I don't know. I don't really know how the DLC is going to go, friends. Uh, what is this? Oh, he, Palafin's in a, um... Yeah, these are my shiny Pokemon. Let me see. Change box view. Uh, oops. Yeah, I need to learn how to play this game again. Okay, so boxes. Change box view, uh, display Pokemon. Oh, here we go. Hopip. Yeah, I found a, a bunch of these little dudes. <laughs> blue Psyduck. I remember, like, we were in the middle of, like, recording an episode or something, and then there was, like, a Blue Psyduck, and I found him. That was so cool. Um, but yeah, there was a, there was a lot of things happening over here. I don't really know who we're going to bring. I don't know if we're going to be able to bring anyone, to be honest. Hey, Joseph, thank you so much. Oh, uh, great. Oh, you never per participated in the Mew and Mewtwo event. Instead, you have U Mewtwo brought over from Shining Pearl in your party. That's awesome. Congratulations. I wouldn't know how to do anything like that. So, uh, that's pretty good. I started like going through the boxes and like making a uh, living decks, but then I'm like, ah, I don't have the patience to do that. <laughs> so I stopped. Um, so I'm actually curious of what we're going to, who we're going to bring, right? Like, do you guys have an idea of who you're going to bring into this DLC? I honestly hope that we, here's my hopes is that we can't bring anyone, right? I want to be able to start from scratch and I want to get the new Applin. I want to get like all the new Pokemon and I want to start from there. And then once we beat the DLC, then I want to be able to bring everyone in. I wish that it's like that. Um, hands up if you guys agree with me on that. Because like if you come in here with all your level 100 Pokemon, like that's not fun. I mean, for me, sorry, not to speak on everyone. It's not fun to just breeze through something. Uh, but I can see how a lot of you guys would want to do that, right? Maybe I'll bring like a shiny Rotom. I don't know who I'd want to bring. Yeah. I'll bring all my raid Pokemon, right? Like Annihilate and whatnot. Ah, oh, Pokemon Home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's figured. That's that's what I figured out. 
raids offensive man i remember we used to go really hard on the raids and then it just got kind of redundant because that was like the only content that was happening in pokemon scarlet violet it was really fun um so yeah we did greninja yeah dude oh man i remember these guys tox toxtricity was so cool if you had like a partner to help you out with that um i should maybe bring in a vaporeon i don't know level 75 vaporeon who knows what's up david good to see all of you guys um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's actually continue looking around. I don't want any IVs on this Mew though, so I'm just gonna put this Mew away. Let's go put him in, uh, a very fun box, a competitive box. Yeah, I'll put Mew over here. Yeah, I just don't want to give him any, like, IVs, uh, or sorry, I don't want to give him any effort values that, uh, that I don't necessarily want. Alright, so let's see. Plus does this. B, yep, it's like riding a bike. Or it's like riding a Maridon. Alright, let's see, uh... Tap into Sprint. Okay, okay. I think I'm remembering this. And the music looks really good. Let me know how the audio levels are, friends. The background flickering like always. Perfect. Love it. Love it, love it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I don't even know. Let me see. Plus. Uh, let's see. Plus, plus, minus. Yeah, it's good to see all of you guys. Thank you. What's up? Hello, hello. Welcome. Let me see. X does this. How do I look at the menu? Okay, so Y, and then we could fast travel anywhere we want to. Okay. Artisan. Yeah, yeah I remember these places. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, the hidden treasures of Area Zero. Do you think we're going to have to go inside the Great Crater again? I have to really understand, like, what we're doing. Don't I have a Sprigatito? Oh, I think I gave it to a fan. I think I gave my shiny Sprigatito to a fan, didn't I? Oh, shoot. I think I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. Remember, it took forever for me to hatch one. And then, like, I did a play session with a fan that uh, that booked a play session. And we we're in, and they chose to pick Pokemon. And I'm like, okay, you know, here's something nice that you can have. Here we go. So I gave him my Sprigatito. I was, I was noticing something was missing here. Oh, that's a bummer. I got a little shiny Charmander, though. We could use that. I don't know. Yeah, we did work very hard for that grass cat. We we did. We did. But, you know, like, if that's gonna make someone else happy, like, go for it. It's just gonna be in my save file in a box, right? Why would I want to keep a shiny Pokemon like that if I could just share it with someone that'll make them happy? What a nice guy. I know. I know. I know. Would you do that, too? Would you give away one of your most prized shiny Pokemon if it made someone else happy? Let me know. Simple yes or no in the comments. Oh, look at this. Yeah, the graphics are good. It's a good game, man. I mean, I can always try to get another shiny if I had the bandwidth to sit around and spin. Spin around and try to get eggs that had shinies in them. Yeah, like, I can... Sure. Anybody got time for that right now? <laughs> we play a lot of games on the channel, so, like, I don't think I have the bandwidth for that. So, we're just kind of chilling right now. Oh, man. Yeah, you would totally do it if it was a friend? Yeah, I mean, yeah, go for it. Okay, we're gonna find a shiny beforehand. Is that a shiny Growlithe? Wait, do the shinies sparkle? Someone remind me. Do the shinies sparkle? I know they don't make a sound, but they do spark. I don't think they sparkle. Oh, shoot. I don't remember. They do not sparkle in the overworld. You have to be paying attention. Oh, man. Why'd they change that? Eh, that's lame. I thought, like, the closer you get to them, they'll, like, sparkle. Anyway, that's just a rookity. Uh, none of these. That's a blue cloth. I'm, I would need a blue one. We do have the shiny charm, so, like, we're good. We just have to wait for these things to spawn. And then we've got a good, uh, what, like, 13 minutes or so? Hey, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. And this is like my one of my favorite soundtracks too. Yo, Nimble in Pokemon Go though. Can we talk about that? Do you guys catch any? How many guys? Uh, hands up at home. How many guys actually play Pokemon Go? Yeah, Pokemon Go is the jam. It's nighttime. Uh, someone remind me how to make it daytime in this game. There's no like sleeping in a bed, right? <laughs> Dude, I gotta relearn this game. Wee! What is this little thing doing here? Oh, that's Gimme Gowl. What's up, Gimme Gowl? What you doing here? Wait, 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 wait. What's he doing there? What are you doing here, buddy? 
Ow! Yo, he punched me! What the heck was that? Wait, wait, wait. Did they update Gimme Ghoul? Can I catch him in, like, the other form? Uh, Joseph, thank you for the super chat. He says, uh, do you remember the time you found a shiny Driftblim in Arceus? Banana, the Driftblim. I do remember. Yeah, I know exactly who he named that after, too. That was great. I'm glad you remember it. How in the world did you catch a Shundo LeChonk? No, you didn't. Out of here. Out of here with that. Pixar, it didn't happen. Sorry. One does not simply catch a Shundo LeChonk. Out of here, man. Playing the game for, like, seven years. Right? The game's seven years old? I've been playing the game since day one. I still don't have a Shundo in that game. Pokemon Go. Yeah, right. Koala. Oh, these are the, uh, the IV berries, aren't they? Give me that TM for fly. Ooh, fly. All right, let me see if I remember how to do this, right? So you could do Golden Go. Yeah, yeah. String Cheese, surfboard guy. What's up, dude? Yeah, I do like him. Um, yeah, anyway, remember, um, did they give roaming form Gimme Ghoul the opportunity to be in this game? Someone tell me. Because last time I played this game, you could only find him in, like, the chest form. That's kind of the only thing I remember here. So we'll see. Oh, it's a camp. I don't want to be in the camp. Scatter Squad. You know, I don't think I really like those kids. It wasn't uh, as cool as other games. So you got to transfer a Gimme Ghoul from Pokemon Go? No idea how to do that. Is that through Pokemon Home? Dang it. I don't really use Pokemon Home. It's like, I'll keep all the Pokemon that I catch in their respective games. I don't know, am I the only one that does that? Right, like, I'll keep all my shinies inside this game, because that's where I caught them in, right? Like, why not? Like, I don't feel the need to bring them into, like, one organized home, if that makes sense. Oh, what is this? Why? Why, dude? Okay, here we go. You are finding a shiny right now. That's not shiny. None of you guys are. Skip Loom. Dude, where's the night and day, dude? My reason for living is playing the DLC. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Every time I see the green Skip Loom, I think it's a shiny uh, hop up. Could this be a shiny? What are these Pokemon called? Brilliant something or other? How do you even know if it's shiny? Like, you wouldn't. You would have to, like, initiate the battle. Is it? No. Solanda. Oh, gosh. Get out of here. A Terra. Okay, so this one is a... Uh, just a random Terra Pokemon. Okay. I don't care about this thing. See ya. He just did all of that putting his hat on for no reason. It's like, oh, man! Why'd you make me do that? See ya, dude. Dude, I stepped on someone. Out of here, little guy. Yeah, you know what? This game was pretty decent. I still... Dude, I'm still a fan of Pokemon Legends, man. That's my favorite, no doubt. Pokemon Legends Arceus is still the best Pokemon title to date. Like, there is no doubt about it in my mind. There's nothing that'll change Pokemon Legends as being the best game in the series. Even though it was, like, low-key a spin-off, still the best game. I don't know. Please, tell me if you agree with me. Do you guys agree that Pokemon Legends Arceus uh, was a better game than this? Or do you guys think that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is the better game? Dude, and trust me, like, I beat Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, like, four times. Like, I kid you not. Before the game came out, I, I beat Pokemon Scarlet and Violet separately. And then, on stream, I did both of them. So yeah, absolutely. Oh gosh, yeah, absolutely. Like I'm a competent judge, man. I still think Legends Arceus is the best game. I did. There was just something about like hunting Pokemon and throwing Pokeballs at them in the wild, that was so fun. There was just something magical about that, and it was never replicated. Peltay and Tauros, fascinating. 
I do, yeah, trust me, like, don't get me wrong, I do like the old style of Pokemon games. Like, totally do. And I wish I could, I wish I had time to go play them all. What in the world? Oh, wasn't there a Pokemon in a tree that we were trying to get? Dude, I was, re someone rem remind me, I think it was Lainey, right? I think Lainey was around. Is that a shiny? No. Is that a shiny? No. I think it was Lainey that was trying to help me out with that. Like, there was some sort of Pokemon in a tree, like a slacking or something. You slack off. Yeah, yeah. Why was it in the tree? And why do I remember trying to catch it versus, like, breeding it down? I was so stubborn. I was so stubborn. Like, everyone's like, ah, oh, you should just breed it down, man. Just go get a get the slacking, breed it, and then you'll have a slack off. I'm like, no. I'm going to get it in the tree. Oh, dude, that was so funny. I remember Lainey was helping out with that. That was so funny. There was just like all sorts of like different reports on the internet of like which tree it was. No one had any proof on it. And then we pulled it out, man. It was great. It was a great pioneer. Pioneer, man. So it's good, man. <laughs> Come on, purple Murkrow. Dude, okay. Someone remind me. How do I make it daytime? Is it just going to naturally turn daytime in the game? Can I force the daytime-nighttime cycle? Can I go sleep in a bed? Yo, Wiglet! Oh, look at you guys. Oh, man. Dude, Slowpoke is so hard to find shiny. Like, it's just such a subtle coloration. Uh, I don't think you can sleep in your academy room. No, yeah, yeah, it changes naturally. That's exactly what I thought. I love the comments being always right, though. Because, like, naturally you would think, go back to your dorm room, click on the bed, would you like to sleep until nighttime or daytime? You would think that that'd be an option. But, like, still, that's not a thing. Why? You have to check Slowpoke's tongue color to see if it's a shiny? How are you going to wait around to see if its tongue sticks out? Yeah, right. That's so funny. You might as well say, well, you got to check his underbelly. You got to check his underbelly to see if he's, uh... There's no way. Uh, his tongue color. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, you know, get me out of here, dude. Give me somewhere cooler to be. Where do I like? I like Casca. Where's Casca? Costco's my favorite. Let's go to Costco. <sighs> All right, here we go. Okay, Costco, let's do it. Oh, I love the desert, man. The desert's my favorite. <clears throat> The desert was absolutely my favorite. Because you found, like, all these, like, stardust and stuff like that. Hey, what's up, Sorrow? Good to see you. What's up, Jasmine? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're... Everything is good. Everything is good in the hood now that you guys are coming out here today. Thank you. Thanks for watching today. I hope that you guys have a great evening. Um, I do want to warn you that I'm going to be taking attendance at the very end of this live stream. And I'm going to expect every single one of you guys to be there. That's just the unwritten rule of this live stream. As soon as you clicked in here, you gotta stick around to the very end along with me. Who's with me? Hands up at home. <laughs> Who's with me? And we're pulling an all-nighter, friends. We are absolutely pulling an all-nighter. So get your snacks, get your water. I wanna hear it. Take a bathroom break right now, because we're gonna start up in about three minutes. We're gonna start up in about three minutes. All right, Laney's gonna be here good. Cool. Awesome. All y'all good. Super Mario Jacob's gonna be here. Awesome. Zero chance on East Coast time. Hilarious. Well, I mean, when you have to go back an adult, that's perfectly fine. Do your adulting. Uh, you'll just have to rewatch the rest of it. You'll have to bookmark where you left off. That's all. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Yeah, play along with friends if you already have the DLC. Um, in about three minutes, we'll start uh, refreshing the game and seeing what happens, but uh, I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are too. What's this? Oh, Tinkaton. Remember everyone and their moms was in love with this Pokemon? Why? It was just a little baby. It's a humanoid baby. Like, I'm okay. Thanks. 
Ugh. I'm okay. I don't need any more humanoid Pokemon. Thank you. Jinx and Mr. Mime were more than enough for me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. You liked it because it was pink? I mean, I guess that's cool. There's not too many pink Pokemon. I mean, the pink shinies are the best, like Heracross. I love this, like, turd rolling Pokemon. I thought that was so clever. Like, that dung beetle is so good. Like, that design? Absolutely stunning. Love the sand cobra? Absolutely. Like, that was a really good Pokemon design. Oh, there's a lot of them. But they can't all be winners, though. That's the thing. Oh, someone rem remind me, in my Sprigatito only run in Pokemon Violet, didn't we find a shiny Don fan or something? We were just chilling out in the desert trying to grind money, and then, like, we found the, the shiny Don fan, and it was, like, way over level, and it was gonna KO me? I don't remember something like that. I'm just, like, unlocking a memory over here. What the heck is that? Oh, that's a little cactus kid. I do like the chili pepper uh, Pokemon. I thought that was really cool. And the, the little tumbleweed ghost? Yeah, absolutely. That was a nice one. That was a cool little Pokemon. Oh, we got one more minute, friends. Then we're gonna go. Here we go. Big countdown, friends. Big countdown. What's this? Alright, here we go. Can we get a shiny before the next... Uh, the next DLC comes out? Non-outbreak shiny? Yeah, right. You just gotta, like, go and KO a million Pokemon and then, like, hope and pray that it comes out. What is that? That's probably a shiny. I don't even know it. Oh, right, here we go. It's time, friends. Let's save. Let's save the game and we'll see what's up. Downloadable content. Content check, right? Okay, so let's see. Check item details. Uh, you got the following new items. They got a new uniform set. Okay, great. We got that ages ago. Uh, what, in March 1st? How many? Six months ago? When we got, when we bought the DLC? Alright, cool. Save the game. Let's, uh, let's go over here. Uh, let's close. And then we're just chilling right now. We're just gonna see if this actually comes out. Software update via the internet. Oh, dude, that's not cool. Uh, 1.3.2. Anyway, those of you guys that are doing this along with me, please let me know. Wow, 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 wow. I don't know, man. I'll just open it up a couple times. We'll mess around with it. So those of you guys that are updating along with me, please let me know if you got some sort of download happening. Just let me know in chat if it's currently downloading, and we'll go from there. Um, if not then, like, no biggie. Like, we'll just keep on playing the game and we're just gonna hang out all night, so. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And let me know, too, I think, uh, I think we got, like, official links from the Japanese website saying it'll be at a certain time today. We'll see. We'll see. You're using the latest version. Okay, let me see. I'll have to close it. Okay, so if Pokemon Home is updating, I mean, this should be okay. Yeah, I don't think so. One, three, two. Yeah, I don't know. We'll keep on trying. Uh, you went online in-game and it let you update. Hey, thanks, Tiffany. That's great. I haven't tried doing that. Let me go online in-game. Okay, so we got some other reports that people have them downloading. Let me try going online in-game. We'll give that a shot. And if that works, cool. We got a lot of reports in chat right now saying that people are downloading, which is good. This is absolutely a good time. So I love to see it, friends. Absolutely love to see that. All right, let me connect in-game, and we'll be ready to go, friends. I'm excited. I'm excited just as much as you are. Excellent job, Tiffany. That was amazing. Thank you for the heads up. 
Okay, so go online. Oh, that's connected to the internet. L. Let's see what's up. Oh, here we go. Uh, please restart the software and perform a software update. Yeah, here's restart. Okay, great. Okay, download. Yeah. Hey, we're here. That was perfect. We're doing it. Um, I don't know where we're at on downloading, though. Like, usually, shouldn't it, like, show, like, this, the bar? Let me just close it, just to, to make sure that it's doing something. Usually it does that, right? 132? Dude, what? Oh, shoot. Alright, whatever. Let's see what happens. I think I closed that a little too much, but we'll see. <laughs> a little too early. I'm like, this isn't how games download. Usually they take it back to the title screen, you see a little bar, all that stuff, so... We're fine. I mean, maybe it already downloaded. I don't know. I hope so. Uh, Vane in the comments says it already downloaded for you, so we'll see. Dude, what? Why didn't this pop up earlier? The download will... Okay. I was going to say, why, did, why didn't it pop up earlier? It just took me to title screen before. Did I, did I press start software accidentally? I don't know, but hey, we got four minutes to chill. All right, friends. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let me see. So if I press home... Yeah, see, this is what I... <laughs> what was that? I have no idea, but this is exactly what I'm looking for. So we're good. All right, all right. No, we're fine. We are fine. Okay, so uh, in case you guys don't know about getting the download going, for starters, you have to purchase the DLC, right? Like, that's number one. You have to buy it. Uh, and then once you buy it, press L in the game to connect to the internet. It'll force the download for you. That's it. The end. Period. End of story. Spread the word. That was good. That was a really good call out. Because, like, usually in order to get these uh, things going, we just, like, press the plus button. And then we get it. Uh, so we should be great. Anyway, um, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, I didn't get a chance to say that yet, but uh, the fact is totally the same uh, every time. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys being here. Thanks for hanging out today. Uh, we're going to do an all-nighter, so by all means, get some drinks, go get a snack, get some popcorn, get all that fun stuff, and just really join me. I looked and saw like all of you guys watching right now, and that really brings me joy. Thank you so much for all of the support. You guys could be playing this on your own in the comfort of your bed and your Nintendo Switch over here. You could be watching it with another content creator, or you could be just doing nothing. But the fact that you guys are here means the world to me. So thank you so much for doing that. And uh, I hope you really enjoy the upcoming content that we're going to be having. Uh, I don't know how long the DLC is going to be, but I'm going to be here till the very end, until we roll credits. I don't know if there even is an extra credits, but uh, we got three legendary Pokemon, like the monkey, the dog, the bird, something like that. Toki Doki, I don't know, man. Doki Doki Panic. I've been trying to stay away from all the spoilers outside of like the official revealed stuff, and I just want to be delightfully surprised. So if I don't know the Pokemon's names at the beginning, cool, no worries. Um, and I'm really hoping that the DLC is going to be something where we can start from scratch. Start from scratch, give yourself like a brand new baby, like Diplin, little candy apple Pokemon, and just like go through the entire game with that, and then collect all the other ones. Um, that's what I really want, because that's a lot more fun than bringing all your level 100s and just breezing through it. Um, at least that's how I feel is fun. Anyway, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for being here. I just wanted to say that really quick, and thanks for hitting that subscribe button. You guys are amazing. We are on the path to 1 million subscribers. Each and every one of you would be appreciated. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, that's it. And, like, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs>
Uh, you guys are great. And shout outs to our mods too. They're doing an amazing job right now, keeping up with all of you guys in chat. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, go for it. Um, if you guys want to help out, support the channel even further, check out abdallasmash.com. You can buy some merch. Uh, we got a brand new trading card happening like literally today. I haven't uh, debuted it yet, but uh, check it out. It's actually really cool. I think it's pinned to the top of the chat or something like that. You'll see. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's do this. We got a couple more seconds. Now we're in, man. We are in. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Thanks for coming, everyone. We are in. Yeah, if you're not connected hardwired into your Nintendo Switch like I am, we see that little squiggly line uh, next to the 1111 time right there? That means I'm hardwired USB into my router. So that makes things go like a million times faster. If you guys have like the three little Wi-Fi lines, good luck. You'll be working on that for a little bit. So I think we should be good. All right, all right. So here it is. What do you guys think? Uh, now it's going to install the update. Should be like another second or so. Yeah, updating software. Yeah, yeah. Keep on going. Keep going. Oh, this is going to be a little bit, huh? Great. That's cool. All right, friends, man. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Get your orders in for the September card, like ASAP. Those cards are going to be shipped out in like two weeks, and then I'll start autographing them and uh, ship them out to you guys very, very soon. Hey, Charlotte, thanks for the super chat. Appreciate you. Charlotte says, hey, Abdallah, I'm a big fan of yours. I would love to meet you. Can you make it to Fan Expo San Francisco on November 26th? Do you read my mind? That's weird. That's weird. I actually, literally, I received an email today, an invite to go to the San Francisco Fan Expo. I literally received an email not like three hours ago. I don't know how you knew that. Um, I asked them if, yeah, if they're gonna make me a special guest, then maybe I'll do it. It's like literally right by um, Black Friday and Thanksgiving, so we'll see. And then uh, it's also right along the same time as like Mario RPG Remake, so like that's my favorite game. Anyway, we'll see, to be determined. Thanks for the inquiry, though. That, that's a great one. Um, but yeah, if any of you guys are local to the Salt Lake area, I think on the 19th, is that the 19th? Next week? Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, I think next week I'm going to be at like Fan X Salt Lake City. I haven't really posted about that. I really should. Um, so I'll be at Fan Expo uh, Salt Lake City. I'll be hosting a couple panels over there. I've got my own booth. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be next week, Wednesday, Thursday, something. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was so close from now. Uh, so those of you guys who are in the area or like tri-state area or if you guys want to fly down and come and say hi Feel free to do so. I'll be free to hang out um, All of those days. So fan expo salt lake city. Go check that out. Get your tickets now Yeah, man It was good. It was really good. So Do it man. Do it. Yeah, seriously. We I mean like I travel across the country for these conventions It's really fun. I was uh, yeah, I was special guest at uh was that Fanex Chicago? That was so cool. I got to interview and host a panel with Charles Martinet before his big announcement of him like stepping down. That was so great. I had no idea that he was not going to be the voice of Mario as I was on stage asking him questions, right? That, and then like literally a couple days after, then it was like, oh yeah, he's stepping down. I'm like, oh gosh, did I, did I do something wrong? <laughs> no, it was fun. Uh, yeah, so Fan Expo Chicago is super fun. It was it was really a great time. And then I'm also going to be uh, headlining New York Comic Con as well. So I'll be there all days of New York Comic Con. I think that's in like the first or second week of October. So go check that out, please. Please come get tickets and come see me. Uh, they're having me do like maybe three panels, I think. And I'll, I'll be hosting a Pokemon Go meetup too. So it'll be good. It'll be good. Come check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Come on out. Fanex, Salt Lake City, New York Comic Con. And then maybe, maybe, um, maybe the San Francisco one, like around Thanksgiving. We'll see. I don't know. All right. All right. Let's do this, man. We got a little bit more time. All right. So what are you guys most hyped about? What are you guys most hyped about over here for the brand new DLC? What are you going to do first? Are you going to blast through the story? You're going to try to do a shiny hunt of all these brand new Pokemon that come out? What is there, like a hundred Pokemon? I don't know, something like that. Oh, man. Oh, cool. Jennifer, you'll be there Thursday at New York Comic Con? Okay, come find me. I've got my own booth. Um, so, Jennifer, come find me at my booth. Come take a picture. It'll be really fun. Deal. 
Uh, some of you guys are looking for the new fashion. Some of you guys are going to shiny hunt. Some of you guys are excited for the new Pokemon. Uh, you guys are excited for the story mode. Okay, Toadster's going to do story mode. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What else, man? Joseph, with all these conventions, it feels like there is one every couple of weeks. Honestly, it was. It was almost like back to back. And I barely have any time to like stream or make content outside of that. So I was just recently at PAX West. That was so cool. PAX West was so much fun. Um, I qualified for the Mario Kart Championship, which was great. Oh, <laughs> so cool. Oh, man. There's a video on my channel about that. It was so, so fun. I don't think I actually told the full story of that either. Uh, but anyway, hey, here's the DLC. We'll have to tell you the story another time. Go watch that upload. Let's see what happens over here. All right, let's see some big hype in the chat. If you guys are ready, let's do it. Big hype. All of you guys that are members, use that Abdallah hype emote. And let's get this going. Let's get this going. Here we go. The brand new DLC. It's time. Let's see what happens. Are we just going to be dropped into where we need to be? I don't know. Oh, dang, we're getting called. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. It's here. It's here. Oh, my gosh. Yo, I just got a phone call. Yo, who is it? Hello? All right. All right. This is it. Thanks for being here, everyone. Let's go. It is time for the brand new Pokemon DLC, The Teal Mask, part one. Welcome to it. It's Abdallah here. Thanks so much for watching. We just got a phone call after downloading the DLC, and here we are. Hello, oh, it's Jacques. Hello, hello, Abdallah, this is Jacques. Uh, what is it? Hi, Mr. Jacques. Uh, sorry to bother you while you're probably out searching for some nice treasure. You see, we have a school trip every year around this time. It's a special collaboration between our academy and another school. And would you believe it, Abdallah, your name was one of the ones chosen to attend. Uh, you'll get to go study and experience the great outdoors off to the east in the land of Kitakami. Uh, it's a long trip to get to this year's destination, so we can't send too many students this time. You're really a lucky one getting selected as one of the participants. Come to the school's entrance hall when you're ready to hear the details. Of course, you don't have to take part, but this kind of chance isn't likely to come again, so you should really give it a shot if you're interested. Hope to see you soon. Entrance hall, let's go! Oh, this is so cool. I don't know what's going to happen, but let's do this. I'm flying right over here. Oh, this is so great. We're going in 100% blind, and we're going to figure out what exactly this entire game is all about. What's happening in the DLC? Brand new outfits, brand new Pokemon, brand new legendary Pokemon. Lots of stuff happening over here. Let's do it. Oh, I love this music. I forget. I forget how cool this game was. Yo, Jacques, it's me! It's like I won the, the little ticket. Are you? Is that you? Mr. Jacques said the students for the school trip would be around here. Hey, that's me! Do I know you? I've never seen you around the school before. Nice earrings. I love the hair, by the way. You're one of the students chosen for the school trip, aren't you? And your name was... Uh, Abdallah, ma'am. <laughs> Abdallah, huh? Uh, well, aren't you full of fire? You're positively dazzling. Oh, and you even have a Terra Orb. I guess Paldea is rich enough in resources for that sort of thing to be a common sight at school. Unless that's not the case, are you perhaps an especially exceptional student? Yeah, I saved the entire world, and I'm also the head of class. This is true. Oh, but here I go on and on. I haven't even introduced myself. Call me. Miss Briar, I'm sorry I'm late. Three eyes? Tell me he's yelling. It's a little too pretentious for me with three eyes. Oh, hello to you too, Abdallah. Uh, what a lucky scamp you are, getting to take part in a school trip so often after transferring here. I sure am happy for you. I wish I could go too. Ahem. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Briar. I got a bit carried away. Uh, Briar. Okay, well, 
as Mr. Jacques was so kindly uh, stated for me, my name is Briar. I'm a teacher over at Blueberry Academy. That's a school in the Unova region, you know. Ms. Briar helped set the curriculum over there. Unova region? That's cool. Uh, this year is Blueberry Academy's turn uh, to run our joint school trip and supervise the students. That's why I came here to collect you. We'll be heading to Kitakami, a land known for its picturesque fields and rice paddies. The place has a rustic feel, but there's also something rather mysterious about it. You see, the same energy present in Paldea's terrestrial phenomenon has been detected here. I'm hoping to do some digging into the matter myself in between my supervising duties. Uh, though, I'd also appreciate the chance to take a good look around the great crater of Paldea. Ah, uh, yeah, well, there's uh, not much I can do about that without permission from the Pokemon League director, Clavel. Oh, I know. I've already put in all the proper applications. I trust that I'll get a favorable response soon. Ah, uh, well, hmm. Oh, sorry, Abdallah. I forgot all about you for a moment there. Anyway, the school trip. Uh, think of it as a chance to continue your treasure hunt on a grander scale. To search beyond Paldea's borders. I'll even provide you with a special update to your Pokedex app. If you get out your phone... Look at this ridiculous costume I'm in. Can we talk about this suit? What was I thinking? The Kitakami Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex app. And there we go. All done. And now you can go wild registering all the Pokemon you found around Kitakami too. Oh, and don't worry about a permission slip for the trip. I already cleared things with your mom. Just go and have fun. Okay. Ah, your Mr. Jacques is quite charming, isn't he? Delightful, delightfully direct when he wants to be. Now then, Abdallah. It's quite a trip to the land of Kitakami. I hope you don't mind flying. Or long bus rides. Let me know as soon as you're ready to set out, won't you? I'm ready now. Let's go. Are you ready to set out? I am! Take me to Kitakami! Great, we'll set out together as a group once the other students arrive. I hear you are all chosen for this trip by lottery, so this may be the first time you ever meet. I know my role as a chaperone you kids are on, but I fully intend to have some, uh, some fun of my own while I'm at it. Just so you're aware. By the way, uh, you know the Scarlet Book? Uh, yeah, I know it. I heard about it once or twice. As you should, it was the most influential book of the century on the subject of the paranormal. The author of the Scarlet Book, Heath, was in fact an ancestor of mine. I even have his original manuscript. Look here. These are the pages that were blacked out and made illegible in the published version of the book. Whoa, a disc Pokemon. What the... what is that? While separated from the research team in the crater's depths, I found a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. It reminds me of, like, Zygarde. I don't know why. Was Zygarde, like, a... I don't even know. A disc Pokemon? Uh, I have tentatively named this creature Terrapagos. Okay, then it's not. I suspect that its very body is made up of the key material that causes Pokemon to, sh to, br to shine brightly and crystallize. Okay, Terrapagos. I don't know, whenever I see those scales, that's what I think of. The Pokemon depicted on these pages is called Terrapagos. It's a mysterious Pokemon that Heath allegedly encountered when he delved further into the, er the depths of Area Zero. Uh, not that the general public believed him. Dude, I need to go into Area Zero. That's my favorite part of this game. It's my dream to find Terrapagos and prove that Heath's records were all true. Though I haven't yet been able to secure permission to enter Area Zero, unfortunately. But that's fine. It'll all be fine. All I need to do now is focus on the work that's in front of me. Ms. Briar, we're ready to go. Huh, <laughs> who's this little kid? Looks like the gang's all here. All right, everyone, to the land of Kitakami. Who are these kids? Taking an actual plane, and there's a Dragonite! Oh my gosh! That's cool. I mean, Dragonite, we already have Dragonite, but I love that. It's really cute. 
Ba -ba -da -da -ba -da. Ooh, title screen. The hidden treasure of Area Zero. Trademark. Welcome to it, everyone. Thanks for coming. Part one, the teal mask. So cool. Ooh, look at that. Okay, okay. Ooh, look at... Ooh, a little bus stop. We're finally here. Okay, too much sitting. Uh, first the plane, then a bus. Oh, well, you survive the long trip. Congratulations. And we haven't lost anyone along the way. Mm, we're all here. Uh, then welcome to the land of Kitakami. This is the stage for all the new experiences and learning opportunities you'll have out in nature. Actually, it's actually my first time here too. Why the rice fields are really uh, dazzling. Who do you see? Whooper? Regular Whooper? You got a uh, little Yanma? Who else is here? You guys see any other Pokemon that I'm missing? Who's this? Whooper. Uh, up ahead is Mosui Town. That will be our base of operations for the duration of the trip. Miss Briar, I don't feel so good. Oh, all that travel must have given you a dose of motion sickness, hmm? Why don't we pause here for a moment and take in the sights of these fields? Now, Abdallah, I have a little request for you. Could you run ahead to the community center in Mosui and let the caretaker know we're here? It would also be great if you could explain that one of our students is feeling unwell. Yeah, sure, I got you. I knew I'd be able to count on you. On your way, then. I'll look after your poor travel buddy here. Why don't we just all walk there? Like, we'll just carry the kid. Put him on your back. All right, so it looks like uh, I have all my Pokemon. So the fact that we're out here trying to find brand new Pokemon is a little interesting. Oh, wow, is it? Oh, my gosh, Poochiena. Like, I don't really have a Pokemon that catches Pokemon. So I'm going to hope that, like, a, like, a Great Ball does it. I don't think I have Poochiena. Cool. I mean, here's an Ultra Ball, dude. Enjoy. Level 54? There's no way. Great. Do I have a Poochiena? There should be a new Pokemon, right? I don't recall getting him. Oh, hey. Poochiena's data has been added to the Pokedex. You know what? I'm going to use the Pokemon that I catch here. That's it. Ah. That's, that's how I'm going to play this. I'm going to use the Pokemon that I caught here. In this entire area. I'm going to... Oh, Sawaddle. Hello, buddy. Yeah, we'll, we'll absolutely catch all these brand new Pokemon. Here you go, dude. Enjoy. See, if this was Pokemon Legends Arceus, man, I'd be chucking balls. Let's go. That's exactly how I'm going to play this DLC. I'm not going to use any other old Pokemon. No way. We're going to do, like, a, our own little challenge spinoff. Where we're going to attempt to use all these, like, random Pokemon. I will try my best. Because otherwise, you're just going to beat the entire game with the Pokemon that you've already played with. That's not fun, according to me. All right, Orenberry. Give me some stuff. Hyper Potion. I need some more Pokemon. Yo, Yanma, come here. How am I, how am I going to evolve Yanma into Yanmega in this game? It's cool, though. Okay, so I see another Sawaddle over there. That's kind of cool. I don't know who else is over here. Wait, hey, dude, come on now. Okay, outside of catching the Pokemon, I'm going to be fine. <laughs> but Abdallah, you're using Golden Go right now. That goes against your rules that you made for yourself. I hear you at home. Chill, let me catch these Pokemon. Oh, dude, Yanma's not going to want to get caught. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Get in! Run! All right, here we go, here we go. Let's see. Let's let's actually see what's going on over here. All right, I can't just, like, sneak and get a Pokemon, can I? You can't ride Coridon right now? Why not? Oh, look at the Kitakami Road. Press the L button, R button to switch between the different maps. Taxis take you anywhere. Oh, cool! You get Ribumbi? You get Spinarak? Oh, cool! There's the Community Center. Okay, here's the Loyalty Plaza. Dude, this map is low-key pretty big. Oh my gosh. Infernal Pass. 
Paradise Barrens? Okay, not as big. Uh, Kitakami Wilds, Timeless Woods, uh, Fellhorn Gorge, Kitakami Hall, Mossfell, Confluence? I mean, this place looks actually pretty big. Alright, how do I uncrouch? Alright, you know what? Give me this. Oh, I need to use these Pokemon. Oh man, let's let's actually move you right here. I need some like new boxes too, dude. Like, cause if I'm gonna be out here trying to catch all these Pokemon, like let's let's do it. Okay, Yanma. Mm, I don't I don't know if I. Ooh, I want a Whooper. There we go. What? Ah, look at this cute little Whooper. All right, go Pokemon. Uh, I guess I'm gonna play rough. Oh, there's a spinner rack over there. It's great. How did you avoid the play rough, dude? Ugh. Okay, I could do another one and then like catch him. Toxic. All right, let's go. Yeah, where'd that spinner rack go? You think we'll get a shiny Pokemon along the way? We gotta catch everyone that we see. Like, that's the whole point of this game. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Wooper's on the team now. Alright, Puchiana, come on. You know, I probably could've quickballed. Ah, uh, you know what? That's a thing. Quickballing first turn. Can we talk about that? <laughs> oh, that was great. Okay, Wooper's on the team. I need a water type. I got a dark type. I got a water type. I got a grass type. Let me get a fire type and I'll be good. Wooper! Hey, buddy. It's tr uh, wow. Okay, give me the Pokedex entry. Oh, look at this. So what all Pichu's over here now? I think Pichu, we always had access to Pichu, right? You can claim a reward for the... Oh, oh, Spinarak. Yo, what's up, dude? Where's the blue version? Oh, he's angry now. Okay, well, I've got a little toxic boy over here, so let's do a quick ball. Quick balls on ya? Here we go. Alright, so we got a poison, bug, Pokemon. I don't know if we're gonna need that, but hey, we're here to try to catch them all, right? Great. I'll quick ball everything. Almost forgot that that was a thing. It's just such a high catch rate. Level 55? We got a lot of stuff. Spinarak, even uh, while they're, uh, they're a prey and snared in a nest full of... Uh, I am. Okay, good, cool. So we got Spinarak, we can get uh, Ariados, Ariados, I don't know how to pronounce that guy. But I want to find a Ribumbi. I think that would be really cool to have. Ribumbi's evolution is a, uh, like a fairy type, isn't it? Are you Ribumbi? Who the heck are you? No, that's Sawaddle. Who are you? No, these are Puchiennas. Uh, Puchienna is uh, already on our team. I don't need it. <laughs> you know what's so funny? Is that our teacher said, hey, go to the community room. There's Ribumbi, sweet. Ugh. Um, the teacher said, hey, you got a sick classmate. I need you to go to the community center. And we're just like, I think he's going to be okay. We could just go catch Pokemon all day. Critical capture, love it. Okay, or Cutie Fly, I'm sorry. Cutie Fly is the pre evolution of Ribumbi. Got it, got it, okay. Okay, cute to fly. Yeah, yeah, bug fairy is cool. I like that. A little fairy wind. What do we got? Cute! Okay, Pichu, Pikachu, Raichu. Uh, let me actually take a look at this Pokedex really quick. Uh, how do I look at the Pokedex? Mm, is there a button? Plus? Bag? Boxes? Poke portal? X, Y? And then, like, you press X over here, right? Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. There's gotta be a faster way, I'm sure. Alright, let's look at this. Kitakami Pokedex, Yanma, uh, Sawaddle, Cutiefly, Pikachu, Raichu. These are all the Pokemon that we already have. But there seems to be a lot. Great. Like, yeah, there's a lot. We have already have our filled Pokedex over here, which is fine. So we'll just kind of squeeze through all these and, and see who's over here. So, yeah, we've got a lot. Okay, Puchiana. We got a little Cutiefly. Yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good so far. I can't ride on Maridon for some reason. Yanma I still don't have, so I'm just going to grab him. Let's just do it. I think there's a trainer in the back there? Oh, man, my doggy's like poisoned over here. Ugh, give me that bug. Thank you. 
Oh, minus button. Okay, that's how you get to the uh, Pokedex. Great, love it. Here's Yanma. Okay, as Yanma surveys its territory, it periodically stops the hover in place by flapping its wings at higher speed. I mean, I could figure that out, sure. Really good Pokedex entry. All right, I don't know how to make a Yan Mega. Like, I have no idea how to do that. Isn't it like uh, an evolution item from what I remember way back in the day? All right, so, oh, wow, Mighty and a cool. You don't see me. Fine. I'll take a Mighty Anna. I mean, obviously, my Poochyena is going to evolve at, like, level... <laughs> I don't know. He's already at 55. He's going to evolve. I'm just going to take this thing. Oh, not a critical. He's going to pop out. Or not. We're going to have that. Because we take that. Great. All right. We got Mighty Anna over here. So that's an easy swap. Dark type. Cool. Add to the party? Sure. See you later, Poochie. <laughs> oh, that was our first caught Pokemon. Just easily swapped for something stronger. What a fun guy. Ah, let's see. Let's see. Yan Mega over here. Who's this? Okay, so we got Spinarak. I think we're looking pretty good. We kind of caught everyone that was on the nearby radar. Uh, I can't say if there's any shiny Pokemon nearby, but that would be really cool if it was. Uh, this one says go, go, go. I don't really want to battle anyone. I'm not really feeling that right now. I think it's a waste of time. I really like completing the Pokedex and finding everything. So, like, let's do that. So, if you guys are playing along with, then these are the Pokemon to look out for, right? There we go. Cherry Berry. Get a little grassy terrain. Who's that? Okay, Spinarak we already have. Uh, we got Puchienna. Okay, cool. Well, we're here. And for some reason, we can't ride Mar uh, Maridon or Coridon. Like, I don't know why that is. Is he, like, allergic to the air? Like, why are you um, doing that to me? You know how long it took for me to tame such a wild beast? All right. We got all the Pokemon in the area. That's great. The only thing we didn't do is, like, level them up. And if I really wanted to, I could just dump some candy into them. I've got so much candy to evolve them. But I think that would be a little, I don't know, a little cheap. All right, so here are the rice patties. This is fun. Okay, so I don't need the Yanma. I hear Wooper. Okay, I almost stepped on one. How do I get over here? This is cute. This is cute. Yeah, imagine finding a shiny in the DLC right away. Imagine that. Thanks for watching, by the way. I don't know how to get... Okay. Can I just, like... No, I can't, like, jump. I don't think my character can jump. Hey, can you run, though? What's the problem? Why are, why are you stuttering? Oh. <laughs> Game's like, should I load the cutscene? Nah. Uh, maybe. Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> Alright, here we... Oh, yeah, yeah. We made some new friends. This is fun. Oh, yeah. Crosshairs. That's what we call them. They do this unique thing with their hair that's just like cross one way and cross the other way. Sis, look, there's one now. If it isn't the Crosshair family. So you're one of those students who came from the Paldea region, huh? Whoa, way cool. Yellow eyes though. Can we talk about that? Shush, Kieran. I'm Carmine. Sorry, but I can't just let an outsider like you wander into Misui, Masui Town. If you insist on coming in, you'll have to battle me first. Come on, sis. You just want to battle. Making this a big fuss over nothing. I told you to hush, Kiki. Just ignore my little brother. Oh man. Alright, let's do this. Get in position. I don't know how to battle you with the Pokemon that I just caught. I don't even know their movesets, man. How are we going to win this? I'm going to have some real good fun with you. Well, I bet you are. I just caught all my Pokemon naturally. They have no effort values. They're not up to level. All right. I'm a Pokemon master. We're going to have to figure it out. Oh, you got a Poochyena. Well, guess what? I got a Mightyena. I should be stronger. Oh, gosh. How many Pokemon do you have? W welcome to Kitakami for your first experience. Get ready to eat dirt. What? Oh, level 60? I'm level 63. 
All right, here we go. Check out, uh, yawn, takedown, sucker punch. Oh, play rough is gonna be good. If I get this super effective hit, I might one shot. Get owned. Bring a little dog against a big dog. Oh, you know about tight matchups, huh? Uh, yeah, a little bit. DLC is pretty cool so far. Pokemon Carmine will send out Vulpix. Ooh, I got Switch Initiative here. Vulpix. Oh man, Wooper, you would have been really good with Muddy Water. Vulpix, Vulpix, Vulpix is gonna fry my entire team. <laughs> so I'm staying, man. I'm gonna stay. Because my entire team's like bug types, minus Wooper. So all I got right now is, uh, I'm gonna do the Yawn. Oh, you're gonna burn me? That hurts, dude. I don't want to use items in battle, but I have to. I'm not even fully ba I'm not even fully healed. Dude, a burn on this Pokemon is actually devastating because burn takes away 50% of your physical attack. So like I can't stay in. All right, all right. Give me like a little full restore or something. Give me like a hyper potion. How much is this? 120? How much do you have? Yeah, yeah. We're going to we're going to use it on a Wooper really quick. Uh, and then I'm going to switch over to Wooper. Because I just got burnt, dude. And you're going to flamethrower me. Oh, gosh. Ouch. How's that for a first taste of Kitakami? Not that I'm enjoying this or anything. Yeah, you are enjoying this. You just burnt my hyena. Oof. Almost going to let this thing, like, get KO'd. Uh, how much health does it have? Vulpix is asleep right now, which is good. It'll potentially give me a free switch. Muddy water, and I do have earthquake, which is actually really strong. So let's do this. I usually don't like using healing items in battle, but I think that was warranted considering my Wooper got trashed and I didn't quick ball him. What's up, Wooper? All right, so Earthquake could do some work. Uh, let's actually take a look at the difference in uh, moves. Muddy Water, 90 power special, and this is 100-100, easily. Outsped by Vulpix. And I think Wooper's gonna, like, hard carry our team, honestly. Beaut- oh, come on. Barely. Don't Will-O-Wisp. A lasting impression. Here we go. So, my physical attacker Wooper, with Earthquake, is now hindered. But, keep in mind that I do have Muddy Water, and that's a special attack. So that's not necessarily hindered by burn damage. So I could use that, but the accuracy is just a little shaky on that, so you never know. All right, here we go. Getting hurt by the burn. Uh, here comes Polchageist. Oh my gosh, tell me about Polchageist, please. Wow, Polchageist. I terrestrialize water for muddy water. I'm going all in. I don't know what typing it is, but I better go. I got one Terra, and I better do it right now. New Pokemon! Giga Drain! Ouch! Did you really? <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow, cool! He outsped me and one-shot me because I'm four times weak against a grass move. Go figure. Uh, well, guess what? I've got this one. Well, now you learn something new about the typing of a brand new Pokemon. But that's okay, we win anyway. Uh, give me a little bit of Poison Jabski. Yeah, let's go Poison Jab. If he's a grass type, there's gonna be- Oh, he's Ghost also, so this is probably neutral. Teach him a lesson with Shadow Ball. What are you talking about? How much does that hurt? Oh my gosh! Ugh! No damage! What's Sticky Web do? Uh, it's not gonna help. Ugh. Yo, this guy though! Can we talk about this little teacup that's destroying me right now? Swaddle? Uh, Bug Buzz isn't gonna do much. You, Switcheroo, doesn't do anything. Uh, Quiver Dance? I can do Quiver Dance and then a Bug Buzz if I survive. 
Yanma's gonna have to come in and do some work. Uh, Mighty Enna. Okay, okay. We got this, we got this. I can survive. I can survive one. We're gonna Quiver Dance up, and then I'm gonna Bug Buzz. Oh, this is cool. This is cool that we're not just using our old Pokemon in order to beat this. Yeah, check this out. Oh, and I naturally outspeed. Hit me with a Shadow Ball, I dare you. Special attack up, special defense up, and speed up. You're done. Cutie Fly is gonna carry us. Hit me with that, see what happens. Oh my gosh, it hurts, man! <laughs> Ouch! Yo, we're going Bug Buzz! Oh my gosh, it's so scary. Oh my gosh, here we go. Boom! See you later, Polchi Geist. Polchi Geist. Okay, so I'm pretty happy that our little cutie fly is doing work. Because one quiver dance up and then we win. You, who are you? Give me that money. And I have no equip items on them either. So like, maybe I'll play without equip items. I think that'll be a little bit more fun. Wowzers, you went and beat my sis. I can't believe it. There's no way you should have been able to beat me. I mean, I'm at a disadvantage here. Yeah, 100%. Fine, I guess you passed barely. Uh, it seems I got no choice. I'll let you into town, but only if you become one of my only if you become one of my grunts and do every little thing I. <laughs> Oi, what are you doing, causing a ruckus out here? Tuh, here comes trouble. Come on, Kiki, we're out of here. But I wait up, sis. Oh my gosh. Hi. Why, hello there, stranger. You must be one of the students from that Paldeamon Academy, right? I help run a community center here in Masui Town, uh, and a few, uh, a fair few other things besides. I'll be looking after your group during your visit. I hope those two weren't giving you any grief just now, were they? Uh, no. I mean, we took care of them. A little hazing. I hardly know what to do with the two of them, especially Carmine. Carmine? Carmine? We're gonna call her Car Carmine. Uh, always been a handful. That one. I apologize if she gave you a hard time. What's that? A member of your group fell ill down by the bus stop? I'd better get over there and get my hands so they make it into town. I'll take care of everything. You go ahead and get yourself settled at the community center. We'll catch up with you soon. I mean, not like I was taking my sweet time getting over here. Like, he's gonna be fine. It's just a little stomach flu. He'll be okay. Anyway, so we made it into Masui Town. What's gonna happen? Uh, I hope that you guys stick around and find out. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, what do you say? Let's keep on going. I'm totally into it. If you guys are into it, man, this game is so fun. Give me that little spin attack. Yeah! Dude, this game is so good so far. Um, we do have some heavy hitters on our team. Uh, and I really... If we're going to be using these guys, I have to actually spend some time and, like, update their moveset. I have to. Not with TMs, but, like, with actual... Thing. Like, look at this guy! Yo, you have all elemental things? Yeah, please! Um, I guess I'll do all the elemental things and maybe Sucker Punch in case I get outsped. This is great. Yo, what's up? Kotetsu with the gifted membership. Hey, thanks so much. Who caught that, by the way? That was awesome. Good work. Uh, that was good, good. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go... Oh, did I not do that? Here we go. Yo, we got elemental fangs right here. This is gonna be so cool. Fire Fang, Ice Fang, Thunder Fang, and then I'm gonna go Sucker Punch. Yeah, we're just going to learn all the moves. This is good. This is good. Okay, so let's go over to Sawaddle. I don't know if we're going to keep this Pokemon. It's kind of redundant with our team. Uh, I do like Yawn. Water Gun's not good. Uh, Miss is not good. Uh, but Hockatail's actually pretty good, too. Like, we'll do that. Amnesia, Toxic. I'm never going to use Toxic. And I'm barely going to use Amnesia, either. Muddy Water is special. So, uh, that's it. Kotetsu with another gifted membership. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, this Pokemon is more geared towards regular physical attack. So I might do Aqua Tail over Muddy Water because it's a physical attack uh, versus the special attack. So let's kind of mess around with these. Amnesia, I don't really need or have a use for it. Uh, so we can actually replace that with, I don't know, Mud Shot, lower down their speed. We could, in case I want to, like, outspeed them, potentially. Or we could set up the rain and do some rain shenanigans with some more, like, weather-boosted... Um, yeah, weather-boosted Aqua Tails. That could work out. I'll give it a shot. I think we're just kind of figuring things out. 
Hey, welcome. And thanks again for that membership, by the way. Uh, that was great. Uh, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to use you. I really like uh, this little um, this little cutie fly over here. Draining Kiss is going to be really awesome. Uh, yeah, dude. You got This is going to be the, the Pokemon that's going to do a lot of work. I'm never going to trade held items. So if I do Quiver Dance, Draining Kiss, Bug Buzz, that's a really good move set for this Pokemon. And we'll do it. Sweet Scent, I'm not going to use. Absorb Fairy Wind. Uh, I'm not going to use any of these, to be honest. Stun Spore is not even worth it. Covet? Steals a held item? I mean, I guess I could. That'd be great. Cool. Let's get rid of Dazzling Gleam. Actually, Dazzling Gleam is very powerful. So in case I need a KO move, that's exactly what I'm going to do over there. Um, and then we have a Flyer over here in the form of View. So, I mean, Hypnosis, Ancient Power... Air Cutter, Quick Attack, Yanma. Okay, so like I'm looking at this. I'm looking at these Pokemon over here. How do I switch, right? Oh, here we go. Um, change position. Like my number one is going to be you. My number two is going to be Wooper. And then it's Mighty Enna. So these three are going to carry me. And like apparently I have another item. Oh, some honey. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, so, like, I think our team looks really good right now. I don't really care about held items. I don't need an advantage in Pokemon. I'm okay. Uh, but we'll be fun with this one. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. What do you guys say? Let's see some big hype for our next round. We'll do another half an hour or so, take another breather, and then uh, we'll go find out what else we can find in the area. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thank you for the super chats. Thanks for the gifted memberships. All of you guys watching, thanks for being here live. Let's continue on, shall we? Let's do it. We're back with more Teal Mask. DLC and Pokemon Scarlet. Let's do this. It's Abdali here. Hi, how are you? All right, so what we did was we retrofitted our Pokemon. Cutie Fly actually has some really good moves, and I want to show them off really quick. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. So I'm going to go over here to moves. I'm going to rearrange moves. The very first thing is Quiver Dance. That's really the, the, the crux of this entire set, is like boosting yourself so high and then using Draining Kiss to get your health back, Bug Buzz, and Dazzling Gleam to KO. Amazing. Uh, what we have over here is we have our, yeah, our main attacker, which is going to do a, a lot of stuff with Earthquake and Aqua Tail and then Rain Dance in case we need a little bit more. And then I went over here with uh, Mighty Enna, and then I gave Mighty Enna a couple things right off the bat. Uh, Sucker Punch is going to be great in case I get outsped. We got Thunder Fang, Fire Fang, Ice Fang. It's going to be great in Elementals. And then we have our backup team of uh, Spinarak, we have Sawaddle, and Yanma. We'll find better Pokemon to switch those out with. Uh, but until then, let's continue going. Hello? Okay, good. Alright, this way, everyone. Abdallah, I owe you one for fetching the caretaker. Our little travel buddy is feeling much better now, too. Alright, everyone. This is the community center. This is where you'll be staying while you're here in Kitakami. The plan was to have you and the students from the Blueberry Academy stay here together, but it turns out this space is going to be all uh, all for you, our visitors of the Naranja Academy. Oh right, those two kids were originally from this town, weren't they? So in you come. Don't be shy. Cool. Uh, come on in, everyone. Pack right in. Oh, no need to worry about your shoes or anything. You can leave them on in here. If they're extra dirty, just try to rinse off the worst of the mud by using the washing station by the door. Fascinating. A washing station for your shoes at the very front? Love that. Ha! <laughs> Look at this chingling cake. Or flower piece, I don't know. Uh, nice and clean inside, don't you think? It's all newly built, so it's as good as anything you'd find in one of your big fancy cities. Here's a lounge. You can watch TV, chat, or relax however you want. And, uh, well, let's see. Over there is the cafeteria, and toilets will be down that way. When you want to get some sleep, please use the rooms down the hall here. Uh, we've got enough space that each of you can have a private room to yourself. So I think that about covers everything. But if you run into any trouble at all, don't you hesitate to talk to our fine staff at the desk. Thank you for the tour, sir. All right, kids. Do you have anything uh, to say to the staff who will be taking such good care of us? Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. 
What a bunch of well-mannered students. I can already tell you're going to have, uh, you're going to be wonderful visitors. Uh, so just think of this place as your home away from home and relax. You must be tired after such a long day. I know it's a bit early still, but why don't we have dinner and then call it a night? We got plenty of food ready for you all, so I hope you brought your appetites. All right, chicken wing dance. <laughs> oh, whoever that kid is, please help him. Fade to black storytelling. Love it. My favorite. I love that so much. You're free to spend the rest of the evening as you like in the community center, but remember that tomorrow the program will be officially kicking off. Don't stay up too late, you, or you might oversleep. That's true. Words, words of wisdom. All right. Hello, friends. Come rest in your room in the back. Uh, I'm going to go say hi to you first. Welcome, dear Paldean student. We provide a special service here at the Kitakama Community Center. If you open your bag and whatnot while you've been here, you might have noticed that the theme of the upper and lower borders of your screen in some menu now changes depending on your location. Do you want to change? Um... Leave them so they match. Uh, I hope you enjoy sightseeing. What are you talking about? Oh, cool. No one asked for that. <laughs> Nobody asked for borders in the menu. All right. Thank you for that. Um, I, That was totally worth the programming. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to go to the back. Later, kid. Ready to call a night? Yep. Ooh, healing music. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. I don't get to go in my room? Is it just a fade fade to black? What are we doing? Okay, fine, cool. Don't we get to, like, build a room like Animal Crossing? Morning, everyone. Did you sleep well? Starting today, you'll be joined by our two students from Blueberry Academy. Go on, kids. Time to introduce yourselves. I'm Carmine. It's a pleasure to meet you all, all of you outsiders. I mean, visitors from Paldea. Hee <laughs> hee. She's mean. I'm Kieran. Uh, Carmine and Kieran actually grew up here, so ask them for help if you need anything. And you two better be of real help, you hear me? Aye aye. Right. Now that's settled, why don't I tell you all a bit about what we have planned for you? The school trip of yours will be an exercise in orienteering. First, we'll have to split in pairs, and each pair will be tasked with finding three signboards locating around the land of Kitakami. On each signboard, you'll find snippets of an old folktale passed down here in Kitakami. Read them all and learn a bit about our home. To prove you've completed the task, we ask that each pair take a snapshot together in front of these signboards with their phone or camera. Take a photograph together in front of each of the three signboards to complete your mission. It's a self-guided tour of Kitakami. Uh, learn all about its rich history. Much more fun than sitting around and listening to me ramble on and on, eh? Uh, wonderful. What an innovative idea for a group activity. Oh, and I've got a gift for each of you as well. The roto stick? Can I take a selfie with it? Put the roto stick in your bag. Oh, wow, it's a selfie stick! A stick. A terrestrial rotom phone on. It allows you to take selfies from a little bit further away than you could on your own. I mean, not like Rotom is a flying ghost machine that listens to me, and I can just say, hey, Rotom, can you, like, take a step back and, and take a picture of us? You're telling me I gotta take a bag space for a Roto stick? That's redundant. Am I the only one that thinks of these things? Yo, Rotom can fly. <laughs> oh, gosh, help me. Why? Oh, okay. I hear these things are all the rage in big cities. Use them when you take photos. I'll even teach you a rad pose I came up with all on my own. They're Eureka emote. Wow. Yes. Uh, real rad. I remember that one of the goals of this trip is to deepen the ties between our two schools. It's like having someone who knows the area would be a big help. That being said, let's try to maximize the number of inter-school pairs, okay? Time to mingle. All right, Carmine, you're mine. Get over here. I want to hang out with Kieran. No way, man. Little kid can have Kieran. Carmine's mine. Let's go. You! Get over here! Uh, you're Abdallah or whatever, right? Let me guess. You want to pair up with one of us poor, lonely blueberry students. Yeah, just you, though. 
Gosh, it's so sweet of you to go out of your way like that. What will we ever do without you? Oh yeah, so my little brother here has been all googly-eyed over you since yesterday. He wouldn't stop talking about you, even at home. I seriously couldn't get him to shut up. Sis, what are you telling him that for? Hey, watch who you call that, and if you know what's good for you. Oh man! Alright, well, I'll look at him being all shy. See, my brother's no good at talking to people. He'd probably never work up the nerve to ask you himself, but he'd really like to battle with you. Yeah, sure, I can own him. Well, what do you know? Turns out you're sort of nice. This will make my brother real happy. Chin up, Kiki. Abdallah says he'll battle you. What? Oh, wowzers, really? You don't mind? He doesn't mind a bit. Get to your positions, you two. Everyone else, clear out. Make some space. Uh, I got this. See, you don't. And I'm just going to beat you with one Ribambi, so get ready. Luckily, we put some good moves on Ribambi's friend, Cutie Fly, and we're going to be set. <laughs> All right, Kieran. Come on, man. Sentret. Oh, that's so cute. You have a... Yeah, a not fully evolved Pokemon, just like me. Wowzers, I can't believe this. I get to battle you. This is awesome. Cool music, though. All right. All right, non ribambi quiver dance, go! Music's actually really good. Takedown. Hey, that's physical, and you got a crit. Whoa! Yo, crit mattered, kid. Crit actually mattered. I don't have a fighting type. Oh, gosh, man. <sighs> Bring it on, kid! I was taunting him, but then he actually critted me. So, yeah. I hope you get iced, kid. What's my Terasta? My, I got Dark Terra type? That's actually pretty good. I don't know if he's going to set up or what. Odds are a kid like him... Get crunched. Yo, he's gonna try to take me down again. Don't you dare. I wish I had a setup move. I don't. Uh, Sucker Punch probably would have KO'd. I don't think he's smart enough to do like a status move or something. So Sucker Punch would have been really good. Yanma. I'm good. Yanma's flying type. So I can do an ice or I can do fire fang. Like, I don't think he's gonna outspeed me. Yanma is pretty quick, though. But I'm fully evolved. I'm gonna go ice. For the chance of freezing. You got this, Yanma. Buzz those wings. Oh, dude, if he uses Bug Buzz, I'm done. Oh, shoot, I forgot. Ouch, man! Oh, my gosh! Ouch! Dude, I'm getting owned! Sucker Punch would have been so good! I thought I could outspeed him! Yo, this kid is destroying me! Bug Buzz, Bug Buzz, um, okay, this thing is fast. Bug Buzz, uh, what if he has a grass move, like Giga Drain or something? Does he have grass moves? U-turn, wing attack, screech. I may have to go in with a screech over here. Or just, just go straight up wing attack. If I can outspeed him, I can win. How do I slow him down? Throw a sticky web out? Uh, he already came out, I can't slow him down. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I should have sucker punched. Come on, Wooper. Let's go. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, I could use Amnesia. I got Terrestrialize Aqua Tail. He's only got two Pokemon. Shouldn't be hard. I just have to survive. Oh. Let's go, baby. You don't have a grass move! Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> I said, what if Yanma has a grass move? And then lo and behold, I get trashed. Okay. You know what? Hey, this makes it way more fun for me. All right, come on.
You got this, Yama. Cut through the wind and show him what you've got. What? I can't beat this kid. He's got flying moves, and the rest of my Pokemon are bug type. I got babies, dude. It's fine. Check this out. I'm gonna have to use items. Tell me I got, like, a max revive or something. I got six of them. Whatever. Uh, we're the regular revives, man. I'm cheap. <laughs> no, 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 go, dude. I got this, I got this. I severely underestimated Yanma's speed stat. Severely. Should have saved my Terrastalize. So I could terror type Sucker Punch this guy. Endurance Flail on Sawaddle would not work, man. At all. Endure, I'd survive the hit, but I can't outspeed. So, like, Flail would never hit. That's not a strategy, nor an option. Sucker Punch is my only thing that I could do against this guy. And then maybe survive a hit. <laughs> oh my gosh! I can't beat two Pokemon, man! Dude, we got this, man. Little do you know, I'm doing this all for um, for theatrics. It's all a theatric right now. I'm ten steps ahead of this kid. I'm ten steps ahead. The only thing that could go wrong with my strategy right now is um, is if I get a low roll in damage. But it's not going to happen. Because I'm going to do it. It's all theatrics. <laughs> okay, that's too close for comfort, man. I got to sucker punch more. Yanma is so fast. Wowzers! That was a little scary. You thought I was going to lose. But little did you know, I'm a Pokemon master. And I like to make it a little more exciting. Good show. See, like, I gotta put on a good show for everyone. Nicely done, kids. Nothing like a friendly battle to get to know someone. Wowzers, you sure are strong, Abdallah. Uh, you really aren't half bad. Kiki is nearly as strong as I am, you know. I don't know about that. This orienteering thing. Uh, we're supposed to group in pairs, right? You should go ahead and pair up with Kiki, then. I, uh, you know. What? It says, no, don't. Don't what? It's not like we uh, can pair up, or were you hoping to partner up with some other rando outsider instead of Abdallah? Well, no, but oh man. Don't worry, he's just being shy. I'll go find some chump to pair up with too. Watch out for my little bro, you. What? And just like that? Looks like you've all paired up. Let's go ahead and mark where you'll be going on those Rotom phones of yours. I don't want to be paired up with this kid. No way, man. Now then, off you go to do some exploring. Oh, and if you find yourself in need of any potions or Pokeballs or the like, head on over that way to Peachy's. They'd be happy to sell you the re uh, sell you some stuff. Uh, um, uh, so it looks like we should probably start with the signboard at Loyalty Plaza. That's out past the apple orchards on the west side of the village. It's close by, and I figure it might uh, make sense, you know, to visit them all in order. I'll probably just get in your way if I stick too close, so I'll just follow you from a safe distance. Please. If you mention Apple Orchard, I'm going to go get a Diplin right now. And that's going to be on my team 100%. It's a dragon, isn't it? Okay, take a selfie of the first signboard. Show me this shop. Hey, I got my uh, Karaidon. This is great. Don't be shy. Take your time and have a look around. What do you sell? Moo Moo Milk. Lemonade. I like all of this stuff. Moo Moo Milk's great. Super Potion, Hyper Potion. Uh, we got Max Potion, Full Restore, 22 of those. Pokeball, Great Ball. Heal Ball, Net Ball, Repeat Ball. Hey, all the balls. Dust Ball, Timer Ball, Burn Heal. Full Heal, Revives, Poke Doll, Energy Roots, Mayonnaise, Ketchup. All Ingredients, Horseradish, Picks, everything you want in a regular old shop. 
You can buy clothing. You're a clothier too? Do the socks show up? Oh. I can buy socks. Okay. You sell socks. Great. And you sell gloves. Wow, look at these cool gloves. Oh, I want a full outfit, dude. You think I care about knitted gloves? I love knit knitted gloves, man. You guys don't even know. I love knitted gloves, man. Get me out of here. Wait, I just bought them. All right, fine. Oh, I love auto. <laughs> oh, misclick, buy it because I love them. All right, great. Listen here, kid. Oh, Hoot Hoot, cool. Hi, guys. Those things are big. I remember Hoot Hoot is actually pretty round and rotund. Yo, what is that, swine up? Oh, cute. All right, well, we need to go around. Let's let's actually go and uh, see where we're supposed to be headed. Uh, let's go over here. Everyone's doing the chicken wing dance like it's a thing around this town. The land of Kitakami. We're, oh, loyalty. Yeah, yeah, so we're going over here to Loyalty Plaza. Can I put a pin? Yeah, I can set that as a destination. Okay, that's great. Let's do it. If we see any Pokemon along the way, we'll catch them in Apple Hills. All right, so I'm looking for a Diplin. Who's this? Oh, Bellsprout? Cool! Oh, I love Bell Sprout. I love Bell Sprout. This is actually a really cool grass type. Victory Bell, Weeping Bell, level 58. So awesome. Let's do it. Bellsprout. No matter what Bellsprout is doing, if it detects movement nearby, it will immediately reach out with its thin vines. Alright, so Waddle, you gotta go. I got Bellsprout on the team. And I don't need uh, the Spider either. I don't know if I'm gonna use Yanma. It's not like I should teach it Ancient Power or anything. Uh, do I want Pita? Do I want a regular old bird? Starly, I'm sorry. Why'd I call him Pete of? Ugh. Sure. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I do like Star Raptor. Like, close combat on Star Raptor? That's actually really good. Wow, Starly. Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? They flock around mountains and fields after chasing bug Pokemon. Their singing is noisy and annoying. Hey, that's rude. What are you talking about? Who says that? Is that Jacques? Jacques thinks that their singing is annoying? Rude. All right, well, we got Pete of friend, Starly. Oh, there's the apple in cutout. That means that there's an apple nearby. Oh my gosh, I see one. I see one. No, it's just the ground. How do I get an apple in? Dude, I need one. Yo, Fomantis? Yo, give me that. Hi. Okay. Okay. Let's let's get Fomantis. Here we go. Dunk. Yo, one of these apples is gonna move, and it's gonna be on our team. Oh, uh, we got Fomantis here. This is so fun. Hello. Uh, Fomantis hates having naps interrupted. It fires off beams using energy it gathers by bathing in the sun. I mean, I don't really need Fomantis. I already got Bellsprout, so that's kind of cool. Hang on the boxes, will ya? Alright, here we go, here we go. Where is the apple? Which one is a moving apple? Yo, Diplin has to be here, don't you think? Hey, Sentret! Come here! Sentret used takedown and took me down. Not okay. Yeah, let me see how to shake an apple tree. I don't remember how to do that in the main game. Do you just run into it with uh, Coridon, Maridon? Uh, Sentret. 
Let's take a look. Oh, come on, I was going to read that Pokedex entry. Okay, this Pokemon is extremely cautious. Its supple tail is well-muscled and firm to the touch. Why? Why did you tell me that? Alright, cool. There is a little dude. Uh, who's that? And who's this? Is that Fomantis again? Who's this? Okay, that's another Fomantis. Ekans, dude, what? Cool! Yo, Ekans spelled backwards as snake. Bet you didn't know that. I wonder what Arbok spelled backwards is. Weird. Bum -ba -da -da. All right, it can freely detach its jaw to swallow large prey whole. It can become too heavy to move, however. Wow. Okay, okay, give me this. I don't... I don't think I'm running into trees. I think he has to just be on the ground or something. So Waddle, man, teach me the way of Applin in the apple fields. He has to be here, don't you think? How do I zoom in on the little maps? Is that a thing? I remember you could, like, zoom in on the little map. Yeah, there's no Applin nearby, so, like, it's not on the nearby. I think I caught everything over here. All right, we'll figure out Diplin's situation a little bit later. I think we're going to dip out of here. I'll collect all the junk inside here. Potions, Awakening. I don't think I need anything. They're not going to invent new items in the game for me. Apples, I love them. Yeah, well, guess what? Me too. I just need the... I want the moving kind. Should be on the nearby, if anything. What does an Appalin l look like? Dude, I remember he was so hard to find in the regular game. And then how do you get him to evolve into Diplin? Uh, oh god, whoa! Hello! Hey! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we got ourselves an Applin. I think I'm going to have to find some sort of evolution item in order to get it to evolve into Diplin. Because, like, that's how you get him to evolve into other things, right? Like candied apple, some other kind of apple. Um, we will take him. I will put him on my team because he's cute. Okay, add to party. Here we go. Uh, yeah. It grows by eating the flesh of an apple. Uh, Applin uses its own body fluid to strengthen the apple's skin and prevent it from rotting. That is a dragon, believe it or not. I'm gonna take Bellsprout out. Sorry, man. I was excited for Bellsprout, but... I already got a grass and a dragon now. Uh, so yeah, I need to figure out how to get the evolution item for that. So maybe... Maybe it's like a, a drop on the ground? That's what I'm hoping, like, if I was a developer, I would put... Oh, Tart Apple. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I said, just as I say that, if I was a developer, I would put his evolution item in the apple fields. Uh, tell me, is a Tart Apple gonna make him turn into the, the tank one? Apple Ton? Yeah, tart apples for flapple. Okay, so I don't want that. What's the kind of apple for Appleton? That's what I want to find out, essentially. Yeah, maybe, like, there's a shop that sells a candied apple. I don't know. Sunny day. Dude, I'm out here. I, I don't know if, like, this item is in here, but, like, you better believe I want to find out. Right, so like, I, what I should do is I should scan every little apple field in hopes I could find this item. Because I would totally put this in here if I was, um, you know, one of the devs. Just like on the ground as a drop. Okay, so we got Tart Apple. I found another one. Uh, unfortunately, that's the previous evolution item that I'm not really looking for. That's a Sawaddle. 
All right. Whoa. Okay. Um. Maybe he has it attached to him, and I didn't check. I don't know. Uh, that would be really awesome. Yeah. Maybe we'll. Maybe um. We're just like getting a little too ahead of ourselves, and maybe we just need to continuously like play the game. This thing keeps on finding honey. Can you like not? Is that your ability? Like you find honey? I don't really use that Pokemon, but cool. All right, apples, I love them. Yeah, me too. I'm looking for a candied apple or something along those lines to evolve this new Pokemon, but I don't think I'll find it anytime soon. But the fact that we did get an Applin was pretty cool. Applin juice. Ooh, look at that. All right, I would love it if this item right here. Dude, we got three tart apples. Three tart apples and not a single candied one. Okay, that's fair. There's the sweet apple. You're telling me that we found both apple evolutions over here. But not the secret one. I mean, maybe it's in the fields. I don't know. Can't confirm. Too early to tell. Oh, it looks like Sprigatito for a second there. Up this way. No, thank you. Oh, we got a sign. We got a split over here. Oh, to the Loyalty Plaza. Yeah, that's exactly where we're going to. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. All right, well, we're almost here. Rare candy? Oh, I should give it to one of my Pokemon, huh? I got bunches of rare candy, but I don't really want to, like, power level my Pokemon. I want it to be nice and balanced and a challenge today. Um, so before we go, why don't we... Since we're going to use Applin, uh, let's take a look at his stats really quick. Very good attack stat. Oh, he's, he's adamant natured? Oh, so cool. All right, great, great, great. Astonish and withdraw. Wait, 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 wait. That's all you get? Until you evolve? That's terrible. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna use him. Um, what about Starly? Go. Uh, take down agility. Brave Bird, final gambit. Excuse me, you got Brave Bird? Oh, I love that. No, like, swords dance, uh, wing attack. Oh, quick attack's gonna be great. I'll take that. I mean, you are normal type, so I will take a quick attack. Uh, final Gambit. Risks everything. The user faints, but inflicts damage equal to its own HP. No, I'm not going to do that. All right, let's change up these moves. Quick attack is great. I love Brave Bird. Endeavor. Uh, I mean, uh, you don't have Endure. Fear. Fear Rattata with Endeavor and Quick Attack. Focus Sash, Endeavor. Uh, that's not a thing. You can't do that. <laughs> That'd be really cool, though. All right, let's go. Brave Bird number one. Quick Attack number two. And unfortunately, Applin is just not good until he evolves. So we're just going to chill. Uh, but yeah, I think I think there's a great pause point right now. Uh, we are going to go find our next area, which is going to be the Loyalty Plaza, and something is going to happen here. We're going to get our first photo, visit one of the signboards that tells part of an old folk folklore, pass down in Kitakami, and take a photo with Kieran. We're going to do it, of course, very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Whoo, man, this, this is cool. This is really cool. So have you guys find found any of the candied apples yet? If you do, please let me know. That would be amazing. Um, it's good to see all you guys, by the way. Thanks so much for sticking with me. We're going to be playing this game all evening. So uh, I really appreciate all of you guys hanging out over this way. Uh, we've been having a great time. How many of you guys are uh, enjoying the stream so far? Oh, man. So, so fun. What did we find in the overworld? Who was the cool Pokemon? Cutie Fly? Yeah, that was actually really cool to see Cutie Fly over there. Yo, yeah, Starter Syndrome from Legends. Man, what are you quizzing me over here? Of course, I remember everything. Do you remember it, though? That's the big question. What's the date today? 9-12? Okay, Pokemon um, Scarlet uh, DLC Part 1, man. Yeah, it's been actually really cool to jump back into this game. It feels like a brand new game. Um, how many of you guys, I'd be very curious right now, I'd be very curious to find out how many of you are actually playing the game like me where you're just using the newer Pokemon versus like breezing through it super, super fast. 
I would love, love to hear uh, if you guys are playing along with Pokemon uh, Scarlet. All right, here we go. New folder. I would love to know how many of you guys are playing along with me like this. I think it's a little bit more fun that way. But of course, you play the game however you want to, as long as you guys are having fun, right? Like, that's the big thing. Um, just use the new Pokemon. Have a good time with it, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> I love this. How do you evolve Yanma? Wh what? Can someone please tell me how to evolve Yanma? It's like I don't know. <laughs> That's for the mods. Uh, it's a little something something for you guys. All right, you guys ready for this next episode? I'm totally down for it. Let's do it. I know it's ancient power, friends. I'm totally being sarcastic here. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's have some fun. Let's continue on. Are you guys ready for even more of the DLC? I hope you are. We're going to jump over here to the historic signboard in uh, this little area. It's called the Loyalty Plaza. Let's figure it out and see what's going on. Uh, and let's take take a look. Rotom phone apps? Excuse me. Hey, I'm traveling. I'm a traveling app developer. Okay. I see you've got a Rotom phone. Here, let me add a snazzy new feature for you. What? Match your phone case. The upper and lower frames of compatible apps can be set to the design of your phone case you can have on your Rotom phone. Give it a whirl. I don't care about that. No, thank you. Ah, technology really is incredible. Um. Whoa, that's a Pokemon. All right. Well, no. Uh, what's that Pokemon? Hold on. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that brown Pokemon? Oh, Mighty Anna. Yeah, we caught all these Pokemon. We're good. I don't need these useless. Rotom things. Here's a story. That's the first signboard. Uh, sorry, did I startle ya? Yes. Uh, I mentioned that I'd hang, ba hang back and follow you here. Uh, we're supposed to read the signboard, right? Yes, we are. Oh, I already know the whole story, so go, go ahead. You should check it out. Monkey Dory. Ooh. Long, long ago, there was a fearsome ogre in the land of Kitakami. Ogreless? The ogre made its home in the mountain behind the village, frightening all who ventured there. One day, the ogre came down from the mountain in a terrible rage, causing great fear in the village. By some stroke of luck, Okidogi, Monkey Dory, and Pheasantipity all happened to be there as well. The three Pokemon laid down their lives to fend off the ogre and send it back to the mountain. In admiration of the people of the village bestowed upon this brave trio the title of the Loyal Three, their remains were given a proper burial and statues of the three were erected above the site. The Loyal Three monument is right over there. Uh, but don't you think the ogre in that folktale sounds kind of cool? Yeah, dude. Who's the ogre? Right. I knew you'd get it, Abdallah. It, uh, it was up against three whole opponents at once, battling it out all by itself. Wowzers, that's so cool. Oh, but I guess most people would just think an ogre is, like, scary, huh? I don't think there's any reason to be afraid. When I was little, I went up to the mountain so many times at night all on my own, and I never once met that ogre. Only scary thing that happened was the grown-ups giving me a real earful about it. So, uh, yeah, we're supposed to take a photo in front of the signboard, right? I don't have a smartphone. Could you? Cute. <laughs> Little anime pose. Uh, that turned out great. You're even good at taking photos. Uh, you want to try? Oh, no, I didn't mean... Uh, maybe next time. You know, I didn't want to have to come to do this whole school trip thing, but, well, it might actually be kind of fun. I get to be out in nature around my hometown and talk to you, Abdallah. Hey, if you want, maybe we could set up a picnic. Would you like a sandwich? Yo, did someone say sandwich? <laughs> What's this thing? Some kind of kaiju or something? 
A kaiju? This is Karaidon. Yeah, he's kind of a big deal. <laughs> it's called Karaidon and you ride on it, huh? I've never seen another Pokemon like this. Yeah, because he's from, like, ancient times. And it seriously comes out whenever it hears the word sandwich? Yeah, you better feed this thing. Otherwise, I never thought I'd actually get to meet such an awesome Pokemon. No wonder you're so strong, Abdallah. You're, you're special. So, next, uh, we should go find the next signboard. It's on the grounds of Kitakami Hall. Uh, Kitakami Hall is, well, first double back to the town from here, then there's a bridge across, and from there, you'll need to climb up the mountainside. I'll hang back for now and meet you there later. Dude, he didn't even get a sandwich. Aw, uh, sorry, boy. Alright, cool. Take a selfie next to the signboard. Yay! Alright, um... Okay, so our next thing is going to be... I can actually fly back. Yeah, let's fly back to the community center. There's nothing over here. Oh, I didn't see the statue of the three. Whoops, oh well. Not important. <laughs> oh, hey, new TMs here. Wait, 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 you got some new TMs? What you talking about? Pokemon Center. Yeah, heal my Pokemon. Nurse Joy with the pink curls. Yo, look at that, like, new age 2023 Nurse Joy with a sideways baseball cap? Oh my gosh! Yo, she got a glow up. Oh, how do I take a picture with her? How do I take a picture with you, missus? Yo, you look spectacular. And she's got the little apron on everything? Please! Oh, how did I not see her? That was amazing. That is, like, my favorite NPC so far. Totally glow up, Nurse Joy. Oh my gosh. Hello, Nurse. Alright, let's do it. I need to do this Kitakami Road. Alright, who's up here? I can't go too fast. City kids! Yeah, I'm a city kid. What about it? Grew up in the city. Grew up in, grew up in the neighborhood. Hey! Is this, um, the little baby? Who's this? Uh, uh, you, nope. It's not coming to me yet. Petalil! That's right, that's right. Turns into Lilligan. Hisuian Lilligan from Legends, man. Yeah, Petalil. Give me that. I won't put it on my team. But, like, Applin, though? Like, I gotta get that candied apple somewhere. Alright, uh, let me take a look. The leaves on its head grow right back, even if they fall out. These bitter leaves refresh those who eat them. Yummy! Yahoo. Jump for joy after that one. Oh, yo, squirrel! <laughs> oh, Velpix? I might take a fire type, actually. I got nut... Uh, what's his name? Acorn boy? I got furret. And I also have you. Squirrel! Who's that bouncing over there? Yo, squirrel! Give me Squabbit. Give me Squabbit right now. I need to catch them all. Squavit and his body slam attack is so good. Yo, I see a furret over there. I gotta go get a furret so I don't have to waste my time leveling up a centret. Squavit. Hey, big level up. Are you gonna evolve? Hey, it stores berries in its cheeks. When there are no berries to be found, Squavit will stuff pebbles into its chief cheeks to stave off its cravings. Gotta go with the motion, man. Are you gonna evolve? Yay! Rhyme Bee! Okay, now you can outspeed a Yanma. Yahoo! I love this Pokemon. Alright, Ribambi can sense when people or Pokemon are feeling down. It'll cheer them up with handmade pollen puffs. Cool! Now we're strong. Yeah, pollen puff. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be using it. Mm, no, sorry. I don't need to heal anyone. And look at that apple! What an acorn guy! What's his name? What's the acorn boy? I don't know. He turns into something. How do I not know this acorn? I know him. Dot turns into Shift Tree, right? Yo, Shift Tree's actually good, right? Grass Dark, isn't he? Love it. Tell me more at Dot. Nuzleaf and then Shift Tree, right? Did I get that right? 
<laughs> to expand its habitat, it pretends to be a nut, so that bird Pokemon will pick it up and carry it far away. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta pretend to be a nut. Love that. Cool. Oh, Stantler, cool! No, not you! Nut boy. Yo, you sound like a nut. Get out of here. Yo, let me get that Stantler really quick. Cool! Hisuians. Oh, yo, Krikatoon! Hold on, I gotta get a lot of these Pokemon. Like, yo, I'm quick balling everything. It's so fun. Critical capture, love it all day. I wanna catch them all. Oh, Rockruff! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Rockruff, dude, dude, stop, 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 stop. Okay, wait, Rockruff? Did I not have Rockruff in the previous game? What am I remembering here? This Pokemon apparently used to live m in much harsher environments and thus once had a strong psychic power than it does now. Hold on, stop, dude. Yo, big Rockruff. Isn't Rockruff... I don't remember. I'm sorry. I don't remember Paldea's Pokedex. Outside of all the new Pokemon. I don't know. We'll find out. If I get his Pokedex entry, then that's great. But, like, I think I've had him. Uh, well, apparently not. Ah, um, um, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Rockruff, this Pokemon is very friendly when it's young. Its disposition becomes vicious once it matures, but it'll, it never forgets the kindness of its master. I need a rock attacker, so we're going to get rid of Yanmo, sorry. You will never be taught ancient power, I'm sorry. Okay, so Rockruff, apparently I didn't have. Uh, I did see a Furret around here. Uh, I do need to find Vulpix. Who's that, nut boy? Pachirisu! Give me that! Oh, love it. Dude, yo, Patchy! I love Patchy! Level 60 Patchy! Oh my gosh, I love... I love Pachirisu, that's so good. Okay, here we go. Dude, love this. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna... I need an electric type. Who don't I want? Um, Applin? I mean, I don't have your evolution item, so you're kind of like dead weight. All right, here we go. It's one of the kinds of Pokemon with electric cheek pouches. It shoots charges from its tail. What are these Pokedex entries, dude? Jacques is not good at writing. Wait, wait, wait. What happened, Whooper? What are you doing, big guy? He's like, I will never get Giga Drained again, I promise. Well, welcome, Quagsire. He says he'll never get Giga Drained again. Well, thank you for that. Who am I looking for? Pete of... I need the Furret. I need the Vulpix. There's another Rock Ruff. Wait, that's Ralts. Hold on. I have... Tell me I have Ralts. What game am I playing where I don't have Ralts? Oh, I do have a Ralts. Yeah, the Pokeball next to its name. I'm like, nah, Ralts looks familiar. Do I need Rockruff, though? Uh, I don't know, man. Hold on, I need Vulpix. I need a Fire type. Okay, Sentret. There's some raids over here. I kind of want to check them out. Clefable 4-star? Uh, not with my team. That's kind of cool, though. I kind of want that three-star with Rybumpy. What do you think, friends? Do you think we could get the Polchi Geist right here and right now? What do you say? Should we try it? That's so funny. I think I'm going to start. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Steel Terra type is hard, though. I don't know if my team is going to do it. 
Steel has so many resistances, and I don't have any... I mean, if I brought Quagsire, maybe I could steal Electric Hit. I don't think I could do it. I don't... I... Even if I Quiver Dance. <laughs> so I'm really hoping these guys do work. I'm gonna Quiver Dance once, but... Yeah, we could, we could most likely do it with, um... I don't have any... I don't have any moves, dude. What do you mean I can't run away? <sighs> Fudge. I mean, I guess. Wait, wh how did he lose half his health already? Who did that? I'm going... Bug Buzz. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Dude, I just did my Quiver Dance, man. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah, burn him, burn him. Wow, cool. Thanks, team. Alright, I like this brand new Pokemon. And I think he's gonna go on my team. Catch him with a Master Ball! Should we use our Master Ball? Go, Premier Ball! With Olive Gloves! Because, you know, I love gloves. It's a three-star terror raid. Like, I'm okay with this. Cool. I got a Poltergeist. All right, great. And some experience candy. Poltergeist powder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Agua. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And a star piece. Great. All right, well, let's take a look at it. It's got a steel terror type. Kind of cool. It might carry us. Um, I don't really know what's going on with it, but I'm excited to see a brand new little teacup Pokemon. Do you think it has anything to do with the previous teacup Pokemon? Uh, counterfeit form. I'm sorry. What does that mean? Supposedly, the regrets of the tea ceremony master who died before perfecting his craft lingered in some matcha and became a Pokemon. Dude, that's a yokai, for example. Just that is a straight blatant yokai. Yokai, Yokai, watch. Yokai, Yokai, watch. All right, great. Ah, uh, sorry, bird. Later. Normal bird. That is the exact definition of a Yokai. Love it. What's after it, by the way? And why is mine a counterfeit? 35? Oh, gosh. That's why it was so weak. Foul play, Mega Drain, Hex Absorb. Life do Stun Spore. Okay, this Pokemon is not so good, but uh, I guess what I can do is I can give him some, some candies. Remember, by doing the raid, we earned ourselves some candies, so I'll just use some, like, um, like medium candies on him. I think that'd be pretty good. Where are the candies at? Ugh, do I remember? Mm, experience candy. Okay, got him, got him. I mean, I don't want to give him too much. Uh, let's get him up to like 50 or something. Seven? Okay, way more than that. Uh, rage powder? Uh, no. I just want to get him up to speed so we can actually use him. So here's like 20 of them. 50? I'll go, like, 55. Giga Drain is actually really good. I'll keep that. Foul Play looks really good, too. You always got, like, all draining moves here. Let's get him to 55. Oh, and Shadow Ball? Absolutely. Yeah, I ate a Shadow Ball from one before. Foul Play is not good. Why would you want Foul Play? Uh, so let's do this. Use an item. Item. I will get him to 55. Here's, like, 10 more. 53. Mm, here's, like, 5 more. Whoa, 86 more? No thanks. Okay, 55 is nice and easy. It's a memento. Oh, that's kind of cool. Memento. Uh, 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 no, I'm okay. All right, so now let's take a look at our Poltergeist. Looking real good right now. We're not EV training it or anything like that. We're just, this is temporary. 
So we got Rage Powder is not okay. Life Dew, Withdraw, Life Dew. That's not good. These are not good moves. Absorb. I mean, you know what? I might as well learn Memento. Just for the sake of it. Might as well. You never know when we're going to use it. Okay, so I have a Grass-type Pokemon and a Ghost-type on my team. Which kind of renders our dog a little redundant. But uh, I'm excited for it. We got Polchegeist. Pol... Pol What's his name? I gotta learn his name. What is his name? Polchageist. Yeah, I said that right. Okay, cool. So the only other Pokemon that we're kind of missing in the area... Vulpix fur. Yeah, exactly. Is Vulpix. And I saw a furret running around too. Oh, yo, Cricketot. Hey, okay. I like Cricketot. Do I have Cricketot though? Let me see. Is it new? Ah, it's old. You know what? I haven't played the game in months. So every Pokemon looks new to me. Okay, Vulpix. Got a star piece. Just chilling on the ground. How do we go about finding Vulpix? Starly. Stantler. Dude, I just want a Vulpix. Oh, what is this? <gasps> a Terra. Wild Terra Vulpix. Cool! Yahoo! We got her! Love it. And it's an Ice Terra? That's amazing. No, Fairy Terra. Okay, that's still pretty cool. Wow. Uh, a Vulpix. Oh, I have to beat it. Yeah, a Vulpix versus me is probably not the best bet. I have to... I have to Quiver Dance. What if I terrestrialize into bug, Terra? Ugh. I'm probably going to eat a flamethrower or ember right now. I don't know if this is going to work. No fire fangs, please. Incinerate! Oh! Okay, good. Good, good. We're fine. <laughs> we are good. Okay, so now we can do a, a draining kiss to try to get some health back. Great. Great. And we'll get all that yummy health back. Beautiful. Incinerate me again. See what happens. Hypnosis? That's rude. That's kind of rude, dude. Come on, Robin B. Oh, you're going to use Hypnosis twice in a row. Just in case I wake up first turn? Smart. Baby doll eyes. Oh no, your eyes are so cute. But I don't even use my attack stat, so GG's. Alright, so the only thing I'm worried about is incinerates, because if you proceeded to do that, I would probably be KO'd. So this draining kiss is going to get me to full HP. You're going to deterastalize. You're going to be ready for an ultra ball. And then we win, and I get a Vulpix on my team with the fairy terror typing. And you could actually get this Pokemon too. All of these uh, Pokemon are static. Meaning, like, you can... This one's always going to be here. So, if you're playing along with, get it. Here we go. Okay, so who am I going to replace? I don't need Rockruff. Honestly, I'm growing... I don't need Mo Puchiena either, or a Mightyena. Uh, if it's attacked by an enemy that is stronger than itself, it feigns injury to fool the enemy and escapes. Uh, see, like, you know who's getting redundant? Mighty Enna. But Rockruff, I mean, I do like rock moves. But I also have Quagsire. And Rockruff's kind of old news, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Can you confirm or deny that Rockruff was new or old? Look at this Vulpix. Oh, cool. Okay, so we got Squirrel Boy. I don't remember paying attention to Rockruff, but I could have sworn it was in, like, base game. Do any of you guys remember? Okay, look at Baby Whooper. Hi! Hey, Poliwag! Cool! Yeah! Rockruff is in base game. Good, good. I was mistakenly very excited for it. But Poliwag, for sure, is not. Yeah! Dude, Poliwag is so cool. Yeah, I don't know how to evolve Rockruff into the Dusk form. 
I have no idea how to do that, so you're gonna have to let me in on that. Okay, the swirl on its belly, uh, wow, is, in, uh, is its insides showing through the skin. What? It appears more clearly after Poliwag eats? What are you talking about? How did I not know that? Who's a water Pokemon? Do I even have a water Pokemon? Oh, I've got Quagsire. Yeah, I'm good. Sorry. Yeah, I don't really need him. But I love Polyrath a lot. Okay, who's this? Magikarp? Wait, 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 wait. We own Magikarp, yeah? That had to be a Paldean Pokemon. This isn't new, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, so we got it. The Pokeball next to its name is the way to figure it out. Tell me about Ducklet, though. And Corefish? Poliwag Slime? I don't- I don't remember Ducklet! Excellent. Give me that Ducklet. Okay, so I- I don't know if I have Corefish. Yeah, you can encounter- you can zoom in on them, that's right, I forget about how to do that. It's not very good at flying yet. It watches the dances of its Swana parents to learn how to move its wings. Oh, cute. I don't really need Ducklet, but sure. Oh, Corefish. Uh, remind me- hey, 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 don't- don't attack that. No! Oh, how do I lock on? In this game, I forget. What button is that? Corefish. Love that. Get it. ZL. Okay, let's try let me try ZL. Whew! Okay, we are catching a lot. We are getting a lot of brand new Pokemon. It came from overseas. Uh, it is a very hardy creature that will quickly proliferate, even in polluted streams. Oh, cool. You know, I do like Crawdont. Crawdont is actually a really good Pokemon. He's so strong. Okay, we got a lot of Pokemon to evolve a little bit later, guys. This is fun. Quaxley? Nope. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Wild Quaxley? That's so funny. I'm playing too much Pokemon Go, can you tell? Who's this? Your Kosuke? Whoa, yo, little Swinub! And look at Poliwhirl! Yo, give him a water stone, boy! Let's go, Swinub! Oh, I love Mamo Swine. You teach this thing, you teach uh, Pila Swine ancient power, right? And then you evolve it? Very much like Yanma for some reason? Yeah, let's go, Swinub! I love this Pokemon. It's ice and ground, it's so good. I wish I had room for it. You know, I'd probably get a qua get rid of Quagsire for this guy, to be honest. It searches for food by digging into the ground with its snout. Even frozen ground doesn't give it any trouble. I mean, having an ice and ground type is actually really good. All right, Quagsire. I think you're getting the boot, dude. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, I don't have an ice attacker. And ice is a very, very good offensive... Um, Attack. And we're gonna get this Poliwhirl right now, because why not? He's right here. That's so cool. It's like, we're just going around, catching Pokemon, and having the time of our life. Yo, Barboach! Okay, okay, I see you. I I'm coming for you, buddy. Yeah, Quagsire is kind of old news. I agree. I agree. Alright, here we go. Poliwhirl. Its two legs are well-developed. Even though it can live on the ground, it prefers living in the water. Good to know. Yes. All right. I, as much as I love Poliwhirl, we're just taking him for Dex, uh, Dex fill right now. Uh, give me Barboach. Where did you go? Where did you go, Boach? Okay, here we go. This is cool, man. Tell me. I have Barboach. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I got Barboach. All right. Like honestly, it's so fun having not played this game in ages. And just seeing all these Pokemon again. So, like, everything's new to me. Illumiza? Alright, Illumiza. What do I need in this? Yo, Conk Elder. I'm okay. Conk Elder. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, so we did get... The only Pokemon we didn't get is Cricketoon. I mean, like, I can care less about not finding Cricketoon. We got Cricketot and we can evolve it. Which is super fun. 
Um, I do have some Terra Pokemon. Heracross? Tell me that's new? No, I don't think Heracross is new. I think I saw a pink one in the previous game. Yeah, Heracross is not new. That's old. Who's that? That Tentacool friend? Yeah, Heracross is cool looking. Uh, ZL. Yeah, Heracross. Cool. Where's the pink one, though? Is there a pink one? Growlithe new? Old? Okay, old. Okay, great. Yo, Arbok! Cool! Oh my gosh, that's so fun. I don't need to evolve Ekans if I can just catch Arbok. Alright, let me see how I can beat Arbok. This is cool. Electric Terra Arbok. Wow. I don't even use that stat, bro. Like, don't even worry. Quiver Dance it up. Who's in the background? I see Bellsprout. I see... Who's that? Growlithe. Who's in the water? Starly? Who's that? That hurts a lot, man. Are you kidding me? Uh, what's that laying down over there? Yo, Arbok, don't right now. I don't have the patience for Arbok. I don't know. I'm gonna beat Arbok, dude. I need, like, a ground. Yo, you got Earthquake? Bring it on, dude. You you little piggy, you gotta do work. I might have to Terra. If your Terra's ground, I'm gonna do it. Your Terra's ice. Uh, I'm not gonna Terra ice. Uh, I'm gonna do Earthquake, though. This little piggy's packing a punch. Oh, man. Here we go. Here we go. Who's that sleeping Pokemon all the way up top over there? Who is that? Gonna find out, man. Come on, swine up. Yo, bit me. Yeah, okay. Now we're gonna throw an Ultra Ball and win. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just trying to look around. Yo, is there a, uh, what's, what's that? Star Ravia? Star Ravia? Yeah, I think so. Dude, there's so many Pokemon over here. Is that a shiny Growlithe? <laughs> little, he looks a little brighter. A little subtler. All right, that was great. So we got uh, ourselves a, an Arbok. We got a Terra Arbok, great. The pattern on its belly appears to be a frightening face. Weak foes will just flee at the sight of the pattern. I don't really need it, but that's cool. I need to go get healed. I'm just out here catching Pokemon. Okay, so that entire family is complete, which is great. Who's this? Who are you? Oh, you were just a Growlithe? Okay, here we go. Um, um, oh, who did I step on? Get out of here. I don't have time for this. We gotta go, man. All right, you know, I think what we need to do is I'm gonna go take a look at that other Pokemon. Ugh, there's a water Pokemon. Yeah. Dude, I'm stepping on these acorns over here. Please leave. Stop! Stop! What is this? I stepped on this thing ten times. Just let me go. I get it. You're faster. Come on, let me go, man. I just want to see which Terra type that Pokemon is. Okay, I'm gonna jump! <laughs> Yo! We got Conkelder's buddy! Oh my gosh, there's so much happening over here. Alright. Uh, that's Girder. For starters, I need to go heal. I don't have any Pokemon that's going to take all this stuff. But anyway, right now in front of me, there's a there's a girder. And then there's also a Pokemon in the water over there. I don't want this guy to despawn, so I better get him quickly. Anyway, thanks for watching. You guys are amazing. Let's jump into the next one and see exactly what's going on. Take care. Ooh, there's so much. Mm, there's so many Pokemon. All right, what happened over here, man? We are just catching Pokemon. Oh, man. So cool. Yo, let me get... That guy better not despawn. I gotta go get him. Uh, and I don't know who's gonna, like, do the work. I better, like, actually heal these dudes. I don't want to go and, like, heal up. Like, that's not really my vibe right now. Because I'm in so much momentum forward. So I'm just gonna, like, burn revives and stuff. I got a million potions. Here we go. Anyway, how are you guys doing today? Thank you so much. I saw a couple of you guys with your membership um, messages, which was really nice. 
Uh, I saw some of you guys with some super chats earlier. Appreciate all of you. Shout out to our mods for keeping up with everything and all of you guys watching at home. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, yeah, I'm, I think we're good, dude. We got a couple Pokemon that are going to evolve anytime soon. Um, so it's going to be really awesome. Thanks for hanging out. And thank you again, all of you guys, with the very, very awesome super chats on board. Love it. Um, I saw a super chat super chat from uh, Co uh, Charlotte. Thank you, Charlotte. Uh, who else we got over here? We got Corey. Thank you so much for that. We had a couple gifted memberships over here from Gotetsu. Joseph with the super chats. Uh, Charlotte as well. Thank you guys so much for all that. All right. You guys ready to catch some more Pokemon? Let's see some big hype in the chat if you guys are. I know I am. So without further ado, I am ready for it. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Don't we have something called auto heal? I don't really know how to do that. I forgot. That's actually pretty convenient, isn't it? You go over here and you press minus. Yeah, that's right. That's so smart. <laughs> it's very smart, actually. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put away that honey, man. I keep on getting honey from this dude. Alright, here we go. Let's do it. We're back with more Pokemon Scarlet DLC, the Teal Mask. We have this guy right over here. Girder. Ugh! Nope, nope, nope. Don't attack him. Don't attack him. Okay, fine. Whatever. We're just gonna go into it. Yo, this is a big clown. Humanoid. Clown. Scary. Those are just three names that we're just going to throw on board here. I don't have timber, though. So I'm going to need timber. We'll just breed down. What's the problem? Oh, hey, come on! Oh, you're going to focus punch me? No, you're... What? Ow! Yo, why did you do that? That was rude, dude. Hey, come here. Yo, you got some bumps on your head, man. Come here. Where's your Where's your baby form? Uh, where's Timber? Thank you. Much better. All right, Girder. That's a brand new Pokemon. I'm excited for it. And we don't have to level up, right? Tell me, this is a brand new Pokemon, Girder. They strengthen their bodies by carrying steel beams. They show off their big muscles to their friends. Uh, cool. Actually, putting a fighting type on my team would be really, really good. So, I can get that whole family here very soon. Okay, I do see a Terra over here. Let's do this. I don't think I could swim. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of Pokemon that I did not find over here. So, let's do it. Who are you? Oh, Terra Poliwhirl. Oh man, that would have been really cool. But I already caught one, so I'm not going to waste my time catching another. Yeah, that would have been really awesome. So, uh, around this area, we have Vullaby? No, Vullaby. Okay, so I don't need Cutie Fly. Vullaby, Vullaby. I gotta find somewhere. How do I not get away? This doesn't make sense. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, is that timber? No, it's just birds. That's a rock. Dude, Girder is just hanging out. Yo, this is going slow, this game. This game is going slow. I don't want to step on anything. Okay, there's some Pokemon over here. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. Uh, Heracross is cool and everything, but, like, we gotta go. Fellhorn Gorge. Hey, there's Vullaby. Hi, buddy. I was looking for this baby left in his egg, using his egg as a diaper. I was looking for you. 68. Can we talk about a flying dark type that's very bulky? Yo, Vullaby. Level 68. That's strong. Why wouldn't I just swap it out for one of my Pokemon? Probably better than Mighty Enna, huh? Diapered Pokemon. Okay, they tend to guard their posteriors with suitable bones that they have found. They pursue weak Pokemon. <laughs> I never read their Pokedex entry, ever. Uh, but that's actually really cool. You know, I probably should put Vullaby in my team over... Um, over Mightyena. 
I like Mighty Anna's ability to get uh, the priority minus two. Yo, Riolu? Do we have Riolu? Tell me I have Riolu. I have uh, Yeah, it looked familiar. I'm like, yeah, I got Riolu, man. We got Riolu at home. Tell me I have the bird that eats Pikachu. Cramorant. I don't think I have Cramorant. That's gotta be new. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Trying to remember over a thousand Pokemon names. Like, I'm okay. I can get by on a lot of them. Uh, it took me a little bit. I'm like, the bird that eats Pikachu. Oh, yeah, this is great, man. Cramorant with the green eyes. Come here. I need to get that Staravia really quick. It's true. I mean, this bird does eat Pikachu. And spits them out at you. If they're lucky, right? Like, you do the dive attack. Cramorant. Okay, okay. Swinub's almost there. Cramorant instinctively swallows everything whole. Uh, they're at the most formidable when they're struggling to swallow overly large prey. I'm not going to do anything with them, but welcome to the team. We'll take you, and it doesn't evolve, so that's done. Ducklet, Swana. Okay, yeah, we can do some work. A rare bone. I need to catch you, so just join me. I don't waste my time evolving the other dude, so let's just catch it. And it's a quick ball, so, like, I'm good. And it'll probably evolve into Star Raptor. Oh, wait, I have one. Why do I have this Pokemon? Did I catch one already? I probably did. Oh, well. It's okay, I'll have another one. We'll give him to you. I'll just wonder trade him. Okay, so there was a couple Pokemon on the nearby, like Gligar I saw. Cramorant I found... I don't know where Gligar is. Okay, so Gligar is kind of like near this area. We might find him. Any of you guys remember if Gligar and Gliscor? Gliscor? Are new? They should be, right? Cramorant, Vullaby. He's gotta be over here. Oh, okay. That's a flying boy. It looks like... Rockruff, little baby, little Riolu. Dude, if I saw a golden Riolu, I would be so out of my mind right now. Hey, Swana, right? Gladly. And Bombardier? Wait, wait, Bombardier is part of the story. I'll take Swana, though. 73! These Pokemon are, like, 20, level, 20 levels higher than me. Like, why? What? This is cool. Yeah, these Pokemon are really high level. Dude, she does not want to get caught. And I don't blame her. Uh, so we better figure this out. I don't know how we're going to figure it out, but let's go. I'm out. Can't use like a dive ball. There we go. Go from behind. <laughs> Caught her off guard. All right, so look at that Bombardier. Okay. Tell me that's not the shiny form. That a shiny Bombardier is just looking at me. A Ducklet Feather. Wee! White Bird Pokemon. Okay, centered around its leader, the flock dances in perfect sync to strengthen its unity. Fun! Okay, whole, whole family's done. Like, we're doing really good on catching them all. The only thing I don't have is Gligar. And I don't know if he's in the mountains or what. What's this? Starly. Uh, Kitakami Hall. Okay, so I can actually change the spawns over here. We can go find a Gligar. Glygon a tree? 
We didn't even look around. Like, we are... Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm just loving this entire... Like, falling in love with the series again after taking such a long break is so fun. Gligar Fang. He's around here. We'll find him. Cramorant. Hey, there he is. Hey, buddy. What's up, dude? Yo, I love Gligar. Gligar is like the weird... Weird typing of ground and flying at the same time. Like, it's so oxymoronic. It just doesn't make sense, but it's, like, really good. But don't get hit by any ice attacks. And you're set. Yeah, so this thing, uh, Razor Claw? Razor Fang or something along those? Oh, dude, I got a Gligar Fang. I need a Razor Fang or something along those lines. Some sort of item to evolve it. It builds nests on top of a steep cliff. When it's done gliding, it hops along the ground back to its nest. Cool. I like it. Yeah, its typing is really unique. I don't know of any other ground flying Pokemon in the game outside of that evolution line. So I'm really happy we got ourselves a Gligar. That was fun. Okay, so we can get the evolution of Corphish over here if we wanted to. Or we could just kind of like continue going on with the story. I think we've collected everything that there is to collect in this area. As far as new Pokemon go. I mean, maybe it's time for an upgrade on teammates, to be honest. Because we caught Pokemon that are literally 20 levels higher. If we're going to be doing any other battling. And if we're just going on our own rules of only using wild-caught Pokemon, maybe it is time to change, even though they're not a favorite. Okay, so here's Kitahami, Kitakami Hall. So this looks kind of cool. I just took a shortcut all the way up. Not really interested in talking to NPCs yet. I just really want to go to where we got where we want to go, and then maybe we'll kind of explore around and talk to people. Oh, here it is. Let me get this really quick. Oh, great! Here's the second one. Tell me more about the ogre. Hey, that's awesome. Uh, that's the second signboard. Bit tricky to find, huh? So sorry, I'm following at distance, so I hope you can get used to me showing up like this. Uh, now then, let's read the sign. The ogre possessed four mysterious glimmering masks. Ooh, it's said that depending on the mask, the ogre don, the powers of its uh, cudgel would change. A cudgel. When wearing the teal mask... It could bring life back into withered greenery around it. When wearing the crimson mask, it could turn a candle's flame into a raging inferno. When wearing the blue mask, it could stop the very flow of a river. When wearing the ashen gray mask, it could easily break the hardest stone in two. Before the loyal three fell, they wrestled away three of the ogre's masks, greatly weakening it. Wow. Did you read it? Yeah, I did. That's interesting. So four different masks. The masks of the Loyal Three stole are kept over at Kitakami Hall. Everyone in town is scared of the ogre, but me, I really like it. It was strong and cool, and it didn't even care when everyone shunned it. I've always wanted to be like that ever since I was a kid. I want to be as cool as the ogre. One day you will, kid. My sis sort of ends up doing everything for me, even when we're at school. I want to try to get stronger so I can do things for myself, you know? I'm going to become someone that people can rely on. Then, just maybe, I could be that ogre's friend. Uh, right, picture. We're supposed to take a picture. Uh, can you take the next one, too, if you don't mind? Wee! Who took that picture? And why aren't I using the selfie stick? Rotom can take pictures. <laughs> There's no point of this Rotom selfie stick. He just did it right there. That's <laughs> so funny. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. All right. Whew, I knew it was the right call to let you handle it, Abdallah. Now, on to the next signboard. Oh, and you know the mountain uh, the stories say the ogre lives on? That's actually Oni Mountain. You can climb, uh, climb it from the stairs over there. If you want it, we can go see the ogre's home. Folks call it a dreaded den. Dude, I want to see it right now. 
Yeah, I really wanted you to see it for yourself, Abdallah. So if you keep climbing up, you'll reach the Infernal Pass. There's a sign before that. If you turn at the sign, you can get to the dreaded den. So I'll just head on up then. Come along when you're ready and be careful. Cool. Wow, uh, we are going to the den right now. I am. I kind of want to change out my Pokemon based off of some Pokemon that I caught recently. Now that I'm looking at it, so we may need to do that. I love Ribenby, but it's not keeping up. We got a level 71 Gligar, which is so cool. Oh, uh, we got a Swanna level 73. Like, this is cool. Volibi, I'm taking that over Mightyena. Pachirisu, I mean, looks really cool and all, but I don't know. Poltegeist is kind of fun, but... Oh, uh, let me see. Ryan be always making that honey right now. What do you got? Dark Pulse Nasty Plot? Yo, you Nasty Plot right now? Wow. What else do you got? You got a... Oh, you got Air Slash? Absolutely. Let's get rid of Defog. We're not going to be using that. No one's putting up rocks or spikes or anything like that. Um, that is really good Nasty Plot. Uh, Pluck, Flatter. Flatter's kind of cool. Confuse is the target, but Booster Special Attack, that's kind of rough. Knockoff is so good. Iron Defense, Whirlwind. Tailwind would be actually a little bit better against the CPUs. So we're going to do that. So I love this Pokemon. It's already fitting a lot of, um, checking a lot of boxes for me. So really good. All right, Volibi may be a baby. And I don't have Hoot Hoot either. <sighs> Hoot Hoot's on the nearby right now. Anyway, we'll find some things on Oni Mountain. Let's get this going. Slowing that frame rate right down. Who's this? Yo, Tandem Mouse? We have that, right? We have Tandem Mouse at home and Growlithe. Hatena? Didn't I do like a shiny hunt for Hatena once? We have that at home. Who's this? More Hatena? I guess. Flaying. Uh, there's another Magikarp in the wall. Oh, okay. Bonsly I have? Yeah, I have Bonsly. Thank you. Who's this? Oh, Growlithe just sleeping. Uh, Pichu? Do I have Pichu? Yeah, I've got Pichu. Okay. We have Pichu at home. <laughs> Mom, I want McDonald's. We have McDonald's at home. All right, too bad. I don't... Oni's Maw. All right, well, I, I guess I'm going up this Oni Mountain. I'm not... Ah! Yikes, who's this? Bonsley, man. But Geodude? Hey, my boy! Yo, that's my boy. Yo, he's, he's low-key flying type, man. Watch out. Watch out for Geodude. Yo, this man flies. Dude. And Noibat. I have Noibat. Geo dude. Yeah. How am I gonna get Golem? Am I gonna have to legitimately trade between two people? Alright, Geo dude. At rest, it looks like a rock. Carelessly stepping on it will make it swing its fist angrily. Geodude. Yeah, the entire Geodude line, man. Hey, what are you doing? Okay. Sure, man. Whoa! I, I don't remember seeing your eyeballs, but sure. Welcome, Pile of Swine. Okay, cool. Covered by a shawl. <laughs> Covered by a shaggy coat. This Pokemon is going to learn the move Ice Fang. I... Do I want... Yeah, I want I want that over Blizzard. Thank you. I don't think I looked at Pile of Swine's moveset. Ba-ba-ba-bing! Great! Alright, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna go look at your moveset. And we gotta give you Ancient Power, right? That's how you evolve. Oh, sorry. Uh, it is... Ooh. Sorry, how do you re... Oh, yeah, here we go. Change moves, remember moves. Okay, we're going to teach you Ancient Power. Uh, over Amnesia. No, we don't need that. 
And then I don't need takedown. I gotta have another neutral move than this, right? You get something better. Icy Wind is actually... Ice Shard for priority. Love it. Yeah, priority. Because typically, Pylosvine is not fast at all. His speed is 71. Um, yeah, not so good. All right, here we go. This is really good. I'm going to rearrange some of them. First things first is Earthquake, then going into Ice Shard, and then... Or Ice Fang, then Ice Shard. Ancient Power looking good. Volibi looking good. The rest of our team is fine. We are not really worrying too much about our team because we're not doing battles. We're just literally going around collecting every new Pokemon we can see. I think I have Solanded at home. Yep, I do. Oh, Geodud. Out of here, dude. I don't need Noibat. I have Noibat at home. Don't have, I do have Bonsly. I have many of Magikarp. Let's look at the nearby... Anything that I'm looking for. Uh, remind me about Aracuda. Tell me I have Aracuda at home. Rare Bones. Solandit. Bonsly. I don't want to step on something. What the heck is that? Oh, Solandit. Okay. This is kind of cool. I love looking around. That's my favorite part. Like, you never know what you're going to find. All right, so there's obviously something up top here. This is where the den is. Wow, look at this. Iracuda is in the base game. Good to know, good to know. It looked familiar because I remember, like, the Koskarafa guy. The Koskarafa gym leader. I think he had one, right? There you go. There we go. Learning to climb, man. Learning to climb. Yep. Okay, fine. I don't know where I'm going. Let me, let me jump off. Okay, Hatena, cool. What am I supposed to be doing right here? Being on a bridge? Oh, there's a cave. And there's a kid. Cool. He's probably going to be like, let's test your strength. Let's see how good you are. No, I don't think he's that type. Abdallah, did you have trouble getting across that narrow path? Dude, I took the top roads. I don't know what narrow path you're talking about, kid. There it is, the dreaded den. This is supposed to be the ogre's home. At least that's what everyone says. But I come here all the time, but I've never seen it. Maybe a powerful ogre like that would only show up if it heard some kind of battle going on. I knew he would try to battle me! Oh yeah, I think I've gotten a bit stronger since the last time we battled. So, you know, if you wanted, we could battle. Yeah, sure, fine, kid. Alright, though. We should heal up our teams first. Thanks, I needed that. I've got... I'll give it all I've got. Uh, yeah, good job, kid. Did you catch more Pokemon? I don't like Furret. It took me down last time. It took me down with a crit! This time I'll put up a good fight. Dude, your fight last time was really good. What are you talking about? Don't frisk my honey! Alright, here we go. Quiver Dance. And then I sweep his team. Provided I survive this body slam or takedown. Double edge! Oh my gouch! Yo, dude! Easy! I need to go for the big hit. What's stronger, Bug Buzz? Yeah, I need to go for the bigger hit, man. There's no way you did a quick attack and took me out! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You're so good! You are so actually good right now. Ah... That's smart. Uh, 58 pile of swine. What am I going to do against this guy? Okay, I got it. Bullabye's got this. There's no way you got anything. There's, you know, like an ele electric fang? What do you got? Thunder fang? You don't have anything like that. No ice fang. Amnesia's actually really good. That's going to be countering me. Every time I'm rising up. Well, I know three of your four moves. He goes fast, too. I'm gonna tailwind it out. Yo, guy, get out! Oh my 
gosh! You're so strong! Alright, well, I got the tail, and he's gonna quick attack me. How much health do I have? 82, I got this. He won't be able to quick attack me. We're gonna air slash. And not miss. Good. Wait, why? Why was air slash so garbage of damage? What is happening? What kind of volibi is this? <laughs> I'm getting swept right now, man. Oh my gosh. Alright, Pilo, you got this, man. I can do like two ice fangs. Or sorry, ice shards. Yo, double edge is gonna hurt, man. Dude, one HP? That was devastating. Bring on the Yon Mega. Poliwhirl? Yeah, let's go, Poliwhirl. Yeah, I think Giga Drain will be good. I usually don't like swapping out like this because it's like a free turn. Technically, in competitive Pokemon, you don't get free turns like that. But, dude, double teamed three of my Pokemon. Or double edged me. Alright, Poliwhirl, bring it on. Here's a Giga Drain. Enjoy. Hit me first. I dare you. Yo, he's going full in! This better KO him. What level is he? I'm 55, dude. Thank you! Yo, imagine if... I just want to attack. Oh, man, it did so much damage. Yeah, yeah. imagine if... Yo, he belly drummed. Takes away half of his HP, but maximizes his attack stat plus six. Scary. So if you let anyone, Yanma, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to be in for that. Uh, Yanma here. I'm going to go Pylo. Pylo's got Ice Shard. I mean, dude, like Rock is going to be four times super effective, but I don't think I could take any other moves. So I'm just going to go for the safe two hit KO on the um, Ice Shard. Yeah, there's no way I'm outspeeding it. I could Terrastalize. To make it even stronger. Terra Ice, let's go. I'm at half health. Now remember, Ice Shard is plus one priority. Meaning I'm gonna go first regardless of my speed stat. Unless he does another priority move. Or Sucker Punch. So, this should be able to KO. Same type attack bonus, super effective. And Terra. Big, not enough. Okay, that's fine. Giga Drain! How strong was that? Oh no, I'm an ice type. Yeah, yeah, I took I got rid of my ground typing by becoming full on ice, which is actually really big brained. Yeah, because that would have been super effective damage and he would have KO'd me had I not changed fully into ice type. So I love Pilot Swine already. Kieran! Oh my gosh, man. That furret is scary. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I lost. Give me that money. Yo, Kieran is scary. I knew it. You really are strong, Abdallah. How am I ever going to be able to beat you? If the ogre saw that battle, I'm sure it'd be thinking, that kid's got real strength. Uh, see, my school, Blueberry Academy, it's a school that specializes in teaching the art of Pokemon battling. If I was as strong as you, maybe I could aim to be the best trainer there. Let's go have a look at the Ogre's Den. I'm kind of afraid of the Ogre's Den, man. Yo, is that him? Is that the Ogre watching? <gasps> oh, we saw his two feet. We saw his two feet. Ooh. Watch your head. Ouch. See how dark it is in here? And cramped. Even the floor is all rough and uneven. Living all, living all alone in a place like this? We get pretty miserable, don't you think? Poor ogre. We have plenty of room at our house. I would have totally let it stay with us. You're a sweet kid, Karen. No, I'm not. I just always like the stories about the ogre. That's all. But if the ogre really did show up to stay at our place, I'm sure the whole town would freak. 
Me too. I mean, people don't like the ogre for some reason, but it's just misunderstood. Whoa, no way, the sun's already gone down? I guess we'll have to save the last signboard for tomorrow. Oh, I almost forgot. Today's the first day of the Festival of Mass over at Kitakami Hall. It's a big event where everyone puts on mass and runs around celebrating. I mean, it's not like you've got to go or anything, but if you wanted to, you know, check it out, uh, well, it'd be fun. Yeah, let's go together. Yeah, why not? It'd be great to go together. Uh, there's just a few things we'd have to get ready first, so we should swing by my house before heading to the festival. We live in the northwest corner of the village. Let's, uh, let's see. Maybe I could draw up a map. Oh, your Rotom phone has a map in it, huh? Technology? <laughs> you want me to register it on your map? Yeah, I'd give that a try. Wowzers, it sure is handy having a map that shows you everything right here in your phone. I'm gonna ask if I can get a Rotom phone someday, too. You're a little too close to me, buddy. I'll be right behind you. <laughs> if you want to head to my family's place first, see you there. That's a little too, he's a little close talker. I don't feel comfortable with that. Maybe I should have just told him that I should, we should just go. <laughs> oh, don't stand so close to me. All right, I want to go in here again. Oh, oh, okay. This is his den. That's a pretty lame den. I would totally invite an ogre to live right there. Anyway, okay, well, it looks like uh, from where we're at right now, the ogre's done. We've got to go over to dude's house. Where is kid's house? Oh, it's over here in Missouri Town. To Kieran's! Meet his family over here. All right, let's go warp to the community center. We're going to go get ourselves healed up, and then we'll go hang out with Kieran for a little bit, even though I like his sister better. Dang. New TMs! Hold on, tell me about the new TMs first. Now you can filter for learnable moves. Please give it a try. The variety of TMs that you produce has been increased. Please side them out. This is a TM machine machine. Uh, filter for learnable moves? Oh, when viewing TMs, press the X button to select a Pokemon in your party and filter for moves only it can learn. Wow, we should have had that to begin with. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Like, uh, you. Mm, that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, these are all the moves that it can learn. Wow, that's so good. I'm just going to go with the regular moves that they learn by level up. I think it's a little bit more challenging that way. Okay, do I need healing? Yes, please. Somebody heal me. All right, heal me. This game's actually really cool. And there's cool Nurse Joy. She's amazing. Lo hoop earrings? Long pink curly hair sideways hat? What is this? All right, anyway, we're all charged up. Looks like we're ready to go. It's a great pause point right here. We're going to go over to Kieran's house, and then we got a mask party. I don't know what mask I'm going to wear, but uh, hopefully we can find a teal mask. If you catch my drift. All right, let's do it. Thanks for watching. The teal mask. Oh, man. I don't know what Pokemon was cool in that episode, guys. Was there, was there a cool Pokemon? Who did you guys like in that one? Who did you like in that? The Teal Mask, man. Who was your favorite Pokemon that we caught in the previous um, little half an hour over here? Poliwag, Poliwhirl, what did you like? Who did I like the most? I think I really liked... Uh, I liked Gligar. That was kind of cool. We found Gligar. We did get a uh, like an Arbok Terra, which was also very cool. Love that. I, did we get the Arbok Terra? In, yeah, I think so. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. That was so fun, man. I'm having a field day. What do you guys think? You guys having a fun time? Uh, and then, like, our, our little rival character is kind of cool, right? I think it's kind of that's kind of fun. Do we like Kieran, though? I don't know if we like Kieran. He's kind of growing on me. I like his character arc. I think uh, going from like a little shy kid to where his sister does everything for him to like wanting to be independent. I think that's actually really cool. And I think that a lot of kids nowadays can benefit from that. Like to break out of your little shyness and like become, you know, independent and not really care about what other people think and do your own thing. Oh, 
Oh, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Charlotte, by the way. Charlotte, a little bit earlier, dropped 10 gifted memberships. So let's get a big round of applause emoji for Charlotte for that. That was amazing and super generous. And those of you guys that got the memberships from Charlotte, be sure to give her a, a thumbs up or a thank you. That was so fun. Um, and thank you so much for all of that, friends. Um, and this is from, is that JJ? Yeah, I think that is. We love you, Abdallah Smash. Well, we love you too. Thank you. All right, looks like we're nowhere near done with this DLC. We're going to keep on going. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. You guys are such a great crowd. I am so, so happy for you. Thanks so much for hanging out with us tonight. I hope you guys are able to play along with. It's been a really fun time. All right, here we go. Yeah, I don't know, Charlotte, you're watching anymore, but uh, give, me a, give me a little thumbs up in the chat if you are. That'd be great. Thanks. All right, if you guys are ready for it, let's knock this out. Let's do it. Let's do it, friends. Big hype in the chat. Let's do it. Mm. Got my little sip of water. I might need a snack a little bit later. I'll probably get something, so. Let's go. All right, are you guys ready for some more DLC over here? Oh, I am. It's Abdallah here. We're jumping right back into it. As you guys can see, we're over... Oh my gosh. We're in Mosui Town, and I see Volbeat and Ilamiza over here in like the rice patties and I didn't collect them so low key I just want to go grab them because they're on the nearby I was curious as to like how I was going to get into this area uh, we didn't actually collect these Pokemon who in the world is that yo there's one right there give me that okay that's Illumi Illumiza it's, it's quite the interesting pronunciation, right? Illumize? Yeah, I don't know. He's cute. Or she's cute. It's cute. Alright, Robin B. Still doing the work. Okay, so I got Illumiza. Uh, uses its sweet scent to guide Volbeat, having them form over 200 patterns in the night sky. Oh, wow! That's Dex Filler. You're never going to use that, Pokemon. It is cool, though. I want I want to fill the Pokedex with those two. Alright, let me see. Let me see. What do we got here? So, Waddle... Yo, we gotta find them. Is that Volbeat right there? That's Illumis. Yanma we have. Is that Volbeat? No, it's Wooper. I don't think I really fully explored this area. Yo, where are you, Volbeat? Out here looking for Volbeat. Is that Volbeat? No, Volbeat's red. Oh, there he is. Sweet! Get him! Yeah, bounce right on his head. Start that battle. Hey, okay, so we did find both. Volbeat, huh? Interesting. I... Do anyone, like... Does anyone care about these two Pokemon? Like, these are probably the most forgettable Pokemon. I don't know. It's when I when I saw these two, they're completely forgettable. They don't have any evolution. I don't think they have any special moves. That's a if if you were to name all a thousand Pokemon, people would probably forget these two. <laughs> it lives around clean ponds. Look at it. He's a little dopey looking too. At night, its rear lights up. It converses with others by flashing its light. Dex filler. We'll take it. We'll take it from here. Okay, perfect. I don't want to claim anything in my Kitakami Pokedex yet. So we're good. I'm going to go to Kieran's house. Uh, Kieran's house is going to be right up ahead here. Okay, we're going to set that as the destination. Straight up ahead. And we're going to go. So I did find the Vol Volbeat. I do have Wooper. Kind of cool. Here's his house. Yo, where is your sister? Grandpa, I'm home. Mm, that's where you've been. Welcome home, Kieran. And who's this with you? Uh, this is Abdallah. He's part of the same school trip as me and Sis. Oh, so this is a, a new friend of yours, eh, Kieran? What's he wearing? Are those olive gloves? Ah, back in my day. 
I love gloves. <laughs> what, really? We're friends? Friends. I feel all tingly and funny hearing that. He he he. Yeah, dude, I choo choo choose you, alright? I get it. You don't have any friends, I'm your friend, don't worry. Thank you for befriending our Kieran here, Abdallah. Oh, Kieran made a friend? Yeah, yeah, this is Abdallah. Abdallah, this is my grandma. Oh, fancy that, a friend of Kieran's. We're delighted to have you, Abdallah. That's a cool grandma. Oh, my. Is it really already sundown? Goodness me, i nearly forgotten the festival mass starts tonight, doesn't it? Come now, Kieran, you too, Abdallah. I'll get some Jinbei uh, for you both uh, so that you can go to the festival all gussied up. Jinbei. Tell me about Jinbei. Hear that? We get to dress up in Jinbei. Tell me more! Now, now, don't go running off just yet. We have to do up your hair, too. Do I get to get out of this silly Naranha outfit? There we are, all done. Hey, look at that. That's way... Oh, I don't know. Mm. I'm, uh, I'm not I'm not in love with the hair. More of a slick back kind of look myself, but... Whoa! It suits you mighty fine, just as I thought it would. Goodness, it's like I've gained another grandson. Ho oh, oh. Imagine a stylish young thing like yourself could make a good use of this too, Abdallah. Teal style card. Okay. Having one of these cards increase the selection available to you at boutiques and hair salons. Oh, yeah, dude. Let me let me redo my hair. Having that card should open up all sorts of new looks at the big city shops and salons. Hey, Grant, do you know where my... Oh, my God. What are you doing here? Abdallah said he'd go to the Festival of, Mas Festival of Masks with me. Oh, really? Is that so? Oh, what's the matter anyway? What are you doing back here? Oh, right, Grant. I couldn't find my mask for the festival. Oh, the mask? They should be in the shed. I put them there after last year's festival. It shouldn't be locked, so you can go... You three can go over there and rummage and see what you can find. All right, to the shed. First one there wins. Wait, sis, you're such a cheater. Uh, please forgive those two, Abdallah. They could be a bit rambunctious. I want to go pick some new clothes. I do like this, but the hair is... I'm not really vibing with it. Uh, what's in this back shed? Give me a cool mask, yeah? What's up, kids? Mmm, that's fun. Alright, alright. Ah, oh, there's gotta be another one. Sis, Abdallah's here. Yeah, I am. Hi. Just rolling up like you own the place. Well, it looks like there's only two masks in the shed. Too bad, right? There's nothing I can do about it. Guess you'll have to do without a mask, eh? First come, first serve, and all that. Seriously? That's fine. Take your two masks. I'll find the teal mask. And then we'll be laughing, huh? We'll be laughing when I find that. Come on now, don't look so glum. How about instead of a mask, I give you a battle in style. Festival style. I think I'm healed. Come on, get in position. She is spicy. I like her a lot. She's not all nice, like a lot of the rivals are. No, she's mean. Alright, come on, Carmine! What Pokemon do you even have? More Peko? Yeah, I don't think so. What is that thing gonna do? Get hungry? Feel free to be dazzled by how great I look in my Jinbei. I'll win while you're distracted. It's true, I'm very distracted here. Uh, more Peko? I don't really know. You got four Pokemon. I'm about to quiver dance all over you. Later! Okay, what's more Peko do? Like a bite? A crunch? What? Or a wheel? Speed rise? Uh, I'm still fast. Wait! You KO'd me! Why is that so strong? Dude, Ribombi is so weak! I don't know what aura wheel... Now he's gonna go hangry mode. That's a dark type, yeah? Oh, gosh. What am I gonna do against a dark type, bro? I got enough baby doll eyes. He's already a speed up. I need to, like... I gotta dip Ribombi out of here. What am I gonna do? 
I don't know more Pico. And I didn't change up Vulpix's moves. Uh, uh, Vulpix, you know, we can... Uh, we can we can do this. We can do this. Alright, uh, let's go. Hypnosis. Oh, you're gonna change again? Dark type. Okay, dude -a. Okay, okay, what's going on, man? Can we not KO my Pokemon? Alright, I'm done. Come here, try it again. Try it again, Aura Wheel. I'm a ground type, you can't touch me. Seed Bomb?! Yo, you got a crit on Seed Bomb? Get hit. How do you... Okay, you know, it doesn't even matter. It's fine. You don't have priority. I do. Is this about the mask? Come on, stop with the super effective moves. Yeah, you're the one who critted me on a super effective move. Don't even right now. What? Oh, you got a Focus Sash? Oh, yeah? Oh, that's why you survived that. You... you okay, what happens now? What, every other turn you switch? Well, I don't know how this Pokemon works. All I know is that I got priority plus one. Enjoy that, buddy. One HP. All right, we're back. A dinosaur story. Here we go. Swadloon. Yeah, absolutely. Swadloon is like a baby. I might do... Give me like... Uh, Swadloon. I'll probably do some like nasty plot air slash. Swadloon is a bug. It's not going to do anything against my Vullaby. Go, Vullabby! <laughs> Swadloon. What are you going to do? String shot? Get out of here. Yo, I'm going to set up all over ya. But nasty plot up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I already, I already outspeed, so I'm going to get a good hit on the next one. Bug Buzz? Ah, oh, that's neutral, and that kind of hurts. It's special, but my special attack is real good right now. I'm going to go for one more. Is that greedy to get to plus four? <sighs> Terrestrialize into flying type. So if he uses bug buzz, it's not going to do anything to me. So I'm going to be a resisted hit. I'm going to nasty I'm going to go to plus four. I'm going to proceed to KO his Pokemon. And since I'm out here with a, as a flying type, Bug Buzz isn't going to do anything. Neither is any grass move. I can set up a Tailwind after this and then proceed to outspeed her entire team. I'm ten steps ahead of you. Carmine, you're mine. It's fun, man. Balloons! <laughs> Look at this little Pokemon. This wild caught plus four special attack. Burp. Not doing anything, man. What's my health at? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Tailwind it up, baby. So now we're going to have boosted speed. For like what? For sticky web. I'm not even moving anywhere, dude. Put your sticky web up. Try me. And I'm a flying type, dude. Doesn't even attack. Ready. Air slash. Get owned. Plus four. Same type. Super effective. Terrestrialize. There's no way you're going to survive that. And it's like four times super effective, right? Because it's a bug type and a grass type, I think. I don't know, man. It's done. It's eviscerated. Sinis. Sinis. Sinistra? Sinistra? I don't like that name. That's probably the evolution of this ghost thing. What is that? Besides owned. I, I don't think that's a good name for it. It's like Sinister and Matcha. It's like putting those two words together. Sinister and Matcha? Sinistcha? It doesn't roll off the tongue. I think that's a pretty weak translation or localization of that one. I would love to hear what it's called in other languages. 
Because remember, like, all Pokemon are, are named in, like, all the languages. Like, French, Chinese, German, Spanish. They all have names. This one? Eh, kind of weak. Sinistra? Alright, proceed to win. Later, dude. That's what- Oh, what? Crunch? I'm already a Dark-type, dude. Don't even right now. And you don't have priority. Oh, you might have priority, Sucker Punch. And my Tailwind's off. Okay. What's the accuracy on this? 80? 100% accuracy. I'm gonna use it. I don't wanna miss an Air Slash. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. I'm good. The bird! Oh, maybe I should have set up the plus six. Dang it. I should have set up a lot more. I thought that plus four would do major damage against everyone. Uh, but that's not the case. So the only way that he can win right now is if he sucker punches me. And that's going to be bad news. I am caught in the stick web. It's fine. I don't need speed. I just need him to not do that. So can I just... Good. I'm just going to take the ice shard real quick. The priority and get out of there. Thank you, ice shard. Okay, girlfriend, she is good. Oof, Carmine. Uh, hey, you're supposed to be enamored and distracted by my festival style. I am. I think you look great. Throwing that out there, you look amazing. Alright, here we go. Oh well, it's not like beating me was going to cause another mask to magically appear. Now then, let me get my mask. You mean you're not already wearing one? Oh! <laughs> wow, get owned. How's that? Look good, don't I? It's okay, Abdallah. You can just wear my mask. Wait, no. I already said it's first come, first served. And besides, that's your ogre mask. You've always loved that mask the best. Yeah, but... Uh, no buts about it. Abdallah can just get his own mask at the festival. He's fine. Now, move it. Let's go. She is a handful. Oof, sorry, Abdallah. I know my sis seems kind of harsh, but she's really not all that bad. Actually, she was tearing the shut apart trying to find the third mask for you before we, you got there. Oh, but uh, don't tell her I told you that, Abdallah. Oh my gosh. The festival of masks is held up at Kitakami Hall. We should probably get going. Yep. Okay. Did they heal my Pokemon? Of course not. Kieran, what are you good for? Alright, gonna go to the Hall of Masks. Which is, uh, right here. Do I not have a Fly Point? Oh, man. You're telling me I don't have a Fly Point? <sighs> Did I just miss it? What does a Fly Point look like? Yo, heal me, Nurse Joy. I'm just going to hand them to you on the side of the counter. I thought she would totally say, hey, speak to me in front of the counter. No, but she's like DJing over here. <laughs> so good. She's so good. All right, Ribumby. You're great. I love it. All right, so we got to go. I got to set my uh, radar to Kitakami now. Okay, great. I know exactly where that's at. And we dip out. Later. I didn't even have to terrestrialize against her. Did I? I don't remember. Uh, we're going to Reveler's Road. We don't need to do any of the battles. You know, as much as I really like this DLC, I think it would have benefited. Oh, yo, Hoot Hoot, what's up, dude? I think it would have benefited if the levels just weren't all, like, super scaled up and you were forced to catch all these Pokemon. And then, like, the the teacher at the beginning, whatever Briar her name is, she would say, Hey, man, like, w just the customs rules of this new area, they don't allow outside Pokemon in. So you're just going to have to leave all your Pokemon behind in the Paldea decks. Like, that could have totally been done. Here's Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot's internal clock is precise at all times. It tilts its head in a fixed rhythm. Kind of cool. I like Noctowl. I love that Pokemon. So as long as we got one, we're great. I don't know. Do you agree or disagree? I'd love to hear from you. Somewhere in the world, 
there are people playing this game with their level 100 Pokemon that they got from Wonder Trade or whatever that they raised in the main base game, and they're just like breezing through the game, right? Somewhere in the world, that's what people are doing in this game. And I really just wanted it to not be that. I'm not going to tell you how to play the game. What the heck is that? Oh my gosh, Ekans is long. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how to play the game. But uh, I think that it would have been way cooler. I would have liked the game a lot more. I'm doing like a self-inflicted like challenge run of the game where I'm just using the Pokemon uh, that are available. But I think that, like, coming out here, finding a level 71 Swana, like, that's a little OP. All right, here we go. It's the Festival of uh, Masks this way. Ooh, Tatsugiri, little Chime Echo. Sweet. Wow, look who's here. Oh my gosh, is that the ogre? We saw those little legs when we looked at the den, didn't we? This is the Festival of Mass. Today is just the first day. It'll keep going for a while. I bet you don't have any festivals this big over in Peril Day or whatever, right? Uh... Oh no, I guess it's so incredible you're at a loss for words, huh? It's okay, Abdallah. Just ignore her. Uh, I'll snap a photo so you can remember this amazing night forever. Give me your roto stick for a second. A little did you know, my Rotom can fly in front of us and we don't even need the roto stick. Come on, you two, scooching closer. Ow, you're stepping on my toes, sis. Oh, stop complaining. This will only take a second. Are you all ready? Say Chansey. Now that's what I call a nice festival vibe. The festival's mass is held so we can all honor the loyal three, the brave heroes of Kitakami. The loyal three are the Pokemon that once protected this land from an evil ogre, you know. Most of the kids in town wear masks of the loyal three, like me. Did I mention there are heroes? <laughs> what, what are you laughing at? Nothing. I was just thinking, it's funny that, like, you don't know anything about the ogre. What? I know the legends of Kitakami better than anybody. Pretty gutsy of you to laugh at your big sis. Uh, sorry. What a meanie. Uh, Kiki's still a little baby, so of course he thinks some kind of terrible monster is cool. He likes the ogre more than the loyal three. Oh, look, they've got candy apples. Let's go check out the stalls. Yeah, they do! I want a candy apple now! Give me that! Ah, brain freeze. Oh, give me this. What do you got? What are you selling? Sizzling fried noodles. Fried what? Fried noodles? Kid got me fried noodles to be exact. You want some? Uh, yeah, I do. For 900, what am I going to do? Oh, it's a, it's a meal power? Uh, I don't care about that. Got beautiful treats. Uh, we're given fruits and berries, beautiful candy coatings. Oh, yeah. Wait, candy apple, baby. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the item that I used to... I'm just going to buy it. Okay, so what does a candy apple do? Do I need, like... What is happening? Mm, ah. <laughs> do I need Applin in my party to evolve it or something? I don't... <laughs> Don't need this. Okay. Careful. You don't drop it. This is the best. Okay, what do you got over here? Which would you like? No, I'm not looking at your Chime Echo. Stop it. I'm looking at the stall, dude. What do you got? As much syrup as you want. Come get your shaved ice. Oh. You got any, like, shiny power? Item drop power? Mm, I'm okay. I don't need any of this junk. Um, what do you sell? How about some ice cream? Cool down with some ice cream. Uh, I don't need any of this junk. Experience point power, electric. Dude, none of these powers are good unless they're like Herba Mystica. Fruits and berries. Okay, like I want the actual candy apple item. I don't really know how to evolve our applin. 
So many masks. I want to buy one, but uh, which one do I choose? Well, how do I buy one? Yeah, it's your shave, dice. Yeah, dude. Why do you have the exact same stall across? It's a poor business, man. All right, let me go. Hold on. This is the candy apple right here. I mean, that's cool. We'll take that. Hey, what's that over there? What do you mean I can't ride Karidon? I gotta go get that. Ugh, fine. It's just an HM. TM. This guy's holding a Pokeball. Fanning has its ups and downs. Yeah. Hey, over here! Hey, over here! Over where? Marco! Where are you, kid? Marco! I'm sorry. He's blending into all the other NPCs. Hey, over where? Okay, Kieran. Um, is that you? Which little kid are you? I don't play this game, man. I don't want to play hide and seek among the NPCs. Hey, over here. Are you... Hey, over here. Which one are you? Are you him? <laughs> uh, they all look the same. Kieran, I don't even know what you're wearing, kid. I was not paying attention. Dude, somebody help. Where? Are you him? Are you him? Are you the ghost now? This is not okay. Hey, over here. Okay, so he's pointing me at this direction. Diagonally this way. I'm just gonna go straight. One of you is Kieran. Are you him? What? <laughs> Excuse me, two apples, please. You got it, two apples coming right up. I already ate one, man. Uh, here, you can have one. Thanks, dude. Grandma gave me some pocket money, so it's no big deal. I love candy apples. You don't get to eat them every day, you know. Grandma always just makes us mochi as a snack. Uh, there's even a Pokemon in Kitakami that looks a little like an old candy apple. Did you know that? Hey, let's check that out over there. What did he give me? Let's check out what over where, dude. Where did you go? Did he give me a candy apple or what? Where's the item? It didn't, there's no pop-up that said you got a candied apple. Oh, help me with this game. I don't know if I like this festival anymore. Look at all these people. Yeah, where's Kieran? Bouncy, bouncy? What's bouncy? Oh, that's kind of cool. Nice Pikachu mask. That's actually kind of cute. Watch out for the Munchlax. Oh, this game's hard. What game? Can I play the game? Oh, I'm right here. Okay, good. Yeah, we're gonna play a game. This is great. Step right up for a game of Ogre Ousting. So y'all wanna have a go? Yeah, let's oust some ogres. Terror time style. Hey, you're one of those kids that came all the way from Paldea, right? I can't very well take my money from a guest. Have a go on the house. Oh, you're gonna try it? I'll uh, cheer you on from a safe distance. You're up for a run of ogre ousting, huh? I did one just now. It's pretty easy for me, that is. My score was 6,390. You think you'd do better? Go get her, Abdallah. An actual mini game in a Pokemon game? No way. They're just gonna fade to black and I'm gonna do it. There's no way they're gonna program a mini game. Oh, never mind. It's running around and popping balloons. Okay, a traditional game that has been played in the Masui town since long ago. Gather up the berries and bring them to the berry tables. 
to try to earn yourself a high score. The playing field is dotted with ogre balloons, four different colors. Pop these balloons look like berries inside them. There are also four different colors of berry tables at your home base. Place one of your berries on a matching table by getting close and pressing the A. Once you manage to place a number of berries on these tables, you win. Okay, green, blue, black. From time to time, greedy Pokemon may gather on the berry tables, hoping to gobble up your hard-earned berries. If you let them, they'll eat all your berries are gone. Use the R button to scare them off. Two, uh, two, what? I don't even, hold on, what? Two red, four green? Oh, okay, good. I was gonna say, run! One, two. One, two, where's the green? Look at this frame rate. Oh, so good. Where's my berry tables? Is it all the way back up top? Direction's unclear, man. This frame rate is very bad. This is a 2023 game too, man. Oh, I gotta press A for each one? Okay, that's fair. This is, um... Uh, four, five, six, five. How many? What's the max carry capacity? Six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I need a couple. I need like one more red, a blue. I need three blue. I need some black. Uh, where's black? How many black do I need? Three. Just these three. Dude, we are going so slow right now. This is not okay. I feel so sorry. Just like tone down the grass textures, man. I got eight. That's great. Let's do some green for here. We can get six. Uh, I got enough. No, I need a couple blue. Okay. I need the one green and all the black. One, two, three, four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. You can't hold any more berries? There's a berry limit? When did they say that? Oh, man, the sneaky snackers, bro. What's gonna happen? Oh, luckily the blackberries are right next door here. Move! Greedent appeared. Where? Where? Are they destroying my stuff? Okay, green, it's coming. Are we done? That This is painful. I'm sorry. <laughs> the bear was painful. Hey! 15 frames a second! Where is Munchlax in all this? Oh, I got some mochi. Oh, tell me about the mochi. I uh, got some mints, we got some mochi, uh, I guess. Is that like more IV stuff? Yo, and we beat our score! 6867. Take that! What's your name? Carmine. That was rough. That was really rough. That was a fine dashing about. Let's see, 6867. So here's your prize. Experience charm. Tell me more. Having one of these charms increases experience points. Oh, that's cool. That's like a new item. You get an experience charm. Wow. I, Carmine, Musui's reigning champion of ogre balloon busting, have been defeated? 
Oh, I hate losing. I want to have another go to get even, but I'm all out of pocket money. Kiki, you go and beat up Dala for me. N no. What's that? You're taking the side of an outsider over your own sister? That makes me so annoyed. I think I'm going to black out. Uh, sorry she's causing such a scene. Don't worry, I'll deal with her. Why don't you go and wander around a bit in the meantime? This is clearly not a child. What? Look at that body. It's like, um, uh, what's his name? Belly Bolt. That looks like a belly bolt. <laughs> like a belly bolt body on top of, like, little baby legs. That is fascinating. But the thing that I like the most is an experience charm. That's so cool. Like, as if the game didn't already fill us with a boatload of experience. Increases the experience points. It doesn't explicitly state by how much. 50%? 0.01%? Like, 100%? What is this? Come on, man. Like, get to a point where you're explicitly telling what that is versus, like, being vague. Like, what's the point? Oh, fun games, fun games. All right, we gotta go chase after that dude. I don't know what that thing is. It could be the ogre in the teal mask. So we're gonna have to find it. Anyway, you guys are great. Thanks for watching. That was cool. What do you think? What do you think of the game so far? Do you guys like it? Was that embarrassing? Please tell me I'm not the only one person that thought that that mini game was super embarrassing. That was very bad. Like, you don't have to program that if it's going to run at like five frames a second. It is definitely not needed. You just like make like a point and click mini game. Where things are happening on the screen and you pop balloons by moving your cursor over it. Like, you don't have to make us run in the tall grass at 10 frames a second. Like, that was interesting. Cool. All right, well, let's continue going. <laughs> like, I'm ready for the next set. Thanks for watching, as usual. Um, thank you for all of you guys that uh, that are just here supporting. Thanks for all the super chats. Thanks for all the memberships. Everything. You guys are absolutely amazing. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I didn't really like that at all. And was it necessary for the story plot? Absolutely not. Like, that's one of those things where if you're a reviewer, if you're the big boss at Pokemon, you're like, okay, I'm going to play through this game and then I'm going to pick and choose, you know, what's good and what's bad. And then, like, did they do that? No, man. Someone's just like, hey, I'm going to throw a minigame in there. You cool with that, boss? Boss is like, all right, dude, whatever you want. And, like, just no follow-up. So, like, no, dude. That's embarrassing. <laughs> we had games like Starfield and, like, Baldur's Gate and, like, all these other games that have, like, phenomenal graphics. And then we're over here in 2023 with a Pokemon game that's running at five frames per second as we're going through the grass popping balloons for no reason. Oof. Yo, rant over. Let's do this. Let's do this. We're back with even more Pokemon the Teal Mask DLC. What was that thing over there? We're going to find out. Let's go. You remember that little green thing with the little bulby body? I don't know. Oh my gosh. It's like right there. All right. Who am I going to... Ribombi is interesting. I don't know what I'm going to do to knock him out. Oh, here's what I have to do. I didn't give my moves to Vulpix at all. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to remember some moves. Incinerate's great. Inferno. Ooh. Accuracy's very bad. Fire Spin, very weak. Fire Blast, actually really good. Flamethrower is perfect. I'm good with that. I love Flamethrower. I will take Flamethrower. I will take Quick Attack. And I will also take... What else? She's got another really good move, huh? Extra Sensory, a Psychic move? That's cool. Extra sensory, a psychic move. Okay, I'll take that. Hypnosis, flamethrower, extra sensory, quick attack. Willow Wisp is actually really good too, but I don't need two status effects. So, what am I going to do instead of quick attack? Mm, I like Confuse Ray a lot, but I do like priority. I mean, her priority is really bad. I don't. I mean, I could do like a Firestone right now if I really wanted to, but. I'm good. I'm good. All right, let's go find out what this weird thing is, right? Pokeball, go! Get it! Nope. 
Looks like a manta ray. Like a big old hoodie. Like oh yeah, it's like wearing a jacket. With like wooden legs. This thing's weird. What does it look like without the mask? I didn't change my hairstyle. Is it the cat? Pawn? A mysterious child is staring at you from behind their mask. A child? What kind of child? A Pokemon child? That's a cool mask. That's not a child. Ponyo. Hey, Abdal, listen to this. It's nuts. Kiki's no use at all. Zero talent for Alps and Ogres. I'm telling you. Hey, who was that? Some child. Chase after that mysterious kid. I, I mean, are you really thinking people would think that that's a child? That's clearly a Pokemon. What are you talking about? Yo, I'm coming after you. Wait, Abdal. Oh, it's an actual cutscene. You shouldn't run off on your own. Hey, new kid. That goes for you, too. I love the animation of the cutscenes. They're actually really good. Backflip. Landed it. Mask off. What is that? If that's not the cutest thing, it looks like a little bug. This is the first we've seen that. In all the promotional artwork, we've never seen what's behind the mask. You should come back. The mountain's dangerous at night. It's a little baby. It's so cute. All right, I'm going to catch it in a Premier Ball. Let's go. Just throw a Pokeball at it, man. If this was Pokemon Legends, man, I would be tossing those, like, Sky Balls at it. You found the Teal Mask. Okay. A Teal Mask patterned after the face of an ogre. Ogre Pawn dropped it while fleeing up the stairs after visiting the Festival of Masks. Ogre Pawn. How do I know its name? Who was that? Where'd that kid come from? Well, the description says Ogre Pawn. His name's Ogre Pawn. I don't think that's a kid. Really? Carmine, you honestly... What are you talking about? Wait, do you mean... That kid we just saw. They ran off towards the mountain. Could, could that have been the ogre? From the story on all the signboards? Are you saying that story was true? I mean, they did drop a mask, so they really must be. Abdallah, sis. What are you guys doing over here? Yo. There was an ogre here, and... Hey, wait, stop, stop, stop. Wait, what? Why are you yelling all of a sudden, sis? It's nothing. It's nothing you'd be interested in at all, I swear. Huh. Oh, I get it. I bet you were making fun of me behind my back. I'm just gonna head back to the festival. So now sister and I have a secret. Whew, at least he didn't figure out what we were really talking about. Don't scare me like that blabbling for the whole world to hear. Do you, don't you have any filter? See, Kiki really likes the ogre. Like, really, really, really likes it. So if you found out we'd, we've we seen the ogre without him, I guess I was afraid he'd feel bad, you know? Uh, feel left out or something. Am I overthinking it? Sides, I didn't want him running up the mountain to follow the ogre at this hour either. Well, in any case, we already lied about it, and that's that. Let's keep this whole thing our little secret, okay? And maybe hold off on showing Kiki that mask you just picked up, too. Yes, ma'am. All right, Carmine. Interesting. Uh, talk to Garen before heading back. Um, no, I'm going to go up the, up the mountain and find... The, okay, you better not go up the mountain. According to who? Don't tell me what to do. Oh, man. This game's getting soft on me. And I can't ride on Karidon. What can I do? <laughs> what can I do? Can't get the correct candied apple. Can't go up the mountain to explore. Can't ride on Karaidon. Can't find Kieran among the masked individuals for five minutes. What am I going to do, man? All right, Kieran. Had enough of the festival? Yeah, I have had enough of the things that I can't do. Well then, guess we should head home. I'll walk you back to the community center. No, dude, I could just fly. I'm good. Dun, 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 dun. 
Oh, head outside when you're ready. Well, actually, I want to go inside my dorm room and take a look at all my decorations. And I want to put my mask on the wall. And I want to do all this cool customization stuff. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Is that okay? Can I do that? Oh, wait. You're telling me I can't do that. You spent time making a useless mini game, but if I want to decorate my room, okay, cool. <laughs> Yo, look at Nurse Joy just like eavesdropping over there. Hey, there you are, Abdallah. Just because we didn't agree to meet doesn't mean you get to keep me waiting. So, uh, you see, I wanted to talk to you a bit. You haven't told anyone about the, you know, the thing that happened yesterday, right? No, I haven't. You better not be lying. If I found out you blabbed, I'm going to make you swallow a coughing hole. Whoa. How? You still have that thing we picked up at the stairs, right? My grandpa knows about a lot about the village's history. We should go talk to him about what happened yesterday. You know where my house is, right? See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Let's show grandpa the, you know, the thing we found. Okay, uh, I guess I will. Let's show Grandpa. Head to Carmine's house. Yeah, broken camera. Sweet. Wee. Yeah. Sweet. Yes, broke the camera. This is great. Let's show Grandpa the thing, you know, we found. Good morning to you, Abdallah. Hey, Abdallah, good morning. He's awake, huh? Well, Want to go see the last signboard? Kiki, go find somewhere else to be. Abdallah's got business with me. <sighs> Seriously, he's spending all his time with you. That's so unfair. Yikes. What did you just call me? Oh my gosh. Yeah, don't be calling your sister names, kid. What's his deal? Kiki should know better than to talk back to me like that. That's enough, Carmine. Be kind to your younger brother. I was being kind. It's not like I hit him or anything. Anyway, we got more important things to discuss, right, Abdallah? Come on, you gotta show Grandpa that thing you have. That thing I have, the roto stick! Hey, Gramps, take a look at my roto stick! Isn't it cool and totally full of use? And this is? No, not that. I'm talking about the thing we found yesterday. What do you mean? I a phone! Oh, yeah, yeah, I got the experience charm. Yeah, yeah. So, Grandpa, get a load of this. We got an experience charm, but I have no idea exactly how much experience it gives. Maybe Grandpa will know. Hey, Grandpa! No, not that! I'm thinking about the thing we found yesterday! Oh, oh, that thing! Okay, got it, got it, got it. Um, 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 ah, the teal mask. Okay, 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 got it. Could this be? The mask. It belongs to that poor ogre. Where did you find this? We bumped into it. The ogre, I mean, yesterday at the Festival of Masks. I tried talking all nice to it and everything, but it dropped the mask and, uh, yeah. I never would have thought that the ogre would still be gracing our festival with its presence. Yeah? Uh, what do you mean, still? I thought the ogre was a scoundrel that attacked the village. I suppose it's time I told you, Carmine. You see, the truth of what happened with that ogre is the other way around. What do you mean? You should hear this too, Abdallah. You also met the poor ogre. Or, Ogre Pawn, as it's rightly named. Let me tell you the true story as passed down through our family for generations. So you were just going to hold on to this information? And not tell your grand, your, not tell your son, but you're going to tell your son's daughter and a random stranger a secret that you've held for generations. It's going to be a long story to tell. Is that all right? Uh, can you give me the TLDR? Like, I just want the shortened version, Gramps. I am, but I got time for that. I need to go up the mountain and catch it. And raise it, get it to level 100, EV train it, give it all the EV berries. This story has been passed down in our family by word of mouth. I learned it from my father. 
It's a story of truth, a story that must never be told to the rest of the village. You must never speak of it to others. Why are you telling us to now? I guess because we saw the ogre. Uh, that's a pretty heavy burden to, to bear. A, a long time ago, a man and ogre came to Kitakami from a foreign land. Wow. It's a great story. The people of the village feared the man and the ogre who looked so different from them. And so they refused to let the travelers come anywhere near the village. Because they looked different? The man and the ogre were saddened that the villagers did not welcome them. But they were happy just to have each other. They settled quietly in a cave on the mountain. There was only one villager who pitied the two travelers. The village mask maker. He made several masks for the man and the ogre. The masks were brilliant works adorned with gems the man bought from somewhere far away. By wearing these masks, the travelers could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. The man and the ogre were overjoyed. They thanked the mask maker for his kindness. Wearing the mask, the man and the ogre started secretly joining the village festival. Mysterious pair soon became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. In fact, rumors about them quickly spread far and wide to even distant lands. But rumors of exquisite shiny masks attract more than just innocent curiosity. A group of greedy Pokemon soon made their way to the land of Kitakami. These Pokemon sneaked into the cave in which the man and the ogre lived and tried to make off with the masks, which were carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of the masks. But he was not strong enough to protect them all. The Pokemon stole the other three masks. Several hours later, when the ogre returned to the cave, it found its beloved home in ruin. All that was left were signs of a struggle in a teal mask. The ogre donned that mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for its friend. It found the greedy Pokemon there, gloating over their stolen masks, and defeated them. The villagers, of course, had no idea what was happening, nor why. All they saw was the raging ogre and they felt great fear. The villagers thought that three Pokemon had fallen trying to protect the village from the ogre. To honor their sacrifice, the villagers named them the Loyal Three and interred them with care. Wow. Wounded and weak, the ogre returned to its cave alone and with great sadness. Whoa. That's some cool storytelling. Like, I'm, I'm very hypercritical about Pokemon games, but, like, this story twist is actually really good writing. That's terrible! Ogre Pond didn't deserve that, and the Loyal Three, they're the worst! The story everyone's been told is the complete opposite of the truth. They're gonna hear about this. Calm yourself, Carmine. I told you already to keep it to yourself. But Grandpa... The villagers believe their own version of the history. Uh, they revere the loyal three, so how would they react to being told that they've got it all wrong? They'd probably get angry? Exactly. Back when this all first occurred, the mask maker, that is to say our ancestor, tried desperately to tell the truth of the matter. But no one would take him seriously. In fact, it's said he was persecuted as a heretic. Oh, that really gets my blood boiling. In the end, the mask maker chose to protect his descendants, us, by keeping his mouth shut. However, he kept the truth alive, passed down from generation to generation as a family secret. I see. Kiki doesn't know the whole story yet, does he? He shouldn't, no. I've certainly never spoken to him about it. Why do you ask? Oh, man. I don't know, he really seems to like the ogre. He's practically obsessed. He's been trying to one-up me as if he knows more about Ogre Pond than I do. 
Well, I can't say what's going on with the boy, but he was always a sensitive child. It wouldn't surprise me if he somehow uh, intuited, intuited the truth. Uh, I promise it all here in the whole story when the time is right. Until then, take care not to breathe a word of the truth to anybody. Okay, Grandpa. Now I really can't tell Kiki we met the ogre. About that mask you showed me, I noticed the jewel on its forehead was chipped. I might be able to fix it. Would you mind leaving the mask with me for a little while? Oh, huh. Maybe it got chipped when it fell down the stairs. Since Grandpa's offering, let's get it all nice and fixed up before we give it back to Ogre Pond. All right. Don't worry. I'll be sure to take good care of this. That's so cool. Wait, 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 wait. Who was that? Yo, was that? He was just listening the whole time? I want to see Ogre Pond again, but getting its mask fixed will have to come first. For now, we should carry on with the orienteering before Kiki gets suspicious. I bet we'll find Kiki just killing time somewhere in town. Yo, Kiki knows. That's not okay. I don't... I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like the uh, disrespect of privacy that Kieran just did over there. That's like borderline illegal. That bo that boils my blood right now. That he's just listening in when like he was told, hey man, like go somewhere else. We're going to have a private conversation. That's not okay. Uh, hey, Abdallah. So I was gonna ask, what were you and my sis just, uh, talking about? Yo. We are talking about Nunya. We are talking about Nunya. Nunya business. Oh, I see. So, about those signs, the last one's a bit of a hike away. It's in the Paradise Barrens on the other side of the Oni Mountain. We'll need to head over the mountain and down toward the northwest. You go on ahead. I'll catch up. Why? Why'd you lie to me? I mean... Yeah, that's rough. Alright, take a selfie at the last signboard. Dude, this story is a little much, man. Not much story. A lot going on over here. A lot of like deception, a lot of um, yeah, a lot of other things, man. I got feelings, dude. I got feelings. All right, do I have a fly spot? I mean, I could go up the mountain, or I can just go through the fields. Like, I think I'm gonna go through the fields. Let's go. Yeah, if you were in, um, I don't. If you were in our position over here, what is going on? Why am I stopped? What just happened? Perfect game, by the way. Perfect game. Absolutely no flaws or glitches. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, what is this golden Pokemon over here? And if it's not a Diplin, I'm done. It's just a Flapple? Doesn't have anything besides Astonish. I'm going to bug buzz. Bzz, 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 bzz. I have one, but this one's a better one. There's a Terra type apple and just chilling in the um, overworld over here. So just get this one. It's probably better than any other one that you'll get. So. Yeah, yeah. Backflip in the ball, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to find out how to evolve it. Where do you get the, the item? Please let me know. That's what we gotta figure out. Applin to Diplin. Okay, here we go. Uh, I, I'm not going to add him to my party, because he's not 
ready yet. So we'll take that. Thanks. Okay, you can claim a reward. I'm not interested, but we'll keep on going. I do want to look at the nearby a little bit later, so... Okay, let's take a look. Uh, let's look at nearby. Uh, this is the wrong way. Pichu, Fermantis, Fomantis. We're going to go this way. What is this? I stepped on a Fomantis, man. Fly, my pretty. All right, take the road, take the road. What? Thank you for the elixir, needed it. Wistful Fields. Okay, so now we're in Wistful Fields. It's a Pichu? It's not shiny. Syrupy Apple. Mosfell Confluence. Okay, got it, got it. Great, great. Good intel. We'll go find that. Uh, yeah, we'll get to the towns eventually. So there's a key item called Syrupy Apple. And that's what we need in order to get it. And it's going to be somewhere in a confluence. Uh, we're going to be moving this way, right? A wistful. We're going to go through Wistful Fields. We're going to make our way over Paradise Barrens, Kitakami Wilds, Timeless Woods. Uh, the worth. Oh, it's over here in a stall. I mean, I'll go do that now. Yeah, you know what? I'll go do that now. Let's go figure it out. Love that. There's a farm there with a stall apparently. Hmm. Hmm. And I did catch a Terra, Terra Applin, so like I'm good with that. If it could just become a Diplin like right now, I'd be really happy because that's one of the coolest new Pokemon I wanted. So let's go this way. Uh, I'm going to look at the map right now and we are going to mark over here. I think this might be the stall. We're going to set that as a destination. I'm going to break the camera again. Let me break the camera. Oh, Lotad? Wait, wait, wait. Is Lotad new or old? What's up, Patchy? Lotad? I don't know about Lotad. Ah, uh, that's new. We're taking him. I did not expect to find another new Pokemon so quick. Looks... Oh, Lotad Shiny is very, very questionable. <laughs> oh my gosh, you should see Lotad Shiny. Oh man, and they and they had to redo Jinx's Generation 1 design. And you're telling me Lotad's shiny is not any different? Okay, great. I'll let you guys figure out what that means. Moving on! It's a Lotad! The leaf on its head is naturally dirt repellent. And will stay clean even after transporting Pokemon that are covered in mud. So it's like a transport Pokemon? Weird. Okay. Hey! What's up, dude? Yay! Oh, yo, we got a Mamo Swine on the team now. So in case you don't know how to evolve this Pokemon, uh, all you need to do is make sure that it has the move Ancient Power in its moveset and then level it up once. Boom. We now have a Mamo Swine, which is huge. Frozen Mamo Swine was dug from ice dating back 10,000 years. This Pokemon has been around a long, long time. It needs one of the Paradox forms, right? Like, shouldn't there be a giant mammoth? Once you're on the double hit, uh, what do you what do you have? What do you have? Ice Fang, Ice Shard. I think we're good. Thanks. Is double hit a dragon move? Uh, I don't remember. I know there's a dragon multi hit move, but whatever. Okay, let me go see if I can find this. Look at this frame rate right now. Ooh, got to render out every blade of grass. Oh my gosh, we're going so f so fast. Mossfell Confluence. Here we are. Here we are. Stardust? There's a little, where is the shop? Hmm. Let me look at this map a little bit. Okay, so um, I'm going to go... Yeah, yeah, we're going to go over there. Mosfell Confluence. Dude, I did not touch that thing. All right, let's keep going. Get out of here, whoops. What's that? Spider? Yo, where's my shiny at? I have the shiny charm. Where is it? 
There is a little farm. Okay, okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Oh my gosh. Volbeat fluid. <laughs> Not like Volbeat antenna or. No, no, no. We're gonna go fluid. What are you? Hey, Timber! Needed him. Look at this cutie. Critical capture. No. Okay. <laughs> All right, got him. And then we got to get what? Conkildur traded, or what is his name? Uh, Girder. Timber, always carrying square log. They help out with the constructions as they grow. They carry bigger logs. Okay, cool. I don't need them, but I did need them for Dex filler. Uh, yeah. Man, we got a lot of Pokemon to trade. Okay, so here we are at this farm. Oh, yeah, just let me run on the crops. Yep. Okay, okay. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so here we are. In the land of Kitakami, right? If you want to get the evolution item for Applin. For starters, you find Applin over here in the Apple Hills area, right? You go over here, there's actually a Terra one that you can guarantee catch every single time, all right? Catch that bad boy. And then, of course, as you're seeing over here, the community center, you're going to walk all the way down this way to the southeast. And you're going to find a little farm stall right over here. It's called the Delicious Syrupy Apples for sale for 500 Poké Dollars each. Give me that. I will buy one. Great. All right. Other items pouch. Syrupy Apple. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to go into our bag. Let's see. Hmm. We're going to go into the other items pouch. And then, ooh, actually, let's actually put our new Applin, our Terra Applin, right over there. We have him here. Terra Applin. We're going to move there. Perfect. Okay, so this is our Applin that we did find over that way. We're going to go to bag. We're going to go to other items. And then it is called the Syrupy. So it should be by S. Here we go. Syrupy Apple. Done. So you have three different apples that you can use. Of course, Syrupy Apple is going to be the one that we are going to use for this Applin. Here we go, because it's the new one. And there we have it. Applin is evolving. Easy mode. Cool! Oh my gosh. Congratulations, your Applin evolved into Diplin! Hey, Sweet! This is what we wanted. Great. Diplin learned double hit. Sweet. And tell me more. And there we have it. So now you can go take a look at uh, your brand new Pokemon. It's Diplin. Whee! There he is. Okay. Look at this. So it's Diplin is a grass dragon. Uh, you could probably change up a whole bunch of moves now. Uh, dragon Pulse. Syrup Bomb? User sets off an explosion of sticky candy syrup, which coats the candy. Oh, super cool. Uh, it is a grass move. Wow. It drops the target speed stat each for three turns. Really good. Bullet Seed, Multi-Attack, Dragon Breath, Dragon Tail. Cool. Move set. Growth is amazing as well. Yeah, we're going to go Syrup Bomb. That's so fun. So he's a special attacker for sure. Yeah, we're going to learn that because it's a special move. Uh, I would definitely recommend um, using energy ball no no we don't recover cool yo we're gonna go dragon pulse because it is a dragon pokemon you know when i think about dragon pokemon in the game i think of applin i don't think about dragonite no no we don't think about that uh let's see what else it learns uh energy ball recover i'll take yeah well just in case it doesn't seem to have uh, actually it has a lot of hp double hits kind of cool I'll get rid of Astonish. I mean, that's a ghost move. It's very weak, so we don't need that. And let's give it one more. Protect Growth is going to be pretty awesome. Dragon Tail could be cool. Uh, withdraw for Defense. Sweet Scent. Uh, we don't need that. So we're going to just go with Growth. Just a setup. It's a great setup move, and I will do that over Double Hit. Yeah, cool move set, man. Love that. All right, so very first, we're going to go Dragon Pulse. We're going to go Syrup Bomb. We're going to go Growth and then Recover when we need it. 
Um, his ability is called Super Sweet Syrup. A sickly sweet scent spreads across the battlefield whenever you enter, lowers the invasiveness of opposing Pokemon. That's actually really good if he has low accuracy attack moves. I don't really know what he's able to learn, but I'm glad that we got a Diplin now, and he's level 59. That's amazing, so I'm totally down for that. That is a brand new partner. Um, I still like Ribombi, so I'm gonna keep that Pokemon. I don't think I'm gonna use Pachirisu, to be honest. I got Dragon and Grass. I don't think I need Polchigeist. I need a better electric attacker. Yeah, so like, I don't need Polchigeist. We got Diplin over here. Yeah, this is actually looking a pretty stacked team. The only Pokemon that's probably weak is probably going to be Pachirisu, which will maybe find a replacement. He doesn't evolve. He doesn't do anything special. So give me another electric type, and I will gladly, gladly swap him out. But anyway, this is a great, great stopping point. We got ourselves a little Diplin. We're set. So now all we need to do is set our radar towards um, this next area, which is going to be all the way over here. So I'm, we were kind of moving this way. So yeah, I don't mind going over this way. The last photo, we'll absolutely go and get that. We'll work counterclockwise, or sorry, we'll work clockwise uh, around the entire area and go there next. So anyway, you guys are great. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out, guys. And shout out to Lainey for that information. Thank you. That's very good intel about finding out the, the Diplin. Uh, that's real cool. Diplin. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, good job. All right, let's continue on, shall we? Let's keep on going. The night is young, friends. Hey, uh, really quick check-in with all of you guys watching. Thank you again for watching tonight. Uh, we're going to be going all night until we're done with the DLC. So go get the popcorn. Go get some caffeine. Pour yourself a cup of coffee. And uh, let's stick around and hang out because currently it's 1045 my time. Uh, you tell me at home, what time is it? And where are you guys all from? It's one of my favorite things to ask uh, the chat. What time is it and where are you guys all from? And did you feed your Snorlax in Pokemon Sleep? I don't think I can. Yeah, did you feed your Snorlax in Pokemon Sleep? There's a new version available. What? Oh, man. Gotta update. <laughs> Those of you guys on my friends list, make sure you choose your photo before exiting your research every day. Give me some good... I need Squirtle candy. I need Bulbasaur candy. I need all that. All right. So eventually we're going to have to get the three loyal Pokemon, right? We have to catch them. Uh, so I'm very, very curious about that. Okay, so some of you guys, let's see where you're all at. 2.44 p.m. in Australia. Awesome. 11.44. 12.44 in Singapore. What's up, Singapore? What's up, Ontario? What's up, Jersey? Vegas? What's up, guys? What's up, India? Washington? Canada, eh? No, I didn't get Mime Jr. or Mr. Mime. I heard he's not so good. But uh, it was Pokedex, right? I did go move to Cyan, though. Cyan. I gotta go, like, clear out my little Pokemon over here. Um, yo, James, what's going on, man? How you been, James? James! What's up, Toronto? What's up, Morocco? You guys doing okay over in Morocco? I hope you are. Please, please tell me you guys are okay. Um, Texas, what's up, Texas? Hey, what's up, California? California, IA? Oh, man. Let's go to California again shall we all right all right go take a nap with pokemon sleep Ooh, it's 10 46 i gotta go set my <laughs> i gotta go grab my go plus remind me to get my go plus after the next half an hour break okay so i can go set it to sleep because this is like right around my bedtime so that would be great that'd be wonderful a guy's gotta go to sleep on time in my bedtime or else i'm not gonna get my rewards right all right friends let's do it all right long island new york Oh, no, I'll get it next time. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. 
We're back with more Teal Mask DLC. Uh, we got our Applin, or Diplin, on the previous episode, and now we need to head on over to the historic signboard. Uh, yeah, I'm ready for it. Are there any Pokemon in this area that I need to get? I mean, there are some evolutions that would be really nice to grab, such as Weepin' Bell. Weepin' Bell. Let's go get Weepin' Bell. And let's do it. Let's go get some Weepin' Bell over here. Yeah. Perfect. I love how the Pokeball just floats in the air. How does that work? Get that Weeping Bell. Yo, when you guys got a Leaf Stone for me? Where does one get a Leaf Stone in this area? Even though it's filled with acid, it does not melt because it also oozes a protective liquid. Ooh. Oh, we're not going to use Le Weeping Bell. Ding. Now I don't have to level up a Bell Sprout. That's kind of cool. While we're in the area, I can find a knock towel. I can find a Sawaddle. Spinarak, Ducklet, Cutie Fly. The over the shoulder cam, I love it. I don't want to run into anything. Guard special. Battle Sprout. Girder. Dude, Fomanis. Where is Noctowl and Ariados? Hello, Lee Vanny! I need your middle evolution now. Cool. Yo, Lee Vanny. You tell me about Lee Vanny. Tell me about the name. Dude, no way. You don't like that. Sword stance up. I'm dipping out, man. I'm dipping out like Diplin over here. Yo, that's a third, like a second stage evolution over here. That's really good. I gotta get behind it and like scare it like this. Rah. Didn't work. You think it's Leaf and Nanny? I don't think so. Lee Vanny? What does it have to do with an Oh my gosh, dude. I gotta like hit this thing or something. This one's gonna be a hard catch, because I'll have to actually do work. Do I bring, um, Ninetales? Uh, or sorry, do I bring you? And just use a Hypnosis? Okay, fine. Alright, Vulpix, Hypnosis, go! Leaf Storm? How much? Half my health. Lower your special attack. Okay, that's fine. But it does have, like, other stuff. Oh my gosh. Of course not. X-Scissor? Dude, you're hurting me. Can you hit a Hypnosis? Thanks. Now what? An Ultra Ball? At full health? There's no way. Quick Ball? Third turn? No way. Give me, like, a uh, Net Ball. No, give me, like, a Bug Ball. Like, isn't there a Bug one? Friend ball, lure ball, what like net ball, right? Wasn't there like a something for bugs? Sure, that's a bug type. Here, net ball. Dude, what? Come on! Two seconds away from tossing my master ball. Like, let's go. I gotta get the leave, Annie. Yay! Critical capture. Love it. I'm in. Alright, now we gotta find the middle stage evolution. Swadloon. Yep, yep. Totally remembered that on the first shot. Yep, good job. Lee Vanny. This gentle Pokemon has strong protective instincts. The leaves on its arms are sharp enough to slice a thick tree in half with one stroke. That's scary. Ooh, bug and grass. Four times weak against fire. I was thinking of doing a hit on it. Okay, Timber. I need the Swadloon. He's probably over here someone, somewhere. Swaddle. Growlithe. Acorn. That's a Acorn. I like the over-the-shoulder view. Uh, Ducklet. Bellsprout. Dude, really? Starly? Leave me alone. Who the heck is that? Oh, Girder. 
I'm just trying to fill a Pokedex, man. I love catching Pokemon. That's one of my favorite things. Because it's new and it's exciting. You get to do it all over again. Who's that? Okay, spider. Ducklet. Uh, come on, where's the second evolution? Uh, you know, I don't actually need it. Uh, I'm okay. Here's Heracross. I'm, I really don't need these. I mean, I do have experience candies, like a boatload of them from doing so many raids. So, if I can catch it, cool. If not, I'll just... Yeah! I'll just... Throw one singular candy at it, and it's gonna evolve anyway, right? So, like, it doesn't matter. Let's quick ball everything. I see a bunch of acorns in the back. Critical? Nope. Beautiful. Ariados. Ariados? I don't know. Araya? Mariah? <laughs> a single strand of special thread is endlessly spun out of its rear. The thread leads back to its nest. Okay. Okay, cool. Learn something new. Ding! The entire species is done. Good job. Alright, alright. The only other thing that's near here, according to the nearby, is Noctowl. And I don't necessarily need that. What I need to do is I need to go all the way back this way. We were going to go this way anyway. So I'm going to Loyalty Plaza. We're going to start working our way south all the way up north. And then head on over to the next photo spot. We did catch a lot of Pokemon. So like our Pokedex is looking pretty stacked right now. And I'm so happy about it. The Loyalty Plaza. Where do your loyalties stand? What if? Okay, listen to me here. What if Grandpa is just making up a story of his own? Just to be different, right? What if Grandpa is just making up a story? Just like everyone else. You never know. What's the real truth? Mankey? Wait a second, is Mankey new? Okay, cool, I did not see Mankey before. Yo, Mianxiao? No way! Oh, cool! Yo, this guy with high jump kick? Or Mian Fu, sorry, sorry. Mian Fu and Mian Shao. Yo, Mian Shao with high jump kick was so ridiculous back in the day. It was like one of the highest attack stats and moves very fast. Yo, if you ate a high jump kick from this thing, you were done. Alright, that's really fun. We got Mian Fu. Wow. Ta -da! Okay, Mian Fu. Who else is here? Is that a spider? What the heck? Grubbin? I don't own Grubbin? I'll take Grubbin. That's Grubbin Community Day. Right here. Grubbin. Grub. Grubbin Vickavolt. That entire line. Great. Grubbin. Grubbin' in, grubbin' out. Alright, here we go. A grubbin. Grubbin normally live underground, but they get unearthed by Hoot Hoot. They may be found gathered around electric Pokemon. Oh, grubbin. Cool. Charge a bug. Right? Grubbin, charge a bug, Vickable. That's fun. That's an electric Pokemon, but Vickavolt is so slow, though. I don't like him. Um, yeah, this camera's kind of zoomed out. Is that Lechonk? Nope. Is that LeChonk? <laughs> Yo, Lee Vanny right here. Yo, Lee Vanny. Goodbye. Who's next? Ew! Mankey! Come on, man. Let me pick that up. Yo, that's Mankey's luxury ball. I just stole it from him. Yo, where's Primate? Is that Execute? Whoa, 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 whoa. Tandemouse? No. Ralts. Squabbit. Mankey. Wow, I love looking around at Pokemon. Oh, Pikachu! I choose you! Oh, that's so fun. Vulpix? Where am I going? Oh, who are you? Charge bug. Cool. Oh, so awesome. This is, it's like finding, it's like playing a new Pokemon game, and I love it. Give me that. Yo, Charger Bug is like a truck. <laughs> like a fat truck. 
What is this design? Charge a bug. Uh, yeah, charge a bug. Protected by a sturdy shell, charge a bug eats large quantities of fresh and decomposing leaf litter in order to evolve. I'm never gonna use it. I don't like Vicavolt. I'm sorry. He's too slow. But I mean, we got we got some new Pokemon, and we got an evolution. A little baby's growing up. Little baby's ice cream right here. Valabi. <laughs> Volabi. Yo, Mandibuzz. Okay, okay. I will take a Mandibuzz. Look at this beauty right here. Cool. Always searching for food for Volabi. Uh, when it finds weak Pokemon, Mandibuzz swoops it right off to its nest. Cool. Yeah, Mandibuzz is bulky, so I do like this. Bone Rush? How do you learn Bone Rush? Excuse me, how do you know a ground move named Bone Rush? Um, I mean, it's physical attack. I, do, I'm, I like my moveset. I will not learn Bone Rush. But that is really cool that it does learn it. I think that's really fun. Uh, I'm just out here trying to find new Pokemon. Okay, so let's take a look at the nearby. Oh, we got Munchlax. Uh, remind me, is Munchlax old news? And what about Chingling? Chingling and Munchlax. Why do I remember... Is that a shiny? No. Noctowl's over here, too. Munchlax is new. Munchie? Yo, what did we name Munchlax? I remember we tried to do some, like, shiny hunting for Munchlax in uh, Legends Arceus. I don't know if we'll find a Munchlax over here, but uh, you better believe I will try. Who's this? Oh, Kirlia. Cool. Who's that? Another Kirlia. Another Pikachu. Pikachu! I don't need him. Grubbin. I mean, we're finding a lot of the same Pokemon. Um, squirrels? Mianfu? Mankey? Where is Munchlax? There's no way. Hey, Chingling. Yeah, no, it's Pikachu. Dang it. Like, you gotta have, like, really good eyes. Tandemouse? I just stepped on Aralts. Dang. Ralts. I may need to change out Vulpix. <laughs> Vulpix needs healing. Alright, you know what? Let's take a look at the mountains over here. Maybe this is what they mean by uh, finding some other Pokemon. Oni Mountain. Bronzor. Is Bronzor new? I don't think so, yeah. I mean, we've had Bronzor before. Houndor? Hey! Don't touch me! Unless you're a blue dog. I would much rather... Tell me about Houndor. Okay, Houndor is old. Old news. Spoink? Old news. Base game. Spoink, Rockruff, Luxio, have him. Who's that? Geodud? Alright, you know what? I do see a uh, Terra Pokemon over here, so I'm gonna go hang out. If it's a Terra Munchlax, then I'm gonna be super happy about it. Wait, that's not a Terra Pokemon. That's just uh, a Terra Raid Den. Oh, that's unfortunate. Jump down for nothing. I'll climb right back up. Don't worry. I'm getting distracted by finding Pokemon, and it's so good. Oni Mountain. Okay, so we did find Geodude over here. Bronzor we have. Geodude really blends in. Electric Terra Shard. Cool. Vulpix on the mountain. Cute. There's Chingling. That's new, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I don't. I don't have Chingling. That's great. So Chingling evolves into Chimeco. I guess maybe there's a Chimeco somewhere around. Yo, look at Houndor just laying down, just like in Pokemon Sleep. That's so fun. All right, all right. Chingling! There's an orb inside its mouth. When it hops, the orb bounces all over, making that ringing sound. Oh, good to know. Bell Pokemon. Ding! Oh, there's a lot of Pokemon that's left to be found. I don't know where Munchlax is. I don't know if he's in the mountain. 
Another Chingling? I would love to find a Chimeco. This game is very generous with, like, random item drops on the ground. Like, in this DLC land. Like, everything is just littered everywhere. Yo, Graveler! Cool! Yo, dude, I remember. It's one of my first memories of Pokemon when I was a kid. Graveler. I got a Geodude in the tunnel before Cerulean City. And it evolved into Graveler. And I'm like, I'm going to go beat up the next gym. I remember this explicitly. When Pokemon was brand new. I caught myself a Geodude. Everyone was using normal type attacks against him. And he was a rock type. So it was doing not very effective damage. I thought he was the best Pokemon. Yeah, a slow walker rolls to move. It pays no attention to any object that happens to be in its path. So I loved Graveler so much. Poured all my experience just grinding in the cave, beating up Zubat. And then I got out of the cave and went to Cerulean City. And I'm like, I'm just going to beat Misty. Whoever, who's Misty? What's a Staryu? Staryu proceeds to use Bubble Beam on me and destroys my Graveler in one hit. Yup. That was a true story when I was a kid. Back when you don't even know what a Staryu is. No way, man. So Misty destroyed my best Pokemon. And I said, what? Water? Water move against rock? Uh, yeah, I guess. Cool. <laughs> oh, real true story there. Um, that was one of my fondest memories. One of my earliest mem memories. Slugma Lava. <laughs> I love that. Okay, Slugma. All right, why am I climbing up this mountain? There's a Mimikyu up here. Oh, that's why I'm climbing up this mountain for Mimikyu, aren't I? Oh, come on. I love Mimikyu. I would replace Ribombee in a heartbeat for Mimikyu. Where are you, Mimikyu? Where are you, Mimikyu? Are you Mimikyu? Dude, Mimikyu's so good. M Mimikyu's in base? Wait a second. Oh, Coughing, though. Yo, she threatened to shove a coughing down my throat. One of these whole things. Wait, Mimikyu is old old hat? You're telling me? Fine. We don't need it anyway. I'll take coughing. Please! Wheezing! Alright, we'll take wheezing too if it ever shows up. Toxic gas held within its thin balloon-shaped body so it can cause massive explosions. That's so funny. Ekans and coughing are in this DLC. Like, is Meowth over here too? Like, what else? What is happening? Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. We're just up in the mountains hanging out over here. Like, yeah, no objective that I'm paying attention to. The Oni Mountain. Great ball. It's kind of hard to see, man. Yo, I'm out here squinting. Coughing. All right, coughing. Yo, give me the green. Give me a green floating coughing, please. That's all I ask. Love green coughing. Geo dud. Yo, I need Cheeto, dude. I need the orange Cheeto flavored Geo, dude. Chingling, I'm good. Wait, that's Chingling, yeah. Okay. I guess I should be well versed in shiny colors, yeah, because things don't sparkle in this game. Dude, where am I? I'm just chilling in the mountains. I need to go. I need to go to my objective, which is over here. Mm. Oh, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Yeah, yeah, let me just make this my objective and go. Okay, that's not a golden Geodude. That's not a Chingling I care about. You think Golem's here? Oh, yo, Houndoom? Wait, do I own Houndoom? Yes, I do. Okay, great. That was cool to see, though. Level 69 Houndoom. Great. Okay, Spoink, Coughing. This is so cool. We're just exploring in the mountains. I am going to find a shiny. I've got the shiny charm, man. That has to mean something. Oh, perfect game. Okay, look at this frame rate. I am flying down on Oni Mountain. Oh, 
There is like a couple Terra Pokemon. I don't know if those are Dens or Terra Pokemon. I can't tell. But look at the bird's eye view of this place. It looks pretty cool. Paradise Barrens. Reminds me a lot of like Tears of the Kingdom. Mudbray, are you new? Nope. Who is this? Yo, Jangmo? No way! Dude, a Jangmo! Oh my gosh, yes! Yo, we found a Jangmo. Oh, level 65? Oh my gosh. Yo, Jangmo. Oh, right now. That's so cool. I love that Pokemon. It's like a pseudo legendary right here, man. I think it's time we say goodbye to Pachirisu and we just replace him with Jangmo. Because Jangmo O oh, can like be a fighting type. And we got another dragon on our team. A scale, uh, the scale atop its head is useful for both offense and defense. It bravely stands and faces its foes rather than turning tail, even if its foes are strong. Yeah, sorry, Pachirisu. I'm kind of done with you. Later, dude. Didn't even get to see a battle. I just like Jangmo a lot. That is cool. Yeah, Jangmo O, Como O, and uh, who? Yo, Nose Passes, buddy? Nose Pass? I didn't know Nose Pass is in this game. Cool. Uh, how am I going to get Probo Pass? How does he evolve? Like, something magnetic, right? He's got a special evolution, doesn't he? Yo, flying Vulpix right now. So good. Nose Pass. Probo Pass. The, mag the magnet in Nose Pass's nose provides an unerring compass, making this Pokemon an excellent partner for trainers going on a journey. You always know where North is, right? Bum -ba -da -bum. Sandshrew? Wait! Is that right? Wait, who's that? Sandshrew! Hey, what's up, buddy? Yo, a lot of these Gen 1 Pokemon. That's actually kind of cool. I still remember the episode of Pokemon where Sandshrew was uh, trained really roughly by a trainer. And he was, like, jumping into water. And he was, like, teaching it to be water-resistant. Remember that? Like, the first season of Pokemon? I thought that Sandshrew was the coolest Pokemon when I was a kid. Holy Sand Slash! Whoa, 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 hold the phone, hold the phone. It digs uh, deep burrows to live in. When in danger, it rolls up its body to withstand attacks. Uh, eight, hold on. Hold on. Did you see that in the background? Go, 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 go. Move! Little boy. Don't despawn. Don't despawn, I'm here. Nose pass, sand, sl sand slash, man. That's just an evolution right there, baby. Hmm. Oh yeah, looking under the ground really quick. Hey, is that Voltorb? Wait, is Voltorb new? Uh, whoa, where did, what is he doing? Whoa, he's flying. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting excited for all these new Pokemon. Yo, Voltorb. It's adept uh, at attacking with spines on its back and its sharp claws while quickly scurrying about. Yo, Voltorb! Voltorb. Alright, come on, come on, come on. How was that how was that Pokemon Pokeball moving? Wait, that was not Voltorb? What <laughs> Are you telling me? That was not Voltorb. Are you actually telling me right now? What? What? Uh, what are you talking about? Where's Voltorb? Where did, they, where did I see that? No, don't tell me that that's uh, someone... Someone, like, flicking up a Pokeball up and down. Don't, man. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, alright. I love this area, though. We got Sand Slash already. That was really cool. We got Timber. That is that non-electrode? No, it's a rock. We got Nose Pass. We got Gligar. I want a Golden Nose Pass. I want a fine Probo Pass. If he's even around. Save me the evolution, bro. 
Like, for real. Dude, I got so excited for a Voltorb. Why? Dude, I love Generation 1 Pokemon, man. What the, Bombardier? Out of here. Fly away. Fly away home. Unless one of you guys have a pink beak. Ooh! Who's that? Nose pass? Who's that? Uh, Houndor? Jangmo! Hey, what's up, dude? I love Jangmo. Alright, we're just going... We're just, like, looking around for Pokemon. Like, I don't even care about taking a picture of nonsense, man. Just give me the new Pokemon. And let me find all this junk on the ground. Dude, what if I found, like, a blue Gligar? You... You... Okay. Okay, I think I've gotten everyone over here. I don't necessarily need it, so I'll go take my picture and be done. Alright, let's go. Take my picture and be done. Yahoo! Wee! What's up here? Cool stuff and things. TMs, I don't care. Okay, great. Yo, landed on the Gligar. What are the odds of that? Get out of here. Yeah, you're sadly mistaken. I thought that was, like, literally a Voltorb. Move! <laughs> These are the Paradise Barrens. Pretty lonely place, huh? According to the old legends, the ogre used to be seen around here lots. Hey, before we check the sign, could you battle me? I have a Vulpix. Thank you. Thank you. I was going to say, I have a Vulpix that's, like, completely trashed right now. If I eat a double edge from your furret one more time, I'm done. This time I'll win. You might just, but I do have Jangmo on my team, but watch out. And we do have Diplin. Yanma. Oh, get. Get wrecked, Yanma. What are you going to do? Giga Drain? I want to win. I want to win. So I got this. No, you don't. I will win every time. Watch my super effective flamethrower. Boom. Air Cutter. That hurts. Not enough. Go, Vulpix! Yeah! Okay, that's not strong. How much did Air Cutter do? Ah, uh, I should have brought... I should have thought things through. It wasn't supposed to go like this. How much did your Air Cutter do? Oh, we're good. We're good. We got this. Uh, so yeah, I can do this. That's like a 3-hit KO on Air Cutter, and there's a 2-hit KO on Flamethrower. Boom, you're done. Flame, dude. Flame Broiled Whopper. This is looking good. Polyrath. Ooh, what are we doing against Polyrath over here? Um, yeah, let's switch. Polyrath is a fighting and a water type. I can go syrup bomb. Yeah, let's let's see Diplin in action. Polyrath. Although Ribbonby would be pretty good with that draining kiss. Uh, let's let's put Diplin in. I think Diplin would be really good. Hmm, that does look like a dragon to me. Cool. Yeah, more... Yeah, his evasiveness just automatically falls. That's really good. Uh, we're gonna go Syrup. Surreptitious. I don't think... Oh, he might have Ice Punch. Yikes, I'm done for. Terastalize into Bug. Yeah, I don't want to eat an Ice Punch. And if he does outspeed me and use Ice Punch, then guess what? I'm a bug type. Yeah, big, big apple. Brick break? Mm, nah. Sorry, buddy. Have some syrup! Ooh, that didn't do much. But that'll lower his speed for three turns. That's actually kind of cool. I do like that a lot. Um, let's go growth. Okay, you can haze right now. Haze all you want. Okay, so that's eliminating stat changes, but I'm gonna growth right now. I'm gonna get a big apple. Attack, special attack, and then we're gonna toss some more syrup at you. Yeah, speed is gonna fall directly after that. That's actually really cool. Hey! I just growthed. Even with a minus speed... 
Minus one speed? I still couldn't outspeed him. Yo, this apple is slow. It's gonna be two hits, man. I don't know, he keeps on using haze. I'm gonna Dragon Pulse him, maybe he does more? He really doesn't like stat changes. Ah, it kind of does the same kind of damage. I'm just going to Syrup Bomb again. Hydro Pump! You got a crit on me? Well, GG's, man. Furret! I love Furret so much. Come on, Furret. You want some of this? Who's going to take on Furret? Jangmo. Like a DD up. I don't think Jangmo soundproof. <sighs> Overcoat. Mamo. Uh, I don't. This guy's very scary. I gotta go with Mamo Swine. That's all I got. He's gonna use double edge. It's gonna take half my health. I have to earthquake him. Maybe take half his health. Plus the recoil damage. Fur, it's a threat. I didn't evolve my Jangmo into Como O, which would have been a really, really good battle, but we're gonna Earthquake it out. Super Fang 50% off? Whoa! Oh, good miss. That would have been pretty rough. Get hit! Yeah, I knew it was gonna be about 50. So we're gonna do another Earthquake and then an Ice Shard. Min max damage. We win. Super Fang always has 50% of your health, which is really good on full health opponents. And then now we have Ice Shard, which is perfect. So, he's done. We kind of got lucky. If he did his Super Fang first and then double edge me, I don't think I would have survived that. Mamo Swine doesn't have the best. Uh, this is Diplin over here. We are not switching out on Diplin at all. Why does it have to be like this? Why? Okay, so this one's kind of rough. I, I think I can outspeed a Diplin. Because I know it's just, it's so slow. At least mine was. And I'm Mamo Swine. I should be able to outspeed and use an Ice Fang. Yeah, yeah. Four times super effective. How did I miss? You got this, Diplin. Get them all covered in syrup. Oh, that's super effective too, dude. Oh. That's four. I could have done a four times super effective damage. How did I miss the ice move? It's fine. Whatever. Bring it on. I'm a dragon too. I could do some dragon moves. Ah, uh, Noble Roar, Dragon Claw, Dragon Dance. He's probably got like Dragon Pulse or something. Or we can go the flying route. Yeah, he's grass. He's gonna throw like a syrup on me. Like, who cares? I'm a I'm a flying type. So check this out. We're gonna nasty plot up once. It's his last Pokemon. So we got this right now. Check this out. Ah, uh, not very effective. And it doesn't matter if my speed's down. Like, good job. Yo, look at that Gligar just watching us right now. What is it doing? Yo, no free shows. Uh, we're gonna go Air, air Slash, because it's super effective. It is a Grass type, so that's good. And I flinched. That's actually really good. I flinched him. There's a Dragon Pulse. Okay, good shot, good shot. I don't know if I like Diplin, friends. I don't know. It's too slow for my tastes. I do like the coverage, but I think he's very slow. Wow. Kieran, man. It's all because I'm too weak. No, you just need six Pokemon. Like, why is that hard? Oh, I lost. Yo, angry Arthur. <laughs> it's because I'm weak. That's why I... Oh, we should go check the sign. Come on, let's get this over with. All right, Arthur. Watch out for the Gligar. Yo, this is a perfect game, I'm telling you. If you see a shadowy figure approaching you outside the village at twilight, be wary. Don a mask at once and hide your face. Do so, and whether the shadow is man or monster, you will pass each other as fellow mask wearers. If you should meet the shadow when you have no mask in hand, then pray that it is only a man. If it is, you will live to see another day, and you will remember to never forget your mask again. But if it is the ogre, you will meet your end, 
as do all humans whose faces are seen by it. Once it sees your face, your soul will be forfeit, and you shall never return to the village. Oh my gosh. Wow, man. That's... Uh, the old days, everyone carried masks wherever they went, and the one who made those masks was actually my great-great-great-grandpa's great-great-great-grandpa or something. Wow, that's amazing. I mean, I don't think any of that stuff about the ogre stealing souls is true or anything, but it is true that our family used to make masks. Our family has a long line of mask makers. Even my gramps can make them. I even heard that the reason we hold the festival of masks is because our ancestors came up with the idea. I don't really like it when they wrote on this sign here. Uh, just because the ogre seems sort of scary, everyone got all afraid of it and drove it away from the village. But I'm sure the ogre must have been lonely on its own. Left all alone like that, treated like some kind of outcast. Yeah, you're right, man. You think so too, huh, Abdallah? Uh, yes. You want to take that last photo? Yeah, sure. Get the Gligar in it. <laughs> Hey, where's the Gligar? The one time? Yo, he is standing right inside that. Whoa, we're all done with our assignment now. But I gotta get stronger with my Pokemon. I'm gonna head home. Don't forget your Gligar! Where's... Oh, hey, buddy! What's up, friend? Oh! <laughs> okay. It's a great stopping point. Thanks for watching. You guys are amazing as usual. Uh, Shoutouts to Gligar for being such a patient Pokemon. He's just like, hey man, I'll wait my turn. I'll watch your battle. I'll watch the cutscene, but I won't be in the picture. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. That's so funny. Jangmo O was the cool catch of the episode. I love Jangmo O. <laughs> Yo, do that. <laughs> Gligar is so funny. I will not catch the Gligar. We already have it. <laughs> okay, the story is kind of interesting. I don't like that... <sighs> I don't like this deception over here. The deception is really hard to swallow with like the whole story mode and everything along those lines. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> oh, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, friends. You guys ready for this? Get your drink. How many of you guys actually got snacks when I told you to go get snacks? Did you? Oh, it's now currently what time? 11.30. 11.30. That's bedtime, huh? That's bedtime for some of y'all. Oh my gosh. Did you guys get some snacks? I think I want a snack. I'm going to go get a snack. You guys go get a snack.
All right, we're back. You guys ready? You Pokemon kids ready? <laughs> what did I grab? I got my Go Plus. Oh, shoot. It's dead. That's not okay. It's supposed to say peak, uh, Pikachu. What? Oh, maybe it's connected to Pokemon Go. What's going on? <laughs> I was going to say, man, I got to go to sleep. It's my bedtime. Yeah, there we go. All right, peek a peek a peek at me. All right. Pokemon are asleep. You guys ready? Let's go. We got a lot to do today, man. I got myself a power bar. And we are ready, man. We're ready to roll. What's new and exciting? How long have you guys been watching so far? Have you been here since the very beginning? I recognize a lot of you guys that are in chat just chilling out over here. So let's get it done. All right, Pika, Pika, Pikachu. Let's go. Yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yo. I haven't done, like, an all-nighter in a long time. It's so true. What do you think of the game so far? Do you guys enjoy the game? Um, has it been fun to watch? Is this worth money to you? I'd be curious of what you think. The DLC is actually pretty cool. I've been enjoying it thoroughly. It's it's really fun to jump back into the game and like not really know, oh, is this a new Pokemon? Uh, you know, is this a new Pokemon? Um, and then actually catching new Pokemon. Like that's that can only happen once, you know? It can really only happen once where everything is brand new for you. And I think uh, reimagining that kind of magic is really, really good. So like this, I'm all down for it, right? We don't need a national dex in like one Pokemon game. That's too much. Like slowly trickle out some things. And then you know what? Some Pokemon just don't make the cut. Whatever. The game is super fun. What is your favorite Pokemon that you've seen so far? What is your favorite Pokemon you've seen so far? I should go look at Jangmo really quick. Hmm, <laughs> I love this little guy. It's got a lot of good moves. Screech is gonna be pretty cool. Screech would hurt a lot. Yo, what's up, Kuro? Uh, last time I remember an all-nighter was from Breath of the Wild Champions Ballad DLC. Oh my gosh, I was so cranky. Dude, I'm so glad you remember that. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Every time people bring that up, and thank you for the super chat, by the way. Every time people bring that up, man, I feel so embarrassed. Outrage, Dragon Dance, Outrage, Noble Roar. What does that do? I don't think I want that move. I guess I can do Dragon Dance first. Outrage is amazing. 
I feel so embarrassed about that live stream. I, it was like at the Game Awards, they announced the DLC for Zelda at 11 o'clock at night. I was not ready to do an all-nighter. And I'm like, all right, let's do it. It can only be one or two hours. Until 7 in the morning. Trying to figure out this blind game. It was so hard. I got to a point where there were like people that were like backseat gaming and trying to tell me how to solve a puzzle with very bad instructions. And I just lashed out. And I'm like, no one talk to me! Stop backseat! I don't think we had... I don't know. I don't think our mods back then were like as aggressive... <laughs> or <laughs> or stayed up with me until 7 in the morning. I think we had a different team back then. <laughs> it was funny, though. Yo, but don't backseat game, man. No one likes that. Hey, Abdullah, you should use this Pokemon. No one likes that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't be that guy. <laughs> like, no one talk to me. I'm on no sleep right now. It's 7 in the morning. <laughs> Oh, it was so good. Uh, Outrage, Dragon Claw. I don't really need Dragon Claw. I just need another move, man. Like, give me, give me something else. He doesn't have any other. I don't know. I don't want to teach him another move either. So, like, he's just gonna be Dragon right now until we evolve him, and then he'll have some fighting moves. Um. So yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. What does that work? All right, let's do it. Okay, friends, uh, are we ready? We're just chilling in the mountain over here. Where do I have to go? What was the story that we were doing? Oh, I finished that last thing. Um, I Yeah, I don't know. I took a break, and now I don't know where I'm going. So let's take a look. I want to go to the north. Oh, I got to go back to town and do what? I got to follow the kid? All right, let's go. We all right. Here we go. Uh, let's let's yeah. Let's finish this out. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. And if you guys are ready, let's see some big hype in the chat as usual. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I hope that you guys are playing along with and having a great time. Let's -a go. Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdali here. Hi. We're back with more DLC. You guys ready? Let's jump in. Okay, okay, where do we got to go? We got to head back all the way over to town. Another day done. Oh, wow, you're done with an assignment? Oh, yeah, I did all three of the things. So let's just fly here and go turn in our assignment. How's that one sick kid? <laughs> What's the status of that sick kid? Is he okay? Is the sick kid okay? Oh, I'm here. Hello. Uh, where am I turning my stuff in? What is this? Oh, the union room? A professor? Oh, yeah, yeah. I go inside the building and then turn in my homework. Got it. Hello, professor. The candy fruits of the Festival of Mass had such an interesting flavor. Okay. Hello? I didn't talk to the pig. Hi. I have one of you, too. All right, you. I don't care about the menus. All right, all right. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Uh, okay, so now this one, this one says what? Okay, another day done. Can you, can you... Head back to the commuter center and get some rest in your room. <laughs> My room is just through the double doors. That's not a room. It's a lack of a room. I just go through the doors and come out. This game is so good. Good morning, Abdallah. Carmine wanted me to tell you that she's waiting at her place. She said, you better get a move on and don't keep me waiting. All right, let's go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. So one of the things I want to do right now is is I want to run forward. I do want to come over here and um, and like take a look around, see what kind of other clothing other than gloves and socks she has for me. Oh, it's just gloves and socks. 
Uh, okay, where do I change my haircut? <laughs> I thought I gotta, like, walk around the area. Let me see. Can I, like, zoom in and, like, see the clothier if I zoom in? Peachies. I I just was at Peachies. How do I change my... Alright, fine. Don't worry about it. We'll just go default dance the entire time. Okay. Ready! I thought I can go get a, uh, a new haircut and a new outfit because I have, like, a teal card. Yeah, I don't know how that works, but I've got a huge, cool-looking dragon, so let's just do this. <clears throat> let's do it, friends! Abdallah, you took your sweet time. Easy there. We wanted to talk to you before Kiki wakes up. He's already up, and he's looking through the other window right now. I want to fix Dear Ogrepan's mask, but I'll need one more material if I want to do a proper job of it. Yeah, according to Grandpa, we need to get a crystal cluster from the bottom of Crystal Pool. I mean, we could just return the mask as it is. But I think it would make Ogrepan really happy if we fixed it up first. Yeah, I bet it would. And let me guess, you want me to go get this crystal? Especially now that I've heard the real story. I just want Ogre Pond to be happy, you know? I'm sure Ogre Pond will be pleased to know you care about it so much. Right? Morning, Grandpa. Ah, oh, good morning, Kieran. Kiki, you better go kill time somewhere. Yeah, yeah, do whatever you want, sis. Excuse me? I don't need that kind of attitude from you. I got stuff to do, okay? What's his problem? He's been all bent out of shape since yesterday. I don't know. He spent the evening in his room without so much as a bite of dinner. Must be teen angst or something. It happens. It would have been hard to get stuff done with Kiki clinging to Abdallah. Guess things worked out in our favor. The crystal pools at the top of Oni Mountain. It's usually not too keen on outsiders heading up the, the mountain, uh, but I think we can make an exception for you. What say you and I go for a hike to find ourselves in the crystal uh, cave or wherever that is? We're going for a hike. Go to the crystal pool. Okay. Let's go take a look at the map. Find out where crystal pool is. Oh, way up here. All right. That's an easy climb. Go to the crystal pool. Find the crystal cluster. All right. Let's do it. Yo, can I bounce on your house? Cool, great. Look at these hoot hoot. We The Apple Hills. The Ultra Ball. Alright, we're just gonna go climbing right up. There are a lot of cool Pokemon in the area, but there's still like one or two biomes of this DLC that we haven't even taken a look at yet. I kinda wanna go explore them. I don't know if the game is going to force us to go over there and explore them ourselves. I'm actually very baffled. At that exact reason. I'm baffled that the game didn't force us to go all the way over to, um... All the way over to the new place, right? Like, why didn't it allow us to visit all the new, th new places? Oof. Is there not a way over this? Uh, probably not. Just want to go through it. Cool. Look at these awesome rock formations. Dude, there are items everywhere. There's the Oni Cave. Items everywhere. TMs everywhere. Geo Dude everywhere. What's this? To land it? No, I don't need it. Yeah, the game's very generous. Here we go, Rocky Mountain over here. Can I climb all the way up it? I doubt I can. I'm still on this mountain. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you can. Okay, great. You said to kind of go around. Yep, yep. So cool. Remember backwards long jumping? That was fun. Grasp. Wow, look at how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh. Hey, there's a Terra Pokemon. What kind of Pokemon do you think we'll find in the area? Coughing? 
Okay. Yo, who's that? Who? Oh, Glim Glamora? Why? why? Why are you here? Isn't Glamora like a Pokemon in like Area Zero? Why would it be just chilling out over here? Slugma! Yeah! Slugma! What's up, Slugma? Slugma is a threat, man. This thing is scary. Cool, though. Alright, that's our first new Pokemon of the episode, Slugma. Uh-huh. Cool. Uh, its lava body can cool and chip away at times, but uh, but a magma bath will heal it right up. Yeah, because it's so easy to find a magma. Magma. Alright, here we go. Magma. Who's in here? I just want to take a peek. Oh, Chimeco. Cool. A uh, Bronzor, Yanma, Slugma. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful this is. Wow. Waste no expense to make this look good. I'm good with that. I just want to see what Pokemon are nearby. Who's this? Oh, that's Glimit. Who did I just step on? Bronzor, get out of here, man. You're not green. Look at Vulpix, dude. I just need to find a Firestone. That'd be wonderful. Thanks. Bye. Clink, clink. Okay, I'm going to take a peek inside here to see who's over here for Grass Terra type. None other than Quagsire with Grass. That's actually kind of good. All right, so we're kind of here. This is so cool. Whoa, it looks like Area Zero Crystals. Is that Iracuda? Well, the music is kind of eerie, too. Like, what's the deal with this place? All right, we're here. There you are, Abdallah. Come on, get a load of this view. It does look pretty... Those are my favorite colors. Like, that kind of blue and green are my absolute favorite colors. This is a crystal pool. Bet you didn't expect it to be so pretty, huh? The crystals here are always shining. Isn't that strange? There's even a weird rumor that you can meet people here who've passed away. Now we'll just need to get a bit more of the crystal from the bottom of the pool so we can fix the mass properly. And that's where you come on in, Abdallah. Go on then, jump in, don't be scared. Uh, you want me to jump in? Well, well, yeah, I can't swim. And besides, my clothes would get soaked if I did it. You've got a real nifty Pokemon to ride on, right? You'll be fine. Oh my gosh, what's happening? What in the, an earthquake? Yo, Milotic? Can I catch it? Oh, cool! I don't think I can catch it. I have the worst Pokemon for this. This one's strong. You're awfully lucky that I'm around. Yeah, I can't catch it, but I'm going to attempt to uh, terrestrialize into Fairy and not get hit. Yeah, I'll be fine. Why am I fairy terror type? What fairy move does Vulpix have access to? Playroth? I don't know. We're not using any TMs in this run anyway, but I just needed to get rid of my fire typing. So, and Vulpix with this, like, little heart crown is the absolute most adorable thing ever. Excuse me! Yo, your more Pico's good. It's weak. Come on, let's finish this. I'm out here trying to play support. Yeah. All right, more Pico. Do it again, man. Rah! Angry mode. Hangry. All right, we're going to go uh, extra sensory. Wow, dude. I didn't even have to do anything. I do like the forced double battle via story. I love that a lot. I was very sad. That we can't get Milotic. Sheesh, that surprised me. Now that I think about it, Pokemon like that one do show up here from time to time. You know, you're pretty handy to have around in a battle, aren't you? 
I didn't do much. Thanks. That was all you. Ooh, a little shard. Hey, is that... Okay, uh, yeah. That's all I needed. A crystal cluster. A cluster of crystals found in the crystal pool. They sparkle brilliantly and are a apparently necessary to repair a certain mask. Maybe it was stuck to that Pokemon you fought? The energy coming from those crystals at the bottom of the pool, I knew it. Ms. Briar. Hi there, Carmine and Abdallah too. I thought you were paired with other students. Did you sign to switch things up? Oh, I'm sorry, Ms. Briar, uh, but this place is actually pretty special. I'm not a big fan of outsiders just wandering up here. I'm aware that this is sacred ground, yes. I did get permission from the caretaker, though. Was that not sufficient? Why did you come here? Oh, just doing a bit of field research. I was interested in the properties of the water here. And, well, my hunch was on the money. You see, the crystal pools water emit energy. The same wavelength as terrestrial energy. Whoa. Though, I have no idea why that is. Once I figure that out, I might be able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon in regions other than Paldea. Oh, I see. Well, we got somewhere to be, so... Let's head back, Abdallah. Do you think that this crystal pool and Area Zero are connected somehow? And this person just had to have come, shown up out of nowhere? Like, who else is over here? Can I get a Milotic? Okay, I can find a Chime Echo. I can find a Chime Echo. I can find Glimmit. A whole bunch of other things, too. Ma's well, a little too fishy that she just showed up over here. Does she... I don't know. Are you guys suspicious of her, or is that just me? I'm attempting to find a Chime Echo right now. I don't think I will find one, though. That's okay. I can evolve one. Alright, so we have to make our way back down. Okay, so set that as a destination. We're gonna go that way. I think the pool looks amazing. I'm sad that I couldn't catch that Milotic, though. Ah, uh, you're not Milotic. Get out of here, man. Wait, Shiny Yanma where? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look, let me look, let me look. Where? Hold on, where, be specific, where is it, where is it? By the girl, by the, the teacher, or what? Where? It was near that raid? I don't know about that. I don't see any Yanma. Hmm. What are we talking about? What are we talking? That Yanma? Hmm. Friends? I, I don't think so. Yeah, well, oh well. That's kind of cool. I guess I got to keep my eye out. If that's a, a shiny that I completely missed, then cool. Then so be it. That would have been a really cool find, though. What color is a shiny Yanma? I only know the orange and green. Yeah, I guess I don't I don't know that Pokemon's shiny coloration. Blue and green, huh? Okay, well I'll keep an eye out for that. Cool call out. We got to see it on screen. At least some of you guys did. I didn't at all. <laughs> Oh, man. I I know Slugma's gray. I know Coughing is green. I do have to be a little bit more aware of the area. How would it despawn so quickly? That doesn't make sense. Why would it do that? I didn't, like, change the area. Shouldn't it just stay there? <sighs> That's unfortunate. I literally turned around, and there was no Yanma anywhere to be found. Oh, well. The game should be able to keep spawned items and spawned Pokemon, like, on screen. You shouldn't have to walk two feet and then it despawn. Like, that's not okay. Yo, look at this perfect game flashing before our eyes. Crash right through the roof. Boom. 
Yo, I'm looking for your granddaughter. Hey, Grandpa! We got the crystal cluster for you. Abdallah Carmine, I'm so sorry. Huh? Did something happen? Kieran, he... He ran off with the mask. Why would Kiki do that? Did you tell him about the ogre or something? I haven't said a word. Right, I'm sorry. I know you wouldn't just go blabbing to him like that. Kieran seemed to be headed to a loyalty plaza with the mask. I think it would be best for you two to go after him. Uh, go find Kieran. Yeah, where? Oh, over here. Okay, I could just go fly there. Great. <laughs> yeah, it despawned because the game can't handle two new feet of landscape. That's true. Dude, this game is rough. It's not even good as far as, like, graphics and capabilities of things. It's not at all. It's chugging along. As much as we want it to be the best Pokemon game, it's really not. And it's sad. I want it to be the best game like no game ever was. Oh, Abdallah. Kiki, what in the world do you think you're doing? You two knew, didn't you? You knew that the ogre wasn't the real bad guy in the stories. The loyal three were the real bad guys, but the ogre is the one that gets treated like an outcast. You you knew? And you two did the same thing to me. Yo, okay. You treated me like an outcast when you went and met with that ogre. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean... You're no different than those villagers back then. You know how much I love the ogre. You acted like you didn't know anything, but you were laughing at me behind my back all along. That's not what happened at all. Liar, you're a liar. Oh gosh. What's gotten into you, Kiki? You're acting real off today. Abdallah, battle me. If you win, I'll give you back the mask. So come on, battle me already. Okay, are you healing my Pokemon? Okay, let's do this then. Get to your position. I'm not gonna hold anything back, you hear me? All right. Uh, sure, Kieran. Yan Mega. Well, uh, this is not really a good... I know this isn't right, but I just can't hand over the mask to you. Yo, this mask is taking over this kid right now. I don't want to... Uh, Yan Mega 68. I'm 66. <sighs> He's probably going to beat me. He's faster. I could probably go Hypnosis Root first turn, but then I would lose all... I would lose all the way if I missed the Hypnosis. Backup plan is going to be... I've got lots of backup plans I can maybe beat him, but this is the scariest. I'm going to try Hypnosis. I can survive one attack. Bug Buzz. It's not very effective. Are you kidding me? Wow! Shoot! 38 HP hit, dude! I knew this would happen! Oof. All right, fine. Go. Just gonna quick attack. Get a little chip damage. Whatever. I knew it. I call it. I'm like, okay, just in case Hypnosis misses, you need a backup plan. And I have a backup plan right now. He's gonna use Bug Buzz. Uh, he does have Giga Drain. Uh, so I can come over here with Mandibuzz. And I could swap in, set up. I could set up a couple nasty plots. I don't think he's gonna be strong enough to tackle me. Let's go nasty plot up. Bug Buzz is... Oh, it's neutral. And it's relatively strong. I think I can only do one Nasty Plot because he's going to do maybe a 3 to 4 hit KO. That's definitely a 3 hit KO. I gotta go. Tailwind would be real good right about now. Uh, Terrestrialize into Flying would be very, very smart of me. And then I go Tailwind. Because if I'm solo Flying then Bug Buzz is going to be not very effective because I'm half dark and half flying. Flying resists it, 
And Dark is super effective weak against it. So that's why it's neutral. Uh, and Yanmega is relatively strong and fast. So I just got to get this Tailwind up. And I got to actually look at my HP to know where I'm at. Because I'm kind of in the way. Seventy-three? Oh, shoot. I don't want to heal. I'm going to go for the Air Slash. Beautiful. I mean, healing would have been pretty cheap. I can come back from this. I got this. I got this. I gotta let this Pokemon go. I'm gonna try to get some Air Slash flinches. Maybe hit a Dark Pulse. Gligar? I'm Flying type. He's not gonna do anything unless he does like a rock move. And I'm gonna stay in. So I'm good. Air Slash has a little shaky accuracy. But I'll be okay. Dark Pulse, I don't have to do that. Uh, I'm trying to fish for the flinch right now. Half health. Okay, two hit KO. Flinch, Rock Tome hurts, and I'm down. I survived that. That was really good. Got you good, huh? I can beat you, Abdallah. I will win. No, you won't, kid. Speed fell. That's okay. We still have uh, Tailwind on. Air Slash again. I should have gone for Dark Pulse. That would have been smarter. Just in case Air Slash missed. So Gligar is gone. I knocked out two Pokemon with Mandibuzz. Really good. Tailwind's gone. Okay, so now I'm super slow. You're going to do Cramorant. Cramorant's a water type. So we're going to go over here to Diplin with Syrup Bomb. That's all I got. Ribombee's not doing much. Draining Kiss. Uh, Cramorant is going to like throw some stuff at me. I don't know what it does. Maybe Ice Beam. If Cramorant has like an Ice move, I'm done. This is kind of scary. I might lose this one. Oh, he better not get a Pikachu. Alright, lower the evasiveness. That means my moves will most likely hit. I think all of mine are... Um... I'm going to use Syrup on right off the bat. Air Slash is super effective! Ow, dude, he's a flying type. And I got the flinch on me? No! No! Um, I don't know how to beat Cramorant. Okay, Diplin's gone. Diplin, I got flinched right now. I'm out. Okay, okay, okay. Check this out, check this out. Jangmo. If I DD up. I could DD up. I could Dragon Dance up. I could take an Air Slash. He's not going to have a nice move. Alright, here we go. Let's Dragon Dance up. How much? How much? How much? Oh my gosh! Okay. Come on, big guy. You just need to Outrage now. Get like the three-turn Outrage and win. Dude, you can't outspeed me. I'm plus one. Oh my gosh, that's scary. I'm gonna lose. Oh, yo, this guy's fast. All right, all I got is Ribon B, man. I went to plus one speed. How fast are you? Um, yeah, my team of, like, babies over here. He's gonna air slash, it's super effective, so I have to Quiver Dance. I'm faster with Quiver Dance. Are you using a different move? You're using physical, aren't you? Naturally faster. Oh my gosh, that hurts so much. I need a Draining Kiss. I need a little... Uh, that does about 100 damage. I think I can get 50... At least 50% with this. Oh gosh! What? That was nothing! I... Dude! That was no damage! Mmm! Okay, okay. This, uh, yeah, the momentum, I got nothing. Ribombee is weak. Mamoswine.
Okay, I got this. I'm gonna eat a water hit, and the water hit's gonna be super effective, but I am a big boy. We got ancient power over here. Move, uh, that's gonna be super effective on my special attack stat. Let me, let me just double check really quick. Um, super effective. I need to do some damage calcs. What is a special? Special attack is 107. Ugh. It's not, it's not nearly enough as if I did like an ice fang. Cramorant, it's gonna be neutral because he's flying. I mean, I think Ice Fang's gonna be a little bit stronger anyway, even if it's super effective Ancient Power. <sighs> That's gonna hurt. Um... Oh my gosh! Oh my- I gotta freeze?! What did you just do?! How did you spit that out if you're frozen?! <laughs> How'd you spit that out if you're frozen, man? I don't want to have to use items, but I have to right now. Hyper Potion 120. You can't thaw out first turn! Oh, that's a crit? And you got a Pikachu on you? I'm done! He's got the Pikachu in his mouth! I, there's no winning! There's no winning! He's got the Pikachu in his mouth! That's gonna be an electric attack next turn! I don't know what the heck's gonna happen, man. Max Revive, who am I reviving? Who does any work against this guy? Jangmo can't do nothing. Maybe get an outrage on Jangmo, man. I got flinched. We're at 94. I think he only launches that if I hit him. I gotta play with items, unfortunately, man. Like, my team is not prepared for this guy. He went full out. Surface fine? As long as I don't physically attack him, and I will be fine nasty plotting up. Provided he doesn't crit me right now. I don't know how I'm going to dig myself out of this hole, dude. I have Jangmo as a backup in case I get cr critted. Um, I just need to not... Like a physical contact move, I can't do. All right, all right, we got this. Stop surfing me. Oh my gosh, 76. I got a burn turn. This kid, he's very upset. Mandibuzz, man, this is it. Now's your turn. You got two nasty plots up. And now we play. I'm gonna go Dark Pulse. Uh, I don't think it's a contact move. I think Air Slash is a contact move. Okay. I just got paralyzed. Because he spit the Pikachu out at me. So anytime you hit him, regardless of a contact move or the other contact move... Fudge, man. Uh, this is not good. Because, like, I have Tailwind right now. I should be able to outspeed. This guy's gonna, like, Ice Punch me or something. I got paralyzed? That's so bad! That's so bad! And it took, like, half my health. Use an Ice Punch and destroy me. Hey, 
Haze. Oh, he got rid of all my boosts. Uh, I don't know if I outspeed naturally. I'm gonna try. I need to get this right. I'm gonna make sure I get to give the right commands. Hydro pump? Ah, oh, it doesn't hurt that much. Just miss it next time, huh? I need the tailwind up. That's not a lot. It's a three-hit KO. So I win, provided I hit every single one of these. Good. Please proceed to haze. Oh my gosh. Why are you hazing, man? There's no stat debuffs. Like, learn the game, kid. Oof. This is rough, man. He's so good. You only got five Hydro Pumps, man. Good luck. Who's your last Pokemon? Do you have a Terra Orb? I had so many stat buffs. Diplin. I'm faster than Diplin. And, uh, I, I think I should be fine. <laughs> Ooh boy, here it comes. Um, how much health do I have? 115. I can do it. I can do it. He can hit me with a Dragon Pulse. But I'm pretty bulky. So you better get flinched. Half health. Beautiful. Flinch. Crit. Flinch. No. What can you do? You're like the hero in a story. Flinch. Flinch. GG's, boys. Oh, I could try the Air Slash. I might miss it. Dark Pulse might not get secure the KO. It's pretty bulky. I gotta risk the 95% accuracy. I gotta risk it. Okay, good. Got it. Oh my gosh. I had to balance around items in order to make this happen with this, like, ragtag group of Pokemon we randomly caught. Oh man. What a Pokemon master. I know, I know. Such the burden I carry. This kid is strong. Why can't I be as good as you? Well, I mean, I used a lot of potions. But you did get a, lo a lot of luck shots, man. Like, your Cramorant spitting through the freeze, thawing out, first turn. Jangmo, you better do some work, man. He's so slow as a baby. I had one dragon dance up, man. Do it. Look at that gold plating. Hakamo O, welcome to the, welcome to the team, Hakamo O. It gets into fistfights so intense that the scales on its arms peel off. Bare arms are a sign of valiance. Oh my gosh. Good job. Cool. Oh man, what a rough time. Oh man! Uh. What are you doing, kid? Stop. Ow. Kiki, are you alright? Here, I promised. Thank you, you put it in the key items pocket. Say hi to the ogre for me. Hey, listen, Kiki, I should apologize for... I'm going home. Sorry about all that, he's normally not like this at all. Do you think most people act up like that around Kieran's age? I don't know. Right. I sure never let teenage angst get to my head like that. I don't know what to do with them. Uh, hey, can you hear something? It's coming from the uh, Loyal Three Monument. Yo, get out of there. What just happened? What's going on? Somehow. Oh, man. That's...
that's... That's insane. All right, well, that's a good pause point. <laughs> Before we get more into who these three are, uh, yeah, let's take a quick breather. Anyway, thanks for watching. What's going to happen next time? I don't know. Find out. Uh, these uh, these three troublemakers, uh, we're either going to catch them, battle them, or run away. No idea. Thanks for watching. Dude, that's intense. What is happening with these clowns? How do they just come out of the statues? Like, what? Were they underground the whole time? What were they doing underground? I have so many questions right now. Um, what happened in that last episode? I don't even remember, man. Mm, maybe we do Toki Doki. What, what are these guys' names? Doki Doki Panic? One's a dog, right? The middle dog. Doggy Dory? <laughs> Uh, what's the dog's dog's name with the purple scarf? <laughs> That's so funny. All right. Oh, all right. You guys ready? Give me a big hype in the chat if you guys are ready to find out who these three stooges are. Uh, I don't know what the heck's gonna happen with them, but uh, I am I am very very excited. I don't like any of them based off of their backstories, but if I were to choose anything, I'd choose a dog in the middle. I thought it was a cat at first. Um, Okie dogie. Okie dogie. A little bit of Mario. Okie dogie. Okie dodgy. Okie dogie. <laughs> Let's do this. These three just came out of a statue and blew the place up. Welcome back to even more Teal Mask DLC. All right, here we go. Here we go. Carmine says, huh? Huh? What in the world? Uh, yeah. Okay. A oh, little dangling. Oh, they have like a little pink scarf thing. Oh, what do you want? He's a squirrel dog? What are they doing? Okay, Griffic, yippee. Seriously, what is going on? Um, uh, what was that all about? Yeah, uh, the Pokemon from the old folktale. Hey, you're right. There were three of them, and they looked all sinister. That's gotta be them. The story they said... Uh, sorry. The story said they were laid to rest under the statues, right? What brought them back to life? Wait, they ran off towards Kitakami Hall. That can't be good. Let's go after them. Come on, Abdala. Kitakami Hall, huh? Do I not have a warp? Yeah, I do. What is it? Can I warp here? Man, my team is... Oof. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to win with this team that I got over here, man. And I don't have any good status conditions outside of Vulpix's Hypnosis, so if I got to catch these dudes... Uh, if it isn't Abdallah, if only you'd been here a few minutes earlier. Hey, did those lousy three Pokemon come here? I believe you meant loyal three, Carmine. Forget about that silly title. Always with your attitude. But yes, you did miss out on an incredible treat. The loyal three were just visiting our humble little hall. It seemed they wished to collect the shining mask we kept safe here at the Kita Kitakami Hall. So naturally, we, representatives of the hall, were happy to return the masks to them with haste. You gave them the masks? We offered them a platter of our special Kitakami mochi, packed full of our best herbs. The loyal three gobbled them up in a flash. And you fed them? Kitakami mochi are full of nutrition. The loyal three are bigger and stronger now, I'm sure. But those lousy three are the bad guys. The masks belong to Ogre Pond. I really wish I could tell them everything. Uh, so where did those three go? Uh, they went uh, at once to ascend to Oni Mountain. 
Perhaps they have it in mind to finish off the terrible ogre that lurks in the dreaded den. No wonder they were dubbed the Loyal Three. Such hardworking heroes they are. <laughs> this isn't the time to be laughing at all. If the story we heard is true, then those three must uh, have gone to get revenge on Ogre Pawn. Uh, they say the ogre fought using the powers of its masks. Uh, but Ogre Pond doesn't have any masks right now, right? It won't stand a chance. Yeah, we should help it. Yeah, we're on the same page, but we should split up. You head to the dreaded den and help Ogre Pond. I'll go back home and get the mask fixed up. Give me the mask and the crystal. Okay. Thanks. I'll head your way the moment the mask is fixed. Until then, make sure Ogre Pond's safe. I think I need to evolve a Pokemon. I'm going to use a couple candies. Oh my gosh, all my Pokemon are hurt. Very much so. Um, yeah, yeah. So let's heal. Uh, can I get a healing? Can I get a little bit of healing? Uh, where's my experience candies? Okay, we're going to go this on you. That's all I wanted. Just the one. Thank you. I need I need him at his best right now. So we're not going to over-level. I'm just going to take away a little bit of grinding. And now we're in business. Hakamo-O turned into Como-O. Yeah. It lets its arm hang and then, quick as a flash... Swings upward to land its specialty punch and sends the opponent flying high into the sky. Boom! Pseudo-legendary right over here. Clanging scales. Yeah, special move. Clanging scales. Ooh, it's special attack, huh? I guess. His nature is very bad. I'm not going to mess around with natures and mints and anything like that. It's kind of whatever goes. So I like that idea. But, um... It says the user's defense stat is lowered after the attack. 110 power special. Or we go... I don't think I'm going to use this move. Outrage is actually really cool. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that. Nah. Sorry. It's a signature move, but like... Uh, I'm okay without it. Vulpix, though? Ah, man, I need like a Firestone, dude. I could easily just evolve Vulpix right now. Or swap it out, but... All right, give me, give me this guy. He has to have some sort of fighting move, right? Let's go to remember moves now. Hey, that belly drum. Close combat. Ooh-wee. I love close combat. Clanging sails is kind of like close combat. So we're going to do this one. Dragon dance and then close combat everyone. You know, now that I think about it, I'm just going to dragon dance and then choose my strongest move. So, I can do close combat, and I can actually relearn clinging scales. You know what? I'm not going to use Dragon Claw. So, you know what? Let's give it to him. I'll give it to him. It's a special attack, so, like, it'll work on my special attack stat. Whatever, not a big deal. Oh, sorry. Here, we're going to do that over Dragon Claw. So, I have a Dragon special move, and I have a Dragon physical move. Move pool is kind of... Kind of shallow, but it's what we got. We're going to the dreaded den. Show me. The dreaded den. Where do I heal my Pokemon? Let me heal. Where do I heal? I can just bust out revives. No, man. I'm just going to go heal really quick. It's back at school. I'm going to go heal up. I'm going to go talk to cool Nurse Joy. We're going to say, hey, how you doing? How love the glow. Up. Love your hair. Hoop earrings. Great. You look great. Here, can I just talk to you on the side? Whoa, give me some room to breathe here, would ya? <laughs> hey. I knew there would be a text box like that. Oh, smother me over here in my pink pants. Pink eyes. Pink shoes. Alright, man. Ribombi is fast. These Pokemon are interesting. You know what I do need to... Okay, stand up, kid. You know what I have to actually take a look at? I sh as a Pokemon Master, I need to actually look at my Pokemon and kind of know who does what. 
Uh, I might go nine tails. Uh, no, I'm okay without that. Like, I need to know speed stats, right? Like, these. Okay, you're very slow. 132 speed stat, and you're like 169 speed stat is amazing. But you need like two quiver dances to do any kind of work, and your defense is garbage. Okay, so yeah, yeah, Komo -O is very, very fast and strong. That's probably my strongest Pokemon. So I'm going to I'm gonna swap him, and just make sure that he's like at the top. Because I love that idea of him, or her, being the best Pokemon. Alright, anyway, we got work to do. Let's go all the way up top. Let me see if I can get over to there. It looks like if I fly over here to Ogre Austin, I could head over to the west a little bit, and then make my way to the end. Oof, this game is hard. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That, oh, look at this cool ramp. Can I not? Okay. Of course I can. Whatever. Uh, we're heading west up top. This is Oni Mountain. Welcome to it. Just gonna take a peek and see who's in here. Cramorant. Of course. Dude, that Cramorant gave me so much trouble. If I had Pachirisu, Pachirisu would have made quick work of that thing. Being water and flying four times a week against any electric move. Ugh, too good. Yeah, so if you guys are also playing this game, maybe use your Mighty Enna with Thunderfang. I mean, Mighty Enna's good. A very good Pokemon, but Cramorant is fast. And, like, again, I'm not equipping my Pokemon with, like, the overpowered items. I'm really trying to limit my item usage to give myself, like, a self-inflicted kind of challenge. So, it's a little bit more fun that way. Huh. Get the sneak attack on him. Hey, yo, leave him alone! Oh, gosh. Oh, little guy with the orange pumpkin face. Ogre Pond. Oh my gosh. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? Okay, little monkey. Oh, little monkey is going to step up. He says, let me handle him. Psychic? Oh gosh, if this thing is psychic, I have no idea what I'm going to do against it. Monkey Dory. Well, I have no idea what Monkey Dory is. At all. No clue. We'll find out the hard way. I'm gonna dragon dance up, man. My Terastotype is- oh, my Terrorotype is a dragon. That's not good. Sludge Wave? That hurts. Half my health gone. Uh, not okay with that. I got dragon dance up, though. So I should be able to survive this min-max damage. I got some good speed up right now. Let's go Outrage. Dude, we can go Outrage 120 base power. Plus one. You better not be Fairy type. Oh, come on. Hmm, okay, okay. Wow, you little monkey. How'd you survive that, by the way? Future Psych, good luck. He is psychic. Yeah, foresee this Outrage coming at you. Two turn. I don't know how he survived that, to be honest. I uh, Maybe he had plot armor? No, he didn't. Alright, Monkey Dory. So, he did kind of look like a psychic type. Yo, he's gone. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, who's coming up next? Knock it off, all of you. They're trying to go three against one on you, huh? I guess a fair fight's too much to expect. But now that we're here, we'll make you regret ever coming back to life. Yo, look at his little heart. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh, and they ran away. Hmm, I guess I'm just too much for them to handle. Abdallah, I, uh... Go on, say it properly. 
about the mask. I just got so angry, and... What I did was real dumb. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, don't mention it, dude. You're fine. It's okay, kid. Thanks, Abdallah. He was sulking around, so I grabbed him by the collar and dragged him here. And well, I'm glad I did. Hey, dude, we're here. Are you just gonna join us? Do I have to fight you? Oh, that's probably gonna be it. Like, he's like, hey, he wants to test out to see how good you are. You should fight him. It's really you, the real-life ogre. Wowzers, you're really something. You wanted to be the one to give the mask back to Ogre Pawn, right, Kiki? This is for you, dear ogre. It seems scared. Maybe it's not good with new people, Kiki. I don't think it'll take the mask if I'm the one giving it back. You should be the one to do it, Abdallah. You think it's going to be an auto-catch where he just joins us? Or you think he's going to test this out? He looks like grass dark type, if I just based on his colors. Uh, it seems so happy. It seems pretty comfortable around you, Abdallah. Not you, Kieran. Sorry, buddy. It'd be nice if we can give the other three masks back to Ogre Pond too, don't you think? Did those did those three Pokemon take the masks that were in Kitakami Hall? Yeah, never mind that the masks rightfully belong to the poor Ogre Pond here. I wouldn't put it past a so-called loyal three to plot a second ambush either. We need to keep Ogre Pond safe while we deal with them. That means three of us are going to form a team. The Mask Retrieval Squad. Yeah, count me in. I love the idea. A good idea, isn't it? And you get to be my second in command. Uh, I can come too? Of course you can. Now that it's settled, let's go gather intel about those loyal three. We're going to get those masks back. We can do this. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, Ogre Pond will now follow you around. Okay. May I help you? Um, okay. Are you my Pokemon? Mm, uh, okay. Oh, well, do you fly? Where'd he go? Okay, I don't know if this is an escort mission or what, but... <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Wee! Yeah, yeah. Fly around here, Ogre Pond. Of course they couldn't program Ogre Pond in mid-air flying with us. He's just going to respawn behind us. Or not. Whoa, okay. Uh, yeah. Cool, dude. Where are we going? Alright, let's go. Yeah, it, uh, it does not... I want to uh, join us. It looks like a little manta ray or a kid in a weird hoodie. What's wrong, dude? What's wrong, Ogre Pond? I get it. To, uh, I bet it doesn't want to go into the village. The villagers did a pretty good job of chasing it back away. Uh, yeah, you're right. Well, maybe Ogre Pond can wait for us here. We can go gather information while it waits. Do you think it'll be okay? Pay attention now, Ogre Pond. We go in village. You stay here. Ogre Pond, stay. Do you understand? Got little stars for eyes. I'm gonna take that as a no. Uh, yeah. Wait for us here until we come back, okay? Yeah, I don't know. It's cute. Ogre Pond. Oh, yeah. Okay, little guy. Uh, looks like it understood that. Uh, what's wrong with what I said? <clears throat> wow, okay. Okay, so we're here in the village, and we're going to gather information about the Loyal Three. Where are we? Who's got the information? Inside here, you think? Maybe, like, Briar is going to have information? Of course she's not going to have it. She doesn't do anything. What am I doing? That huge noise. What? 
That's all the ruckus about? Dude. Of course I can't go in my room. Yo, we need some information. Someone made a Pokemon that looks like a bell out of flowers and things. Like, who cares? Okay, I need some information. I gotta squeeze these people for some information here. Let's find out who. Maybe they have different colored... Uh... Those are the loyal three. They're the best, aren't they? Um, what kind of information am I trying to gather? You! Okay. You don't like talking to people. Who do I gotta talk to, man? Someone in this town? Maybe... I don't know, I just gotta talk to NPCs, man. It's one of my least favorite things to do in games. Oh, we're just so lovey-dovey. Uh-huh, don't you think? You bet! There's probably not a pair on the planet as perfect together as you as me. And you as you and me, right. Hey, you! We're wondering if there are any Pokémon that are lovey-dovey like the two of us. If you manage to find any, bring them here. I'm sure you'll find one. When LeChonk fly! I mean, I have... Illumiza and... Is this a side quest? Am I getting hoodwinked into a side quest? I have Illumiza and Volbeat. Here, these are the lovey-dovey Pokemon. Now tell me about Tokidori. Dude, I already have them. They're right here. They're in my pot. Party. This Pokemon. Nope, it's not even lovey-dovey, let alone lovey. But what are you talking about? Illumisa and Volbeat are like the epitome of lovey-dovey. Are you trying to look at the the behind? Of... Cool, dude. Great. Whatever. Uh, you're not the people I need to talk to. You just keep on being lovey-dovey over there. Alright, you know what? We're going. Okie doggy. Here you go. Yeah, yeah, you. Have you seen Okie Dogi of the Loyal Three? That purple scarf it wears is so lovely. I saw it wandering around in the Barrens. Hey, cool. Okay, so it's one. So I'm looking for someone with a uh, with an orange exclamation mark or text box over their head in town. So do I immediately go over to the Barrens? No, I think I just need to find the people first. You. Nope. You. Nope. Sure is quiet. Too quiet. Nope. Oh, you, Monkey Dory. Here you go. You. I thought someone had collapsed, so I went to check on them, but it was Monkey Dory taking a nap. It can be so peaceful around that pond out there. What an ideal place for a snooze. A pond? A what pond? Out where? I don't know the layout. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Okay, so, next to a pond. Yo, Hisui and Growlithe? Yes, just like that. What? Just like what? How do you have a Hisui? Oh, you, from the trailer. Uh, this is like Pokemon Snap. I, mm, oh, whoa, where did you come from? I didn't even notice you there. I ex absolutely love her aesthetic. Her NPC. Like, I love the, the hair. Everything. Favorite NPC right here. Anyway, you are. Wait, no, don't say a thing. I want to guess first. You're one of the students who came here from the Paldea region on a school trip. Yeah, bingo. A small town, you know. News uh, tends to spread pretty quickly. The name's Perrin, by the way. I'm a traveler with a bit of a thing for photography. Here's my bud Growlithe. Doesn't the horn on his head uh, make it look the cutest? Yeah, he is kind of cute. I mean, I've got a selfie stick, so I know a little bit about photography. This might sound a bit weird, but would it be alright if I took your photo? Yeah, you can cherish it forever. Put it right on your bedside. Just like that, huh? Are you always open with total strangers? Kind of worried about you, kiddo. Kiddo? Oh. Anyway, let me snap that photo. What are we doing here? I need to find the, the, the bird. You've got a unique vibe, you know? I like it. It's a bit different than what I'm used to. I'm going to be making this town my home base for a little while. Why don't you focus on wrapping up whatever you got going on for now? Come see me later. After registering, registering 150 Pokemon in the Kitakami Pokedex or something. 150? I'm working on it. I'm, you know where that bird is? I'm looking for the bird. Who's got the clue on the bird? Alright, so monkey's by a lake. 
Monkeys by a lake. Oh, where's a bird? Hey, Grandpa, you seen this bird anywhere? Yo, I talk to everyone. Oh, what do you know about Monkey Dory, dude? What's the name of the bird? We got Okie Doji. Okie Doji. Look at me just climbing up here. Dude, I really did look everywhere, didn't I? Who am I missing? I'm just going to take one more scan throughout the entire area. Okay. Um, don't be shy. For what? What do you mean, don't be shy? Why, why is your text box orange? You, little child! I saw Fezzendippity zoom through the sky over the Oni Mountain. It was much cooler than the stories say. Okay. We got over the mountain, over the river, and in the barrens. Or over like a lake and in the barrens. We got it all. Here we go. I did not see that small child, let alone a text box, ever appear. Oh, we're back, Ogre Pond. Alright, let's combine the info we gathered. You go first, Kiki. Okay, well, here's what I heard. Kiki didn't do anything. Huh, I see. Interesting. Thanks to the information you two brought, I think we know exactly where each of those three lousy... Lousy three is hiding. Alright, well, what'd you learn, Carmine? Look, I'm the leader here. Mundane work like gathering info just doesn't suit me. Besides, I tried talking to a few people here and there, but they but they got all nervous and stuff. I'm just too pretty for my own good. Carmine is the best. I love her. She's so good. I'll record everything we found out about those three in your Rotom phone, Abdallah. That way we won't forget any of it. Oh, cool phone! Yo, where'd you get that case from? Alright, I'm going after him. You guys have an, uh, any idea of who we should go after first? Oh, I want to go get Pheasantipity. I think I can knock that thing out. Okay, let's go retrieve those masks. We can do this. I actually don't know what's going to happen over here. I'm not going. What do you... What, what? You're part of the team. You need to come along. As long as Abdallah's around, I'm sure Ogre Pond will feel safe. Imposter Syndrome? Sides, I got things to do. Sorry. I wonder if he's still upset. Oh well, I can't force him to tag along. Let's just take care of this ourselves. You can decide where we head first. Let's get all of Ogre Pond's masks back, alright? Oh, cute. Cute, okay. Well, um, there is a lot of things that we could do. I'm gonna go heal myself really quick. Hey, what's up, Ogre Pond? Uh, yeah, we need a little bit of healing. I would love to fully EV train my Pokemon. I Every ounce of my body wants to bust out herbs, nature, changing, mints, all that stuff. Every ounce of my body wants to do that. That's not fun. It's not fun if I just breeze through and beat all these battles, is it? I don't know. Maybe it's fun for you guys, but like, I kind of like the challenge. Where it's not, I'm not over leveling, I'm not grinding. Just getting them to where they need to be and going. I didn't even raise my nine tails up. I don't even know where to find a Firestone in this area. Upside down peace emote? I don't care about upside down peace. What the heck is that? I don't know about that. Alright, here we go. So, the the very first one, I'm going to try Unpheasant. Sorry, what's his name? Pheasantipity? Alright, so we're going to go to Pheasantipity first. I think the best bet is going to be going from right over here in the Crystal Pool. And then we'll go uh, figuring out. Yeah, I think I'm going to go Flying One. Yeah, the dog does seem pretty... One of the six wonders is the Crystal uh, Pool. That's pretty cool. So there's like six more wonders that we haven't even explored. We'll find them. Alright, this is the spot where you guys claim to see a shiny... Yanma. Ooh, yeah. Yup. Shiny Yanma. Just like that one right over there. That was blue and green. Uh-huh. Yup. 
Yep. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me see really quick. That fake shiny Yanma. Going the other way around. Mm-hmm. All right, Crystal Pool. So slow. Oh my gosh, this game is crawling. There's probably like a billion shinies under me right now, but like the moment I take one step forward, they're all going to despawn. Oh my gosh, just don't put the stuff on the screen. You'll be fine. All right, that Yanma, not shiny. I know what he looks like now. Steel Terra Shards, cool. Ew. Oni Mountain. What is that? Is that a Pokemon? Nope, that's a rock. You're okay. All right, well, we are flying. Is that it? Yo, look at it like two frames a second. I love this game. It's so good. This game is so, so good. Two frames a second. Oh my gosh, look at that thing right now. I l this is such a good game. All right, well, you know, here's what we need to do. I haven't done this in a while. I haven't saved the game. So let's save our adventure so far. It is flapping its wing. You know, it's kind of like a hummingbird. It's going so fast, it looks like it's going slow. That's probably it. Ah, oh, what a beautiful sight. I agree. All right, cool. Well, let's find out what's going on with Pheasantipity on the next one. You guys are amazing. Uh, thanks for watching, as usual. Do you see this frame rate? Just like in the distance? It's so funny, man. How is that thing like just like doing the the two frames a second? Whereas like there's other like little Pokemon that are going a little bit faster on frame rate. Like it's such a weird game, man. What it's choosing to render and what it's not is just very beyond me. Um Sad looking. Ogre. What's the name? Ogre Pond? This game's rough. Alright, anyway, I'm ready to go. If you guys are like, dude, I gotta I gotta stay up, man. It's like what time is it where you guys are at? Dude, it is rough. What time is it? I said we were gonna do an all-nighter, but I am freaking tired. Copy paste Galarian birds, what you talking about? Uh, 2.44 in the morning? How are you guys 1.44 in the morning? Man, I don't know how you guys are doing it. You guys probably took a nap today. I should have done that. I was too busy running errands and stuff. Wow. I don't know how long the D the DLC is supposed to last for, to be honest. Uh, I mean, we ought to go beat up the two the monkey, the dog, the the bird... And then what? And then Ogre Pond's gonna join as the DLC's done, yeah? Oh, we'll figure it out. No spoilers, though, please. Thanks. Let's go. Let's jump in. We gotta wake up. Some of you guys, it's like 2 in the morning. And for me, it's almost 1 in the morning, so. Woo! Let's go. Uh, Unpheasant. Pheasant Dippity. I'm gonna go Mammo Swine, because it's got ice. Yeah, I think Mamoswan would be a really good one. Um, yeah, I don't know who else to use, as long as I use Ice Fang. So let me make this in the lead position, and we should be good, man. Okay, anyway, let's go Pheasantipity. Let's do this. Let's get this going. Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah here with even more Pokemon DLC. Woohoo, I'm so excited, because we are going to go get Pheasantipity. You can see it right now moving in like two frames a second right over that way. I made Mamoswine the lead right now, so we're going to see exactly what we can do about this thing. There we go. A little bit smoother, a little bit smoother, a little smoother. There we go, Pheasantipity. Wow, perfect. There we go. Trigger the cutscene. Here we go. Cool. Oh, 
Okay. Well, it just goes right inside that cave. I'm going to save the game. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if we're going to battle it. I don't know if we're going to have to catch it. Retrieve the mask that Pheasantipity stole. Oh, wow. Chilling Waterhead? What is this? Cool. Oh, who's in here? Uh, Mianifu. Gumi! I think I have Gumi, yeah? Oh, I do. <laughs> Gumi! <laughs> My goo! Um, okay. Do I have, um, Snow Runt? I do have Snow Runt. I do have Swine Up. I do have you, Pile of Swine. Tynamo, Sneasel. I didn't touch you. I ran past you, but sure. Look at a little Swine Up. This is like a cool little ice cave. I like this. Ah, ah, ah. What's that? Tynamo? I guess I have that thing. Holy moly, this place is deep. Who's that? Dunsparce? Yeah, we got the Dunsparce. And Frigibax. No, it's not Frigibax. Is that, who's that? What's that on the ground? Tynamo is so tiny. I don't really need all these TMs, man. Who's that? Carbink? Wait, do I own... Oh my gosh, Carbink! No way! I love Carbink. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Carbink and Diancy? Like, they have to be in this game though, right? Oh, so cool. Carbink and Caves, man. I love this Pokemon so much. Put up Stealth Rocks. Put up Light Screen. Put up Reflect. And then, like, explode. Out of here. You, set, you did your one job and you're out. Uh, it has slept underground for hundreds of millions of years since birth. It occasionally found... Uh, it's occasionally found during the excavation of caves. Wow. I like carving. Hey. Okay, that's so fun. Oh, gosh. Well, where exactly am I going? Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. We're just kind of moving down. A nugget. Chicken nuggies over here. Okay, Mianfu. We got Gumi. Got swine up, snow runts. Oh. Uh, whoa, okay. Hold on, hold on. What in the where are we? Water? I don't need any of the yellow things. This is interesting. I don't know if this is the right way, but I found a cool little path. Oh, cool! Little Quagsire hanging out. There's a lot of, like, turns in this place. Can you please just go? This is like Wooper's little den. And look at this big old mammoth. On a floaty. I don't know, there were two paths over here, so, like, I have no idea where we're going. Okay, am I going up or down? What are these caves? Oh my gosh. Okay. Perfect game, man. Perfect game. <sighs> it's a good game. It's a really good game. What are you doing here, Aracuda? Can I just leave? Thank you. Memosun's not the fastest Pokemon. Like, let me just leave, guy. Yo, this is the gatekeeper right here. This guy. You know, I need to... Um... I need to just have Ribum be, be the first Pokemon, because I will get away every time. Yep, just like that. Just like that. Yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's too big. I'm too big for this cave. I just gotta go, man. Like, let me squeeze through. Oh my gosh. 
I'm, I'm like low key getting like claustrophobic over here. Just get down, get down. What is this game? Okay, are we where we need to be yet? Where's Dog Trio? Wait, no. Oh man. Oh, this green thing. Yo, Ogre Pond, get out of here. Am I where I need to be? Or did I literally just go? In an entire circle. <laughs> Help! I don't know where to go. That's fine. We'll figure it out. Here you go. Watch, 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 watch. We're going to go all the way to the bottom. That's where he is. Right here. Look at this. Look, I got his icon right on screen. Go straight to the bottom. Look how easy that was. Didn't have to take any secret paths. It's right here. Oh, gross. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Save the game. I'm going to go Mammoth Swine first because it's a flying type. Can I throw a Pokeball at it? No, apparently not. Not yet. Here we go. Ah, oh, there's the one that flies. Pheasantipity. Hey, I may be wrong about this, but... Has it gotten bigger than the last we saw it? Time to bring this one down, Abdallah. What's its typing? Fire flying? Well, if it's fire, I'm done. Oh gosh, that thing's huge. Uh, speed boost? Hello? Wait, I might go Ancient. Nah, I'll go Ice Fang. I know we're enemies, but its face is so pretty. Doesn't it remind you a little... <laughs> Play rough. Focus Sash. Nice. Flying Fairy? Very fast, mind you, if it outsped more Pico. Nice, with the T-Wave. The Titanic Pheasantipity? Whoa, what? I'm slow, so I'll do... S Wait, what are you talking about? I'm gonna be the one who deals more damage. You got that? You have one HP. Is it because I'm not terrestrialized? I'm going. I'm going. All right, all right. Ter terrestrialized damage should be a lot more than a little sliver. Ooh, play rough on me! Half my health gone. Okay, Toxic Chain, what is this? Mamoswine's badly poisoned. How do you have two abilities? Not very effective. Dark doesn't do much. So he's like flying dark. That's not any damage. Yeah, do something. Oh, you boost my speed stat. Thanks. I have no health, and I'm- this is my Terra Pokemon. Yeah, I don't know. Poison flying? If dark is not very effective against it, it has to be dark. Wait, he just used an electric attack. And it didn't say super effective. What am I missing here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's got speed plus two minus attack. I don't, I don't actually know, man. Pheasant Dippy got paralyzed. Dude, that paralysis was so clutch at the beginning. 
This thing doesn't do anything. Such baby damage. Hey, can we, like, knock him down? At least the music's cool. Two paralysis in a row, I'll take it. I'm out here doing chip damage. Dude, I don't... I, I mean, I could throw a, uh, like, a power booster at him. Uh, what's it called? Uh, like a, like a plus... It's, uh, X attack. I wish I had the move Avalanche. That'd be way better than, like, Ice Fang. Dazzling Gleam, not on me! On both! Oh my gosh! Okay, okay. Mighty Enna missed two takedowns in a row. Like, stop. Why do you even use takedown? Dude, ow! Okay, I gotta heal, man. Oh, gosh. So every time it does an attack on someone and you get hit by it, you get badly poisoned. That's, like, toxic built in. That was really good. Okay, I do twice as much damage now, which is a good chunklet. But, like, I gotta keep up with healing or else I'm done. And there's no shame in healing against, like, a Titanic. Hospitality? What are you doing? What are you, healing me a little bit? Drank down all the matcha that you made? What is that? I don't even know that ability. Okay. I just need a full restore, man. Got 20 of these. I'm good. Okay, this thing's strong. I don't... Dazzling Gleam hurts, man. Okay, it hurts us kind of the same thing. And Toxic Chain, dude. We don't like being toxic I just need to use a nice... Dude, use that Shadow Ball. Do something with it. Not very effective because it's Dark type. Uh, neutral. I can't figure out its typing. It's not fire. I'm low. Yo, let me drink some of that matcha, dude. This thing's way too strong. I don't know if you guys realize this. We are doing... Minimal damage to it. I only get one hit in, and then I gotta restore myself. Dude, I don't know how many other Pokemon... Girlfriend has over here, but she might be out. You got Swadloon? Why didn't you fully evolve that thing? What did you just do? Cross poison? It's gotta be like poison. Because it's doing all this poison nonsense. It's it's probably like poison flying, like a gold bat or something. Yeah, he tried using a grass move. Yeah, I think my... I think it's... With it using all this poison stuff, it has to be poison flying. So any psychic move, rock move... I don't know. I got like one more of these and I'm good. Dazzling Gleam hurts! One more, one more, come on! No. I'm going Ice Shard. I'm going all in. Done. Flash, flash, flash. Pheasant Titanic. And now he turns small. Wow, that was great. Uh, that was really hard. She actually ran out of Pokemon. That's what you get. Hey, look, it dropped a mask. Okay. We did it. We got the first mask back. Hearth Flame Mask Retrieved. Cute.
he, he is sure is happy. You know, I felt this way at the Crystal Pool, too. Uh, we make a good team, don't we? Two masks left. All right. That's really hard. I was doing no damage to it, and I don't understand. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go for uh, Monkey Dory next. Let's go do Monkey Dory. He's all the way in the corner over here. So I think my best bet would be flying over here at the Infernal Pass. We're gonna fly over there. Monkey, he's psychic? So, um, do I have like a bug? I got bug buzz. Yeah, Ribonby could do some work. And Mandibuzz can actually do some work too. If he's psychic, he shouldn't be able to do anything against Mandibuzz. So we're going to lead with Mandibuzz first and we're just going to knock him out. I think I'm going the right way, yeah? You're telling me I can't check the map in midair. Tell me about that. I can't check the map while I'm climbing. <laughs> Just say, hey, there's a Munchlax nearby! Somewhere, he's in this mountain. Alright, Munchie. You're telling me Munchlax is in the mountain somewhere. I refuse to believe you. That's a Pikachu. Munchlax is so rare. Are you telling me that Snorlax was not in Paldea at all? I don't need to be in Apple Hills. I need to be this way. Monkey Dory's over here. Just let me let me uh, do this as a landmark. Cool. We're just gonna fly to that monkey. Here's some sort of random Terra Pokemon. What could it be? Terra Yanma? Eh. I already got one. I'm good. Oh, he's over here by the lake. They did mention a lake. Okay. Oh, yo, this thing is tall. That's a long monkey right there. What? Oh my gosh, weird. He's a Titanic. Ah, it's the cocky looking one. That huge head must mean it's Monkey Dory. This one's gotten bigger too, huh? Mmm. Uh, time for us to put this one in its place, Abdallah. Oh, scary! Okay, I don't know what's typing outside of it used Future Sight once. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Titanic Monkey Dory. Oh, my gosh. What just happened? What did he get? Special defense up? That's terrible. I'm going to nasty plot up. We'll see what happens. I wonder if uh, it'll go all red in the face if we give it a good trouncing. Time to find out. Sludge Wave? You're poisoned, too? Hey! Yo, your more Pico doesn't do anything besides eat a hit at the beginning. And you got Toxic Chain? Are you poisoned as well? Yeah, you better slow that thing right down. Thank you. Poison Psychic? What? What? What could this thing possibly be? I have to find out. Oh, dude, that focus has did not work out for you. All right, we'll do something. Hospitality, thank you. As soon as it comes in, it heals me up. That's actually kind of cool. So, yeah, Dark Pulse is super effective. If I look at him, since I encountered him once, he's Poison Psychic. Poison Psychic, weak against Ground, Ghost, Dark... Ground goes dark? Bug? I don't know, bug. He's gonna use poison stuff. Poison psychic, man. Um, 
If I terrestrialize, I terrestrialize uh, the wrong type. So I'm gonna try one more nasty plot, and we'll see how we do. If anything, I have I have no shame in doing my special defense buff. Someone's got a weakness. We can just keep on using that move until it faints. Then press A to win. Nice paralysis. Love it. All right, let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna go back though. Let me let me do a little. He's using Sludge Wave, so that is a special attack. So I'm gonna go X Special Defense. I'm gonna pump myself up for that. If he tries to do anything psychic, it's not gonna work on me because I'm Dark type. Good. Keep it up, you T. It's not that damaging. Uh, the poison, though, will start racking up. Uh, I don't like the poison. Uh, okay, okay. I have to keep an eye on that. 120. I'm good. I'll do one more nasty plot up. And then we'll proceed to Dark Pulse. Because I'll be at, like, plus 6 right now. And, yo, that little cup of tea is actually doing work, so I love that. How much is this? Okay, 60 damage plus the poison damage. I have to use a full restore right now. Oof. 62, 40. 20 damage every turn with that, so this is rough. Mighty Yenna? I mean, you got a Sucker Punch, right? What are you doing? Oh, he boosts us, like, a stage or something. No, Mighty Anna doesn't use a special attack stat. Okay, good job, good job. Give me the full restore. Okay, here it is, here it is. Crunch. Oh, yeah, you got some work. But this Dark Pulse is going to be so good. Oh, he's going to nasty plot up. That's not good for any of us. Alright, here's a big old Dark Pulse. Enjoy. That's not big at all. Oh, gosh. I'm kind of worried now. Um, okay, we're doing some work. Good paralysis. I'm kind of worried about this guy and his nasty plot. But we really have only two more turns and then we win. So, here's a little Dark Pulse. He's going to use a Crunch. And then we win next turn, unless we all get critted by a Sludge Wave. Oh, he's just gonna nasty plot up. We're fine. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. It was, uh, relatively easy. Yeah. Uh, he's surviving on 1 HP, actually. Believe that. There we go. You gotta see it flash. Monkey Dory. Psychic Poison. Is that ever a typing that any other Pokemon carries in existence? I don't know. It's very, like, oxymoronic, right? Like, psychic poison? Como O wants Clangorous Soul? What? What is that move? Clangorous Soul. User boosts all its stats by using some of its own HP? What? I've never heard of that move before. That's kind of cool. Anyway, we beat up the monkey. Galarian Slowbro and Galarian Slowking. That's right. That's right. Uh, you never stood a chance. Hey, look. It dropped a mask, too. Just like the last Pokemon. Oh, look at this one. Oh, it's blue. That makes two masks back where they belong. Yay! Wellspring Mask Retrieved. Oh, it looks like it has tears. And why is Carmine sad? All right, Ponyo. We did it, Ogre Pon. No opponent's going to give us any trouble so long as we're a team. Kiki really should have come with us. One more mask remaining. Let's get it. I don't know, man. I don't know who we're going to... I don't know what the typing is of this last Pomon, so I, I'm, I'm going to try to bring Como-O, and we're going to figure that out. Uh, the next Pokemon is all the way up north. The land of Kitakami, right over here. It's right here at the Barrens, so this is it. Oh, man. Okie dogie. 
Locals believe worshipping Okie Dogie will grant you kindness and help keep things Okie Dokie between you and other people. Really? Okie Dogie was once a smaller and weaker Pokemon, but a desire for strength led to gain powerful muscles. It's a dog. Can confirm it is a dog. Yeah, let's... I'm gonna try my dragon. Eh, okay. That's, that thing's always scaring me. Uh, let's see, he's all the way to the north. He's right over here. I'm gonna set this as a destination. We got ourselves a Jangmo O. And uh, I think I think we'll be fine. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. Whoa, the big boss! Oh, he is here! Oh my gosh, he is so huge! And look at how fast he's moving! Yo, he is moving so fast! Okay, Gligar, you can watch. <laughs> All right. The final battle versus Okie Dogie is... Whoa, he's swinging that scarf. I'm kind of afraid. He's, uh, he's good. All right, so here we go. We're going to save. Not using any hold items. Not using any EV buffing, IV nonsense. Um, no nature adjustments. It's really just going to be us here. So it seems like there is a trend in these Pokemon. And the trend is going to be that they all seem to be a poison type. Maybe he's going to be, like, Poison Grass or something. I don't know, uh, because they all have that, like, Scarf, which makes them Flying Poison, Psychic Poison, and, like, is he going to be Fighting Poison? Is he going to be Grass Poison? If anything, Poison, I do have Mamo Swine that can do some Earthquakes. Uh, and, I mean, I guess that's really it. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Let me save the game just in case, man. I, I don't want to end up losing, but we'll find out. Anyway... Uh, next up, we're gonna go beat up Okie Dogie. You guys Okie Dogie with that? Good. Be there. Thanks for watching. Alright, Okie Dogie. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, man. This is a long game. It is currently 1.14 in the morning, and we are pulling an all-nighter on this one. I gotta stay awake. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Here we go, man. Okie dokie. Let's see. How's everything looking? We looking okay, friends? I hope we are. Good. How's it going on your end? How are you guys enjoying the stream so far? What do you think about uh, everything going on over here? Is it a fun time for you? I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys are enjoying it, man. If, uh, if Mamoswine comes in and gets destroyed, that's going to be very, very hard. Um, I may have to bring out Como O, Dragon, Dance, and just get ready for it. Good. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. And thanks for staying up with me. I know some of you guys are, uh, in the States, and it's, like, pretty late for you guys, so. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Let's go Okie dogie. All right, we're back with more. Teal Mask, DLC for Pokemon Scarlet. Um, we are going to go fight this gigantic dog, bear, squirrel thing. And it's called Okie Dogie. Good luck. He's huge. Oh my gosh. Oh, here's the buff one. Okie Dogie with all of its mean muscles. Whoa. How is it that they've all gotten bigger like this, though? Give me a break. Grr. Come on, Abdal, it's time to cut this Pokemon down to size. Yeah. Alright, hopefully it gets paralyzed first turn, which is great. Okay, more Pico, you better paralyze this thing, because if I eat a fighting type move or something. Whoa, okay. Titanic, uh, defense rose sharply? I don't appreciate that, because I'm the guy that does the earthquakes, which is physical attack. Oh, gosh, and my Morpico gets hit by this move. Oh, goodness gracious. This is, uh, not good. I don't want to use earthquake now. I, I'm a liability. Might as well switch out. I'll just keep on attacking him until he loses. That scarf's way too stylish for the likes of you. I'm going to teach you to sit the hard way. Yo, you're supposed to T-Wave first turn, man. 
I don't need you. Ow! Oh, transforming on me! Close combat! Oh, gosh! I knew it! I knew it'd be fighting type. Oh, gosh. Wow. Fighting type. Fighting type. If he's fighting poison. I got nothing on fighting poison. I'm fighting myself over here. Uh, grass dragon fighting poison. I'm gonna get destroyed by anything. Rival B! If I just quiver dance up? No, man, I'm gonna get hit! Robin B's the worst! I gotta debuff him somehow. I don't have any debuff moves. Oh, shoot. I think we're in for bug. If I'm bug? Hold on. If a poison move hits a bug Pokemon, is that super effective? Or is that resisted? I don't really know bug. Thank you for T-waving. I don't know the bug type chart. Is it resisted? I should look that up. I'm gonna quiver dance up. We'll try to like kiss it or something. Just don't close combat me, man. Bug resist poison. Oh, that's that's actually really good. So if he tries anything on me. I'll quiver dance twice. I just need like draining kisses. This thing's huge. Good. Uh, yeah, I want to try to see how much this oh, poison though, dude. Dazzling Gleam as a fighting type is going to be neutral. It's not going to be as strong as I want it to be. Bug Buzz is going to be busted. I don't know if I want to terrestrialize though. I don't know what his offense moves are besides close combat. I'm probably going to Quiver Dance one more time. Now I'm at plus three. It's going to be neutral with Dazzling Gleam. Probably not very effective if I went with the Bug Buzz. Good job, little guy. Wow, three paralysis in a row. We are very lucky right now. Alright, I'm gonna try the Dazzling Gleam. Right, because it's 80 power. Ah, oh, Bug Buzz is probably better. We'll try Bug Buzz. I'm at plus three right now. I should be good. That's nothing! Not very effective, that's why. And it was a crit. Ugh. You think you're so cool landing critical hits? I'm not giving up my title as leader, okay? I want to finish off this meanie myself. Let your leader have the last attack, okay? Yeah, go for it. Just keep doing that. Four paralysis in a row. I don't know if the game is busted or what, man, but that's not normal. Maybe the game feels sorry for me. Give me a dazzling win. We don't need your speed rising anymore, man. Dazzling Gleam is good. Okay, Ryben B, you got the close combat. Oh, gosh. Good. And he's gonna get poisoned, right? Does he not have that ability of poisoning things? Defense fell? Um, we're, I'm not using physical attack. So, Dazzling Gleam is going to be the winner here. I'm gonna keep on going with it. Versus turning into Bug... I'll save Terra for when we need it. That's big damage. That's the biggest damage we've done. Another paralysis, right? Okay, well, I guess that worked. Titanic Okie Dogi getting dazzling gleamed over here. Yeah, we have one more turn and we win. He really... Oh, what are you eating? A citrus berry? A lychee berry? And he's paralyzed again. This is not normal. He should be attacking us. Like, really strongly. But this paralysis is, like, doing him in. 
It's 50% almost, and we're rolling it every time. We've eaten probably three close combats. I didn't even have to use any items. Oh gosh, he's done. So cool. That was great. That was the easiest one. Uh, we're like... <laughs> We're like the ogre and its mass. We help bring out each other's full power. And there it is. We got the last mask. Yeah, you did. Congratulations, Ogre Pawn. And good work, Abdallah. We've got all the masks. Cornerstone mask retrieved. Wow. Thank goodness it all worked out right, Ogre Pawn. Abdallah, sis. Huh, Kiki, what's up? Well, uh, I wanted to ask a favor. I wanted you to come to the village and bring the ogre with you. Are you sure it's safe? I don't know how Kieran's gonna redeem himself in this story. You gotta trust me, it'll be okay, I promise. That's all I wanted to ask, just come. I wonder what's gotten into him. Everyone in the village thinks that Ogre Pond's a menace, right? I hope he knows what he's doing. But he did have a confident look in his eyes. Let's trust Kiki and head to the village. If things go south, I'll use my natural charm to smooth things over. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, I, I kind of am done with Kieran. At this point in the storyline, I don't like his personality. He's he's being a bit too much. He's being a bit too extra. But, I mean, that is his age, so maybe. Was I ever like that when I was that age? Maybe. I don't know. I have no recollection. You'd have to ask my mom. <laughs> Actually, no. You, you, she wouldn't have that answer. I was the best kid growing up. Ah, oh, you really don't want to be here, do you? Don't worry, it'll be fine. Kiki, what's this all about, really? I know you must be scared, Ogre Pond, but I did my best. So just trust me and come with me, okay? There's no way that Kiki's evil. Kiki talked to the villagers and made them understand that the ogre is good. Right? I don't... I don't know what's going on. I don't like Kieran at all anymore. It's kind of like up and downs with him, right? He talked to everyone. He's like, here, let me introduce you to the ogre. He's actually okay. It's going to be safe. And that's what he told all the people, right? So that's the only way he's going to redeem himself. So that's the ogre. Ogre pawn. It's actually real? Don't worry. So this is the ogre of Oni Mountain. This is the true face of Ogre Pun, whom we've so sorely wronged. For far too long, we've told tales casting you as the villain here in Kitakami. We all you a great, we all owe you a great apology. Hey, what's going on? Why the sudden about face? Kieran's been running around the whole village, telling everyone the true story of what happened. I was worried he'd stir up a lot of resentment, so I told him to stop, but... We're so sorry, dear Ogre. Ogre Pond's so cute. Seems that I was wrong to worry so much. Who knew Kiki had it in him, especially since he usually hates talking to people. From now on, you can come to the village whenever you want. And you don't even need to hide your face when you do. Oh, okay. The three masks we kept at Kitakami Hall rightfully belong to you all along. If you manage to get them back from those three villains, feel free. Uh, you're welcome to keep them. We got the mask back, and we managed to clear Ogre Pond's name. Now that's what I call a happy ending. One last thing to do. Let's escort Ogre Pond back to its home. Kieran, huh? Tell me about him. 
Escort Ogre Pond to the dreaded den. Alright, you got a fast travel over there? Tell me. Yeah, I got one right here. By the shiny Yanma. Okay, so... What's gonna happen... What was that? What was shining over there? Oh, maybe that, like, glimmer? Um, what... I think is going to happen is we are going to okay let me just can I can I mark this sure whatever we're gonna go bring him back to the den and then he's going to test our strength and I'm going to bring Como O as our strength tester because I just want that to happen I do, but like, there's nothing about Area Zero over here. It's just about the teal mask. The treasures of Area Zero. The teal mask, part one. We gotta be able to catch this thing. Uh, well, here we are. It's a bit lonely out here, but I guess this place must mean a lot to Ogre Pond. Uh, take care, okay, Ogre Pond? I'll miss you, buddy. Po? Oh. Hey, you know what? I think Ogre Pond might want to go with you. It's just like an auto catch. Uh... Hey, hold up. I'll battle you for him. <laughs> if you win, you get to keep him. Oh, gosh, kid. Uh, if it's not going to stay here, then I, I want to... I want Ogre Pond to come with me! Kiki, I know I'm being real selfish, but Abdallah, please, let me battle you. I want to see which one of us should get to keep Ogre Pond with them. Kid. Hey, Kiki. I know you really love Ogre Pond. I really honestly understand. But you have to think about Ogre Pond's feelings, too. I want to battle anyway. So let me know once you're ready. Oh gosh. You gotta think about his feelings too? I mean, when did you ever think about a Pokemon's feelings when you just threw a Pokeball at it and took it away from its home? Like, no. You don't think about Pokemon's feelings. No one does. <laughs> All these Pokemon that I caught in the entire like 11 plus episodes, we don't care about their feelings, man. I gotta collect my decks, I gotta check mark a box on my Pokedex list, and I gotta put them in my boxes. I don't care about their family or anything like that. No way, man. No one does. You don't. <laughs> That's kinda, kinda weird to think about, right? Yo, I just like caught this Ekans over here. What if that Ekans was like the breadwinner for its family, and now the family just can't have any food? Oh, man. Yeah, right. No one cares about their Pokemon's feelings because you just pluck them from their environment. Alright, are you ready for this? Are you ready, battle? Yeah, uh... Who's the best lead? I guess I can set up with my uh, clinging skills guy. Let's go. Well then, let's get started. Okay, Kieran. For all the marbles. Ogre Pond. Just let Ogre Pond choose, man. Whoever wins this gets to be Ogre Pond's partner. <laughs> that's a big hot that's big stakes. So don't. Don't you dare hold back. Oh my gosh, this is for all the marbles, man. I'm gonna have to bust out everything I can. I don't have fully EV trained Pokemon. Shift tree? 
That's dark grass. I'm good. I can't use my other stuff. Dark grass. Ugh. I know you're probably better a trainer for Ogre Pond, but I... I... 71? Alright. Let's set up. I'm gonna Dragon Dance, then I'm gonna... Um, probably Terrestrialize. Fake out! Fine. Take away a little bit. Break a Focus Sash. Leaf Blade? Not gonna hurt. Oh my gosh. I've got this so in the bag right now. I'm gonna Dragon Dance twice and sweep your team. I don't even know if I want to do it. Clanging Scales. If I Dragon Danced, that's just my special attack. That's my regular attack stat. Shift is relatively weak on physical side. If he uses a Dark Pulse, I'm done. So I have to go for the Outrage. And if I'm going for the Outrage, I have to Terrastalize. I'm going for it. We're going all in. He's relatively weak on defense from what I remember. As far as his base stats. So I'm just going to Terrastalize right now. And we're going to probably sweep through a majority of his team. I don't think he has any Fairy types. This is usually a bad thing to do first turn in a 6v6 Pokemon battle. Come on! You had a Focus Sash! Oh, go figure. There's two turns. It better not be a two turn outrage. I mean, if I take out two of his Pokemon with this guy, I'm going to be pretty happy about that. Low key, I might actually use a full restore to get rid of the um, to get rid of the confusion after outrage. Diplin? Absolutely not, man. Diplin's going to eat this hit and lose. He's already a dragon type, so he already loses. Why would you bring in Diplin? That's a three turn outrage, which is great. I'm gonna get confused after this. Which I took out two of his Pokemon. I'm good with that. You're not holding back. Thank you, but I won't hold back either. What are you gonna send out for it? Oh man, if I get. There's that confusion that's gonna be rough. Mm, Polyrath. I could. I could switch out. Polyrath could do some Hydro Pumps on me. I kind of want to get Ribombi out, uh, but I also want to bring Diplin. Diplin's actually really good against that. I'm going to switch out. As much as I want to go plus one and attack, I don't think it's worth it. It might no Ice Punch. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. And then I also want to keep my Terrestrialize in case something happens, so... This guy is going to just use Haze all the time, and that's perfectly fine. We'll bait him out with Haze all day. So let's just throw some Seer- Oh, I knew it! Yo, Ice Punch hurts! Oh my gosh, I knew he had that. Finally, he reveals it. Do it. This is very scary. Do it again, man. It's fair. Ice pretty much wrecks a majority of my team. I don't know how I'm going to get past this guy. Ice Punch is going to hurt all of us. It's super effective on everyone besides Vulpix. So the only thing I can do right now is, is swap in this. I don't want to eat an Ice Punch. I'm going to Quiver Dance up once, and then I'm going to... I'm going to do the Kiss. I'm going to do the Fairy-type Draining Kiss to get my health back from an Ice Punch. Liquidation? Oh my... Oh, 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 hey! Oh my gosh. I need some of that health back. Uh, it's not enough health back, but it was worth a shot. That's not good. It's not good at all. I should have gone with a Dazzling Gleam to KO it. What are you eating? Citrus? How am I alive?
No, I need that KO. Yo, if he does liquidation again, I'm done. I'll take an ice punch though, please. Yo, ow, 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 how much, how much? Oh, I'm out, dude. No way, because that citrus berry. All right, that's fair. All right, what do you got, what do you got, what do you got? How much health does he have, dude? Like, I can't eat these hits. Liquidation's gonna destroy me here. I'm super slow. Como O is very fast. I don't think he's fast enough. Ice Punch is gonna KO me there. Liquidation's super effective on me here. Ice Shard is not gonna get the KO. Mandibuzz could maybe get the Tailwind up and then proceed to Air Slash. Who's my fastest Pokemon? Oh gosh, 125, 114, 136 on Soundproof is really good. I mean, I can maybe do a quick attack with this thing or an extra sensory. I'm gonna try it. Vulpix has to do something in this battle. Whether I like it or not. And that's one of my fastest Pokemon, so let's just do it. I, I won't be able to eat a liquidation, but if I am fast enough to do a, an extra sensory, I'll do it. Beautiful. Okay, Polyrath is a threat, and that thing is gone. I'm glad we dealt with that. Okay, who else? Uh, Galiscor. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, enjoy. Meet Mamoswine. Uh, Gly Glyscor? Gliscor. This thing is four times weak against ice. I don't know if I should ice shard it or just do the avalanche. Either way, it's going to be a two-hit KO, or I'm going to take one hit. That's the thing. Um, ooh, Ice Fang would be pretty cool. Accuracy is 95. Power 40 would be power 80. This is actually very, very strong. 160 base power plus stab. That's going to do massive damage. And I'm going to go first with it. I don't think Gliscor has anything that can knock me out. So I'm going to go for Ice Shard. Oh, Yachi Berry. Okay. That didn't do much. EQ. Whoa, whoa. How much? How whoa, okay. Uh, hi. He's probably going to outspeed me. Because Gliscor is naturally faster. This is rough. I... I need the ice start out. That's not strong. Am I like... Like negative attack nature? On Mamoswine? What am I missing here? I thought that thing was, it was huge. Alright, we got some work to do. Let's go Mandibuzz. He's, like, gonna do a flying move. Does he have a rock rock slide? He better not. Oh, man. I'm gonna tailwind up. Rock Tomb? That's hurtful, dude. And my speed fell. Oh, this is scary. He's very fast. Rock Tomb, huh? I hope I can get an Air Slash off. No, he still outspeeds me. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I can't do much. That doesn't do anything. Oh gosh. Alright, here we go. Got one thing to do, man. And I'm gonna have to full restore my Terra Boy. Okay, Rock Tomb's gonna knock me out this turn. No, I need it to knock me out. My Tailwind's going to peter out, dude. Uh, I don't like this at all. Tailwind petered out. If, Dude, if he's got like a flying attack, I'm going to eat a super effective hit here. I don't like that. I got to do something. Oh, I'm Dragon. Never mind. I'm full Dragon. He doesn't have, like, an Ice Fang. Gonna Dragon Dance up. EQ. Do it. Okay, that's a three-hit KO. I'm good. We're gonna Dragon Dance, we're gonna Outspeed, and I'm gonna proceed to Outrage. Hopefully get the three-turn Outrage, and then just win. He's very fast. How many other Pokemon does he have? This is rough. I just need a three turn, man. If I get the two turn, that's gonna be bad. Who else do you have? Where's Furret? You're sending out Yan Mega? 
No, I'm staying in, man. I have to. What's Young Mega gonna do? I can bring out Vulpix, but I'm gonna get outsped. Oh, beautiful. Plus one? Outrage? Come on, dude! You can't. What are you doing? Citrus? Boosted Keyberry? What the heck is it? Oh, two turn Outrage. That's not good. Bug Buzz might hurt. Oh, Soundproof? Oh my gosh, that's so good. Oh my gosh, yes. Dude, Bug Buzz doesn't even touch me because my ability. How crazy is that? I'm using Full Restore. I'm not holding it back. I'm sorry. That should cure my confusion as well. Dude, Bug Buzz does not work. Ancient Power Rock isn't going to do anything either to me either. Nope. Sorry, dude. Now it's over. GG's. Got you, man. Not holding back. That was hard. Without healing, that is that was really hard. I got the two-turn Outrage there when I needed the three. So that was a little bit of luck. Probo Pass? Oh, gosh. Probo Pass is Steel-type. Steel Rock. I'll do a couple hits on him. That's all I got. I have to I have to stay in now. Unless I switch the Vulpix. We'll see. We'll see how much this does. Probo pass. Is he rock steel? Four times weak against fighting. Like I can come in fresh and destroy him. I just don't want to be stuck in the outrage. I got probably two more. Oh, and that's not enough. I should have switched the Vulpix. And it's a two-turn. I'm fine. Check this out. Flash Cannon Steel Special Attack? Okay, not a lot. Probo Pass is cool. I love this guy. Looks like Mario. Not a lot. We're gonna flamethrower. Hypnosis would be really cool if I hit it, but... That's not a lot of damage. Okay. Hey, burn's good. If he tries to do an earthquake or a rock slide. Power gem special, yeah? Okay, it's fine. I got a burn on him. Burn doesn't matter, though. How many other Pokemon does he have? The final one. Here we go. Como O versus... Yeah! This is his last Pokemon. Time to go all out. Close combat, baby. Oh, yeah! Four times super effective. See ya. I just needed Vulpix as Switch Fodder. And that is the end of Trainer Kieran. We will never see him again. You know, the thing... His character arc is su such like waves over here. You like him, and you don't like him. And then he redeems himself, and then he shoots himself in the foot. Like, there's... Uh, I don't know, man. This, like, last bout of sore loser, like, I want that Pokemon, and I'm gonna battle you for it, is not okay. There are so many things wrong with Kirin. I knew I couldn't win. But I just couldn't give up. I mean, if you asked me for it, I probably would have said, yeah, you can have it. Let me just get the Pokedex data. You could borrow them for a little bit. I'm sorry. Oh, Kiki. I think it's time for you to catch Ogre Pond, Abdallah. What do you mean, catch? Uh, here's a Premier Ball. That's it? All right, hold on, hold on. Let's save the game. Oh, we might have to catch Ogre Pond. You're telling me that I have to lower his health down? And, like, catch him, catch him? Should we try the Premier Ball challenge? And get Ogre Pond in a Premier Ball? Should we do it? <laughs> oh, gosh. How do I do that? Mm, does anyone learn False Swipe? Any of these uh, guys do False Swipe? Oh, my gosh. I don't think I even have a False Swipe TM. Okay, well, here we go.
Okay, fall swipe is gonna be good. Uh, let me actually adjust a little bit over here. You gotta prove yourself to Ogre Pond. I knew something like that would happen. Change moves. Uh, we're going to... Uh, I am gonna remember. Screech? I think he learned Screech. Yeah, he does. Okay, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna Screech him down. Does anyone else have, like, a Screech kind of move? You got something like that, right? Let's take a look. Take down Endure, Flail, Powder, Snow. Ooh, ooh, you got some stuff. You you do actually have some stuff. Mud Slap is really good. We're going to do Mud Slap right off the bat. I'm going to start off with that. We're going to start a little bit of Mud Slappage. I'm going to lower his accuracy all the way down. Uh, then I'm going to proceed to bring in Como O to Screech him. And then False Swipe him down to 1 HP. We'll then bring in Hypnosis over here um, with this and Disable Tail Whip. Um, yeah, I don't think we need that. Yeah, yeah, I think I have a, I have, I've got a strategy. I have a strategy and we're going to do a Premier Ball Challenge to catch Ogre Pond. It's going to be so good. Let's save the game right now. And then next up, Ogre Pond, you're mine. I won you in a battle. Anyway, you guys are great. We'll see you in the next one. Wow, man. Woof. Uh, Pheasantipity. Wow. Dude. What's the name of Oki Dogi? Wow. Okay, so here we are at Ogre Pond's time. Um, yeah, I'm excited for it. What do you guys think is going to happen over here? Is it just going to be like a regular old battle or what? Okay. Get a drink, man. We're in this. We're in this for the long haul. Let's go. Okay. All right. Finally, we're going to do it. We're going to get Okie Dogie's friend, um, Ogre Man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep. Yep. That's it. It's two in the morning for me. Can you guys tell? All right. Let's go, friends. What's up, Martin? Good to see you. Thanks, friends. Shout out to our uh, mods, chapter team, all of our members here. Thanks for supporting this stream thus far. Let's jump into it. Here we go. Are you guys ready? It's time to catch your favorite Pokemon, your favorite Ogre Pokemon. It's Ogre Pond. So let's do it. We saved our game. I'll give you a quick rundown of our strategy over here. We're going to do something called the Premier Ball Challenge, where we catch the uh, Pokemon in a Premier Ball, which is like the lowest capture rate ball outside of a Beast Ball on a non-Beast Pokemon, uh, non-Ultra Beast Pokemon. Uh, what we're going to start off with is Mud Slap in order to lower his accuracy by six stages. We're gonna going to come over here with... Como O, I'm going to Screech as many times as I can. Then I'll proceed to False Swipe all the way down to 1 HP. Then when we're ready, we'll head on over here with our uh, Vulpix. And then we'll use Hypnosis. And then when he's asleep, we'll throw the Premier Balls. Deal? Sounds like a plan. I've done this millions of times. You ready? Let's go. Come here, Ogapon. Save the game just in case. It seems Ogapon wants to test its strength against you. We called that, like ages ago do you want to battle it so you can catch it yeah absolutely um i hope it's not a battle and then catch i hope it's like a battle and catch like normally because i changed out my moveset uh-huh oh my gosh are you a fire type Can I throw a quick ball? I don't know what, what is happening here. Oh gosh, this is not what I expected! Whoa! 
Oh my gosh! Totally, I need Earthquake! It terrestrialized its mask? So this is what Ogre Pond's really capable of? Oh, I was not expecting. Hearth Flame, Embody Aspect, shown brilliantly, and what happened? Hold on, what was that? Oh my gosh, attack up. But this is not it. He's a fire type. I'm gonna eat like... Ivy Cudgel? Okay, well, I mean, it's not a traditional battle. I don't know. I got a dragon. I gotta do dragon dance. Hearth Flame Mask Ogre Pond. I did not expect that. That's uh, a cool surprise, though. I mean, I'm a dragon type. Fire is not going to do much against me, unless it burns me. Grassy terrain, what are you doing? Yo, we all healing out here? He's very fast. Leftovers recovery? Yeah, enjoy this dragon dance, boy -o. I gotta outspeed and proceed to um, EQ. Or, sorry, oh, outrage. I kind of want to do a low-key screech on him. I don't know if he changes out his... Um, Beautiful. I don't know if he resets stats. Ivy Cudgel is fire. It can't KO me. Good. Not very effective. Don't get burnt. Thank you for the HP. Grassy terrain. Love it. Alright, now you get owned. This is um, technically like plus three right now. It's not super effective, but it is the same type of attack bonus. Yeah, one hit KO. What do you know about it? Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, your mask. Yeah, you thought that was cool, huh? Turning on a mask, a terrestrialized mask against my Mammo Swan. You thought that was fun. Memories of adventuring with you grant Ogre Pond strength. What are you talking about? You're putting on a different mask? Oh, I see. Majora's Mask over here. Listen here, Link. Happy Mask Salesman? I better get the three turn outrage. And your stats better still be screeched all the way down. Embody aspect. Boosting your special defense. Doesn't matter. Ugh. Screech is very good. Ivy cudgel. Not, not ice. Water, yeah? Okay, I'm good. As long as I get the three turn outrage. That was a crit. Three turn outrage. Please. Please, three turn. Three turn. I don't want to see the little birds. Hey, three turn. Okay, okay, we're good. All right. Yo, so we knocked out two of his four masks. Uh, he has a teal mask, which is probably going to be the last one. I got my confusion right now, which is fair. Yo, dragon is really good against this guy. Rock? Uh, I can go... F I don't want to close combat this guy. I'm... I'm gonna heal myself. Okay. Yep. Great. And body aspect. Defense. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's gonna be really rough for me. I have 44 HP. Bag. We're gonna go full restore. His... Attack is going to be, like, rock-based. And I'm a fighting type, so that's going to be resisted anyway. Yo, Koma O is, like, the full counter against this guy. If he uses Eye of the Cudgel. It's a rock move, yeah? Oh, gosh. That was resisted? That wasn't resisted. What, what type is that? I gotta go out with a bang. I could potentially bring Diplin out. I'm gonna get pounded. 
I'm a fighting type. Why did a rock move do that? I should be resisting that. Alright, I gotta go one big hit. Can I go out with an outrage? If I had... Dude, if I had my close combat, I would use close combat right now. But I thought I was in a battle that I was going to have to screech and fall swipe in. 80 damage, man. And he has his defense up. It's not going to be half health. Not even half health. I feel hoodwinked. Let me run this back. I'll put my moves right back on and Como O will destroy you. Oh, you're recovering HP. It must be nice. Yeah, put that grass out of there. Alright, he's rock. I'm... Maybe Syrup's gonna do something? Diplin's not... My Diplin's not good. I'm upset that I did not see that coming. Half my health gone. More! Because you critted me! The rest of my Pokemon are weak against Rock. Mandibuzz. Vulpix. Ribabee. We're all weak against Rock. I needed close combat on my guy. I kind of want to just like reset right now. He's so strong. Here, take a hypnosis. I can't even... Why? 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 Why did I just do that? I thought I can outspeed him with a Vulpix. Alright, here we go. All of my Pokemon are weak against rock. Except for Como. I don't know, man. Como O was good. Oh, right, here we go. We're going Max Revive. I was not ready for this. Ivy Cudgel, dude. This guy is rough. Dragon Dance could be cool. Screech is better. I don't... I think Dragon Dance is good because it gives me the speed. But it's got... I gotta survive two turns. I'll screech him. Oh, there is one turn. That is hard. And he's gonna heal a little bit. Screech better not miss. If Screech misses, I lose. Okay, good. So now... If I do Dragon Dance... I can outspeed him next turn. Guaranteed. Why? Why? What? Ch oh, because I was Dragon type. That's why. Because I was solo Dragon type. That's why that move did so much damage to me. Because I was Terra-typed. I was Terrastalized as Dragon. I win. This is GG's barring a crit. Because the, the Ivy Cudgel is a rock, and it's against my fighting type right now, which is half damage. And I'm getting this health back. So barring a crit, I win. 94 is really good. I'm gonna go for a third dragon, uh, dragon dance. I'm gonna set up all over this guy. And then I'm just gonna run the two-turn outrage because he's gonna turn into the teal mask, and the teal mask has to be grass, right? Can't be fairy. So I think this is game set match. I should heal after this one. 
Just in case. I don't want to go all in. I don't want to go all in. I'm gonna... It's like a 5-hit KO Ivy Cudgel in rock mode. Great. Okay, here we go, here we go. We're gonna use potions. We're gonna use full restore. Okay, so now I'm at plus three speed, plus three attack. My outrage should KO his next form when he comes in. I don't need to boost up to plus four. I think I'm good. And he has to waste the turn putting the grass back up. So I'm good. Here it comes. Enjoy. Plus three. Beautiful. Como O is the king of this game. Uh huh. Memories of a partner from long ago grant Ogre Pond strength. That's right. That's the teal mask at the very end. Wow. Yeah, what are you doing? Speed. Oh, well, I've got plus three speed, so enjoy this one hit KO. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. Luckily, I healed. You can't catch it yet. You need to show Ogre Pond, uh more of what you can do. Was that scripted? Because that would have been a KO. Yeah, put up that grassy terrain for me. I need it. Here comes the two-turn outrage. It's fine. Uh, three-turn? Yeah. Yeah, nice try, Mask Boy. I would love to see Kieran try to do that. I think that's everything Ogre Pond's got. Now's your chance to catch it. Catch. Oh, oh, look at this. So it's like a terror raid battle. Great. You can put him in any ball you want. Yeah, Moon Ball, Dream Ball, Master Ball. What ball would you use against this guy? Would you match him? Nest Ball? Kind of green looking? I don't know. Here, here's Premier Ball, man. Let's go. 100% catch rate. Yeah. Got him, man. Okay, that was tough. Um, I, going in blind, thinking it was a traditional catch, whittle down his HP, right? I erased some moves, but like, honestly, that was okay, because if I gave myself the debuffs from close combat, I probably would have gotten hurt a lot more. So we didn't need close combat, we really only needed Screech, um, Outrage, and Dragon Dance, that's really all we needed to beat that entire boss. And just healing along the way. Anyway, Ogre Pond is straight grass. Uh, this Pokemon's type changes based on which mask it's wearing. It confounds its enemies with nimble movements and kicks. Okay, 311, 87 pounds, cool. Uh, yeah, you can join me. Although you're start, you're gonna start getting some weird like effort values. All right, uh, Diplin, you're a cool and everything, but like you're so slow. Sorry, man. All right, I might hold on to Ogre Pond a little bit later. I want to, like, fully EV train him and everything like that. I don't want to give him, like, trash EVs, so. Ogre Pond entrusted you with the Cornerstone Mask, Wellspring Mask, and Hearth Flame Mask. You put the mask in your other items pocket. Yeah, tell me more about that. Hey, well done, Abdallah. That was pretty impressive. I know, I know. Trust me. We adapted on the fly, and we didn't lose. See, that's the, that's the key and characteristic of a Pokemon Master. C con congratulations I'll take good care of it don't talk to me ever again kid I'm going back to Paldea and I never want to see you again yeah why why can't I be like you Abdallah because you just met me and it takes years of Pokemon training uh, he just went off and cried oh I hate it when he gets like that don't worry about him He's the one who said the winner gets to become Ogre Pond's partner. That's right. Those are his terms, man. Come on, let's head home. Kieran, man. 
Da -na -na. Hey Abdallah, good morning. I've got a message from Carmine. She says she's waiting for you at Loyalty Plaza and that you should hurry up and meet her there. Say, oh, why do you two always use me as your messenger boy, huh? You don't even have a name, kid! He doesn't even have a name. The game, the developers didn't even bother giving putting a name on top of his text box. He's not even that important. And he was one of the four kids that joined us. Doesn't even get a name? What about the sick kid? Whatever happened to the sick kid? Who had like the stomach flu or something. I was taking my sweet time calling the people. Like, what is going on? <laughs> Why are these like such small things, small little details that are just like an oversight? <laughs> like, he was one of the four lucky kids. At least give him a name box. Yo, justice for Jeff. I don't know. Yeah, let's just name him Jeff. All right, Jeff. You got it, Jeff, messenger boy in the middle. All right, here we go. There you are. You took your time. You really battled great yesterday, Abdallah. I guess the Mask Retrieval Squad has completed its mission. Though Kiki, well, he shut himself in his room ever since he got home yesterday. Yeah, that's worrying. Yeah. Oh, but uh, you didn't need to feel guilty or anything, Abdallah. It all started because uh, I said we should keep the whole Ogre Pond thing a secret. And wouldn't you think it, uh, and you wouldn't think it, but Kiki's got a bit of an ego, too. He doesn't take uh, losing well. Anyway, how's Ogre Pond doing? I'll be honest, I've grown real fond of Ogre Pond myself. Get Kiki I guess Kiki's rubbed off on me a bit. Do you think you can let me have a battle with Ogre Pond? Um, then I gotta erase those effort value points. Sure. Got a bunch of weird effort values on him. I knew you'd say yes. You're not one to turn out a good battle. Let me see. Let me know when you're ready. I don't want to battle with Ogre Pond. Like, what is Ogre Pond's, like, ability? I never actually looked at him. Hi. Ivy Cudgel. Let me actually take a look at this guy. Ivy Cudgel, 100-100, physical attack, low kick, cool, slam grassy terrain. I mean, that's great for a grass Pokemon. What else do you remember? Double t double kick counter retaliate. Horn Leech? Yo, you got a Horn Leech and you wouldn't you you weren't using it? And you got superpower? Spiky Shield 2? Throat chop? Yo, this guy's good. Oh! Low sweep's good, focus energy. You got Leech Seed. Follow me if you're in doubles battles. Ogre Pond's stats, I mean, he's very fast, 180 base speed. I've got a weird uh, natured one. Uh, it's not ideal, but like, whatever. I could just reset him with some berries. Sure, you want to battle against him? Uh, I'm going to take a couple moves, Horn Leech being one of them. He doesn't have any boosting moves, though. Uh, I mean, he's got growth. That's okay. Boosting crits, Leech Seed, he could be like a staller. A low sweep is okay for fighting. I like a lot of these moves. I do. I do superpowers really. Wood hammer is amazing. Yeah, that's actually really good. I love horn leech because it's like drain punch. So let's do that. Ivy cudgel uh, changes depending on the mask. Has a heightened chance of landing a crit. I said barring a crit, I would probably lose. And then this thing was trying to crit me every time. Unbelievable. All right, so we're gonna go that. We're gonna go Horn Leech. I'm gonna remember another couple moves. Let's do. I do like Superpower, but it's I like debuff. I like Throat Chop because it's dark. I don't really like Low Kick all that much, but I don't mind a Fighting type attack. It's really good coverage. I just want to boost him with Growth, right? In case he really wants to do that. So let's remember a move. I'm sure his entire move set is actually really, really good. Uh, as far as, like, learning new TMs and whatnot, it's pretty vast, I'm sure. So, let's take a look. Uh, we're going to start off with a Growth up top. No, let's do Ivy Cudgel. We'll do uh, Horn Leech, Throat Chop. Yeah, this is actually pretty decent. How do I give him a Mask? 
So he's lonely by nature, takes plenty of siestas. I'm actually curious right here. Let's look at boxes really quick. I'm going to see what he's judged at as far as uh, individual values. One, two. Okay, so typically three IV, right? I got the best attack, best HP, and best speed. That's actually the that's the best set. Um, because you do need HP, you need attack, and you need speed. And those are things that he, he excels at. So that 100% is the most luckiest IV set in the entirety of all of that Pokemon. Bar none. That We got pretty lucky with that. But again, bottle caps exist, so it really doesn't matter. Yeah, we got a really good Ogre Pond. That's so cool. Naturally good. Um, okay, so I don't really understand how to use the masks or equip them on him. So key items. Let me see. Let me take a look. Key items. Uh, we're going to go... Um, wait, where are the masks, dude? Wasn't it in the key items? Oh, shoot. Someone tell me. Was it in other items? TM materials, treasures. It's not treasures. It's not picnic items. Shiny charm, Terra style card. Oh, it's in other items? Let me see. Other items. Let me see. Other items. And I'm going to sort by... Sort by newest first. Um, oh, here we go, here we go. Cornerstone Mask. Turns into a rock type during battle. Turns into a water type during battle. And turns into fire type during battle. That's actually really cool. I like rock. Rock is actually kind of cool. But then he's going to have rock coverage. And things that destroy rock are fighting... Um, Wellspring Mask. I think Water is going to be really good. I'm going to use this item. I'm going to give it to him. You're going to be Water type. Okay, so now he's holding the Wellspring Mask. So, oh! Oh, yeah! Ogre Pond! Oh, cool, cool. I do like that a lot. So now he has the Watered Fist. And then he has some sort of ability, right? His, his ability is Wellspring Mask. Uh, doesn't he, like, get water absorb? He gets water absorb from this? That's actually really cool. Uh, let me actually see the other ones. If he has the ability of water absorb, what does he get from the other masks? Hold on, hold on. We have to actually look at this right now. So water, he could just switch in and, like, absorb water right now. That's actually really cool. Um, give me newest first over here. Oh, here we go. Hearthstone mask. I want to see what it does. Okay, so the fire one. You think it's the flash fire? I like that coloration. Ogre Pond transformed. Okay, let me see. Uh-huh. Mold Breaker. The Pokemon's moves are unimpeded by the ability to target. Mold Breaker is kind of not okay. Not on him. Okay, that's a little weak. I love the water version, right? Like, if someone's coming at you with a water move. Who would? Who would come at you with a water move if you're already grass-type normal, um... Okay, so it's not as good. Okay, right? Like, if you're grass-type, no one's gonna be using a water move against you. But, um, I can see where if you had no water coverage, and you had someone weak against water, and then you switch in. This Pokemon, don't you have to be terrestrialized though? I don't think so. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So with the Rock Mask, as you can see over here, you've got um, Ogre Pond with the Rock Mask. Cornerstone Mask. Sturdy. Oh, one-hit KO moves will also fail to knock it out. That's kind of cool. Typically, like, Rock Pokemon have that. So I think that that's amazing. Um, and then I guess I would be curious to get rid of the item and see what his normal ability is without that. Put away Held Item. And then he just has the Teal Mask on. Where's the Teal Mask? Oh, okay, so that's his default then? It didn't look like he had a mask on. Defiant. If the Pokemon has any stat lowered by an opposing Pokemon, the stat is sharply boosted. So in case people are uh, you trying to do, like, Intimidate um, or anything like that, yeah, I guess that's cool, unlike the normal Teal Mask variant. 
It's kind of cool to, like, study this Pokemon. Uh, I would probably go Mod... No, I would probably go Adamant or Jolly Mint. Now that I'm thinking about this. I might give him one right now, actually. Oh, I'll worry about Mints later. Let's min-max him a little bit later. But yeah, Adamant or Jolly. Most likely Jolly to outspeed all the other base whatever. I don't know what his stats are. But super cool. So she wants a battle with him. I think I'm going to give him the Water Mask. Because I think that's just cool. And I need water coverage on my team anyway. So we're going to see about that Wellspring Mask. I really do like this idea of a Pokemon where you can just kind of change his little forms based on what masks you give him. I think it's so fun. I think it's so good. All right, well, uh, we're over here. I think all my Pokemon are ready. I want to start off with Como. Or we can start off with Ogre Pond. Yeah, yeah, you want to battle against Ogre Pond? Let's do it. I don't want to connect to the internet, but let me let me bring him to the very front. And let's see what kind of battle we can do with him. Um, a water, water absorb move. Does she, I don't, I don't remember her Pokemon. She has like the electric little rat at the beginning. She usually leads with that. So leading with Mamos one is probably the best bet. And then it changes the dark mode. So I could just earthquake it. Oh yeah. And we do have to change our, uh, our Pokemon movesets, right? Cause I was trying to like catch other Pokemon. Um, so that being said, What's going on with the monkey, the bird, and the dog? Right? Like, what happened to them? How do I get those Pokemon? They're in the Pokedex, aren't they? Alright, so let's actually remember some moves over here. We're gonna go close combat. Uh, I'm gonna do that over... False Swipe? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I mean, I don't really have any other moves. It's like you Dragon Dance up and then you hope and pray that you do your strongest move um which is like another attack stat um i don't need anything else this one's headbutt nah like yeah i don't really need any of these other ones we'll keep screech okay i i think we're i think we're officially ready to do this battle and it might be her last battle and then we're gonna see what happens after this so anyway you guys are amazing as usual thank you so much for watching and uh, tell me what you think about uh, ogre pond and all of his different moves and whatnot i cannot wait you guys are awesome Ogre Pond, man. And his uh, giant Terra uh, teal mask. Yeah, man. Dude, this game is actually really cool. How long have we been streaming? Seven? Seven hours or so? Wow, almost eight hours into the morning? Hey, we did say it was going to be an all-nighter, so thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, how are you guys feeling today? How are you guys feeling this evening? I hope that you guys are doing great. Uh, let me know. How do you think this battle is going to play out? Am I going to win? Am I going to win every battle in this challenge mode that we set forth on only using Pokemon that are of the um, recently caught variety instead of just jumping in with our level 100s like all of you guys are doing? <laughs> Imagine still being awake. Yeah, I don't know how Christy's doing it. Or Dragon. You guys are like... That's like 1.30 in the morning for you guys. I don't know how you do it, but you guys are here supporting, so thanks for being here. We'll play this all day. All right, I got to catch all the other Pokemon, so we'll get them. Let's do this. All right, so Teal Mask, let's, uh, let's knock this out, shall we? Thanks so much for hanging out. You guys are the best. All right, we're here. With our Ogre Pond in the DLC, the Teal Mask, uh, let's actually go over here and find out what's going on with our friend, Carmine. And let's do this battle. I see you've got Ogre Pond on your team. I think its battle style changes depending on its mask. So is it all set and ready to go? Yeah, we put the Water Mask on it. I don't think you'll be able to see it. Right, let's get to our positions. Is this her final form? Yeah, all right, Carmine, let's go, let's go. Mighty Enna, I don't like Mighty Enna. This thing has all the elemental fangs, Sucker Punch, and more. You made me wake up early for this, you know. You better make it worth my time. It doesn't have any water moves, so I can't switch in Ogre Pond. Intimidate, that's not good. 
Defiant would have been really good against this guy. Alright, uh, let's try an Earthquake. Level 70, Mighty Anna. Howl. What does Howl do? Lower something of mine. Oh. That's not good. Two hit KO? Oh my gosh! That Intimidate was rough. I don't know what he's gonna try. If he tries like a fire move, I'm done. I can't predict what he's gonna do. I kinda wanna bring in. I kinda wanna bring in you. I kinda wanna bring in Ribbon Beam. He's his attack is up right now. I gotta get rid of Mamoswine's um, debuff. But you know what I could do? I could just go for it. Let me just Earthquake it, man. Crunch hurts. That's very hurtful. I need a min a max roll. That's not a lot. He's going for Crunch? Alright, fine. Let's go. This is a resisted hit on Crunch. Uh, Crunch also is a resisted hit on you. Mandibuzz. So let's do that. Let's try to catch him. Let's try to catch this uh, Mighty Anna. If he's going to try a crunch again, it's a plus one crunch. It's very strong. He might have Thunder Fang, Ice Fang, which are, you know, things that it can do. Instead of just taking that Pokemon, we're going to come over here and try to do an Air Slash. And we outsped and proceeded to do work. That was a really good switch. Predicted the crunch. Went in on that. Amazing. Okay, more Pico. This is it. More Pico de Gallo. Alright, do it. Uh, he's gonna use that electric move right off the bat. And try to paralyze me or something. I'm not into it. I'm not into more Pico doing any of that aura wheel nonsense. So I'm just gonna earthquake and hope and pray that he doesn't have like some other weird move. Seed Bomb? You had grass moves? Oh, against... Nah, that coverage is good. Alright, an electric Pokemon with grass moves. I mean, that's not... I <sighs> Mandibuzz might have to do the work. If he's gonna be switching back... No, I can't. I may have to go Dragon Dance up. A Bug and Fairy. Uh, yeah, this might actually be the best bet. Yeah, let's do this. Dude, I did not see a grass move coming at all. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go Quiver Dance up to outspeed it. I'm already faster, which is great. If he tries to do a dark move, not gonna hurt. Seed Bomb, not gonna hurt. What are you doing? Aura Wheel is dark. Not very effective. Now turning electric. Although that very well was very effective. That was very strong. This guy? I don't know. He's going to use the electric move, and it's very hurtful. Draining Kiss is super effective because he's dark. I might get all my health back if I do this. Or I just go for the straight KO. I don't think I can do the straight KO. If I Terrastalize, he's going to use electric on me. I can go Terrastalize Bug Buzz. I'm just going to go Draining Kiss. It's plus one. I'll get some of my health back. He's dark type. I'll get a majority of my health back. Um, but I probably will get KO'd. Yeesh, you really hit where it hurts, don't you? But you're real popular back home. I mean, I'm just getting all my health back, thank you. But this Aura Wheel hurts a lot. It's not resisted. And that will KO. GG's. And he turns into the Dark type. Which is fine. Because that was neutral electric. And I resisted the hit before. Ribum B doesn't have any good, um, any of that stuff. So here's what we can do now. He's got Seed Bomb. Never mind, I'm not going to do that. Ah, uh, oof. Como O can come in, Dragon Dance, take a Dark type attack, proceed to close combat, and then Outrage. Mandibuzz can come in, do an Air Slash. Dark move's not going to do anything, C move's not going to do anything, uh, and Air Slash is going to be fine, because he's not electric just yet. Right? Isn't that how more, more Pico works? He's like a dark, weird thing? What is he? He's electric dark. Oh, whatever. I'm just going to go for the Air Slash. That should be enough to KO. 
It's dark, it's not very effective, but like, I shouldn't miss this. Are you kidding?! Okay, now he's going for the electric time. Okay, that's gonna be super effective as soon as he uses it. How did I lose that? Who am I sacrificing now? Electric? Come here. I thought I can get that KO with that amount of health, but apparently not. Maybe Dark Pulse would have done it? I don't like this little rat. He's got one HP and he's gonna force me to use an Outrage. I don't have any priority either. He's just gonna hit me with his big old dark move and I have to Outrage. I don't want to use close combat. It's strong. How does he have one HP? I don't have any priority moves either, man. Get him out of here. He did so much damage to me. But, like, once we understand that his aura wheel, while he's dark looking, is a dark move, when he's electric, here comes Nine Tails. Yeah, sure. Nine Tails. Um, you know what? I did use an Outrage. I could switch out to Ogre Pond. I'm Grass Water. Interesting. With a Water Terra type. This is not a Lola Nine Tails, right? <laughs> oh, gosh. Alright, you get to see the power of Ogre Pond. With Water Absorb, it's not going to do much against Ninetales. Okay, let's do Ivy Cudgel. Uh, you know, I, I don't think you're going to do much against me. I'm going to go for the Growth. I'm going to go Terrastalize Growth in case he wants to do a Fire Attack. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's do it! You wanted to see Ogre Pond in his full glory? Here it is. Enjoy. Sad Mask. I'm gonna go Growth. So now that's my special defense rising. And you're going to do that to me. Okay. That's not good. I'm a physical attacker that just got burnt. That was a really smart move. And it outsped me. Smart, Ninetales. Very, very good move. Uh, too bad. I'm going for it anyway. Disable? You can disable that move? Sure, I'm not even going to use growth anymore. I'm done. That's really smart. Disable? Oh my gosh, you're gonna survive this. You're not gonna survive this. Cool. Do I get effort values from beating all these Pokemon? I hope not. It looks like I think I am. Uh, Lee Vanny. I'm a grass type. Uh, I mean, um, bug. Throw a water at it. Uh, I could do like the dark move. I'm going to end up eating. I'm a water type, and that thing's grass. I'm not going to stay in. Here we go. Lee Vanny. Bug and... Bug and grass is four times a week against Flamethrower. I should be fine with a baby Vulpix. Vulpix didn't do anything for our team this entire time. It's just cute. Oh, gosh. Get burnt. Belly button. How much? How much is that? Half my health? Get burnt, belly button! Go! Not enough. Okay. Great. And we did get burnt, belly button. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah. Please. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. How much health do I have for Vulpix? Talk to me. 76? I can survive another one. If I did a quick attack, uh, wouldn't KO mm, at all. But... It would be cool. It would be cool to look at. I'm not going to crit. Yeah, it's not enough. I thought the burn damage would do- Oh, you got a Swords Dance! That's cool! Good. You get Here's your burn damage. And then here's another baby quick attack. And Vulpix actually gets a KO. Any Vulpix fans out there? Here you go. This is for you. Challenge accepted.
Uh, Sinistra. That's ghost and grass. Ghost grass. Uh, I love this. This is actually a really good matchup over here, ghost grass. Mandibuzz is gonna be looking good. Um, yeah, yeah, Mandibuzz is gonna look good against this thing. I literally resist its all of its stab. I just need Roost. Like, where's Roost? I don't know who's faster. I don't really know the base stats of this Pokemon here. I'm gonna try a Nair Slash. Oh, you're gonna do that. Overcoat! Cool! My actual ability helped out with that. Amazing! It's a three-hit KO, so GG's. I'm gonna try the Dark Pulse over here. It can make you flinch. 80 damage? Yeah, that's a little bit better. Let's try that. Scald. Where do you get water moves from? You're a grass type, and I got burnt? How do you get scald? Oh, try it again. See what happens. Check this out. Let's do some water absorb. Just because I want to. Just because I want to do it. Try scald again. See what happens. Water absorb ogre pun. Hex! Oh my gosh, did you see that coming? No, you didn't. Youch! And my burn! Ow, man! I'm faster than this thing. Dude, what? I thought. I legit thought. I'm gonna chop that thing right in the throat. I thought I would predict the Scald. <laughs> What's he doing using Hex against a Dark type? Oh, Carmine, look at this mask, this beautiful face right now. This is what you wanted to see, right? Oh, look at that. Sheesh, you're seriously too strong. I didn't need any items for that battle. And we didn't need to level up any of our Pokemon. It was actually really fun. Uh, I lost, but I'm also not surprised. You and Ogrepan really do get along, don't you? It's almost making me jealous. Yay, yay. Who did I swap Ogrepan with? Uh, I actually, uh, she says awkward to tell you, but I, uh... Wait, 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 what is she gonna say? Yo, just mute it! She's gonna confess her love. Hey there, Abdal, this is Briar. It seems all student pairs have completed their orienteering as of this morning. The caretaker wanted to have some words, so could you head back to the community center? Message received, loud and clear. Ah, oh, Carmine is with you. Wonderful, that's one less phone call I have to make. You kids never cease to amaze me. It seems you become fast friends the moment you uh, spend even the briefest amount of time together. Well, head on over to the community center. I'll be there with the rest of the students. Oh, she's right about it being the briefest amount of time. We only just became friends, and now we... And now we what? Well, let's go see what the nosy old guy wants. I don't really want to, but I guess I can play nice one last time. What's going on here? I like her, but I kind of like the photographer lady better. <laughs> Uh, we don't even have 150 types of Pokemon in our, our decks yet. Like, we've been kind of doing a little bit of battling, a little bit of catching, a little bit of story. We've been kind of all over the place. Alright, let me heal. Okay, so, yeah, all my Pokemon are burnt and or destroyed. So please, Nurse Joy, with the pink shoes and the pink hair and the hoop earrings and the pink contacts and the pink eyebrows, please heal me. All right, do I necessarily want Ogre Pond on my team for the rest of the game? I don't. I'm the kind of guy that's like gonna put a legendary in a box until I'm ready to go. I love Ogre Pond, don't get me wrong. Who was on my team instead of Ogre Pond? Applin? Ugh. Gross. I do like having that water type on there. Um, Ogre Pond look is looking good. Who was on my team before? How do I not remember? Friends? Who did I sub Ogre Pond with? Do you guys even remember? Uh, Cramorant's kind of cool. Was it really Diplin? I don't really like Diplin. He didn't really do much. 
He's so slow. Alright, fine, Diplin. Go ahead. Alright, Diplin's back. <laughs> Y'all missed him. What are we here for? Oh, I gotta go line up? Alright, it's time to go to school. We've been on adventures all day. Ah, oh, Abdallah. Mm, everybody's here. Well, most of us are here anyway. Yeah. Uh, now then, the caretaker has some words for us. Let us all give him our full attention. Ah, uh, yes, thank you for coming. I've been told that our student pairs have now finished visiting all the signboards in Kirakami, which means your self-guided tour is at an end. Hear that? We did it. We found them all. That was so much fun. Why, thank you for saying so, and thanks for taking part. On that note, I got a little gift for each of you. Kitakami Mochi set. Okay. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd wrap up the tour this quickly. You're quite the prodigies. Our visitors from Paldea still have heaps of time left to enjoy Kitakami and all it has to offer. Continue to make yourselves at home and explore as you please. However... Sorry for suddenly springing this on you, but Carmine, Kieran, and I will need to return to Blueberry Academy a little early. Oh no, but why? Again, truly sorry, but there have been some developments concerning the Great Crater. I'm afraid we must really be heading back. I realize I was here as your chaperone, but you kids have all proven to be very capable. I'm sure you'll be fine without me. Thank you so much for looking after them in my stead. Don't mention it. Uh, you can leave these kids to me. Now then, Carmine, I believe you had something you wanted to say. Yes. Unfortunately, my brother's not feeling well, so it's just me here to speak. Anyway, as you all know, this village is where I was born. And I'll be honest, I didn't want any outsiders coming here at all. Yikes. It felt like our home was being turned into a tourist trap for a bunch of ignorant strangers. But then we spent some time together, and none of you were the way I imagined you'd be at all. You're really nice, and once I actually talked to you... Yeah, I shouldn't have been so quick to judge people I didn't know anything about. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, I had fun. Thank you all so much for visiting our village. Especially you, Abdallah. I'm glad you came to visit. I mean, it's not like this is goodbye forever. Blueberry Academy has tons of strong trainers. You better come visit soon. Oh, I almost forgot. I still need to get packed and everything. Oh, she's so tall. This is not goodbye, okay? We're definitely going to see each other again. She's great. Is she better than Nimona? I think she's a lot spicier than Nimona. I like her a lot. That's Carmine for you, I suppose. You never know quite what to expect from her. Each moment spent with you kids is just dazzling. For an adult like me, huh, it's almost blinding. Anyway, that about wraps up the school trip. Let's give our caretaker a great big thank you. Thank you, Mr. Caretaker with the glasses and the bald head. <laughs> uh, why was that funny to me? What's wrong? He's bald by choice. I need to become... Oh, gosh. Yo, his, this is his, like, corruption arc? I need to become a lot stronger. What are you doing? Oh, you got a mask on? What are you wearing? Oh, gosh. Stronger, stronger. Stronger and stronger and stronger. Oh, gosh. That smile. Just you wait, Abdullah. Can we talk about that for a second? Yo, that's... I, that just gave me the chills. That came, I have the full-on chills right now in my body. Yo, that kid is like, he needs help. It doesn't help that, what, maybe he doesn't have a mom and dad. He has a sister that is very rough around the edges and treats him like a, 
a small baby. And he he was in love with Ogre Pond since he was a small child. And then this stranger comes to his home island and takes it from out underneath him because he was too weak to battle? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh right now. That is... That's deep, dude. What's happening over here? What's what's going on over here? What's this? What's this? Oh, that's my little flag. Dang it. Where am I getting the... What am I getting? Tokidori and all the other silly guys. We didn't even go to Kitakami Wilds or Timeless Woods. I didn't even look over there. We got a little bit of time. Dude, this is so fun. All right, well, I gotta... Hold on. Stop that. Give me this destination flag again. Dude, I've got, like, drift on my joystick. It's so bad. I've been dealing with it all day. All right, come on, man. Go. Let's fly. I gotta find out where these guys are first. Um, I don't know where everyone's located. The Pheasantipity, Okidogi, Ogre Pond. I don't know where any of these guys are. I'm just gonna go to the north and we're gonna fly around and see what's up. If they're in their old spots, then that's great. Awesome. Love it. But if they're not... Let's go take a look. This kind of was where I fought it, right? Oh, I'm going to the north. I need to go to the south. Yeah, if all of the birds and stuff are in their own spots, or sorry, if all of the Troublemaker, the Loyal Three, are in their old spots, then I don't mind figuring out how to battle them and how to catch them. From what I remember, it was like this way, past the crystal pool. I was going so slow motion. Shiny Yanma. I will forever be haunted by the shiny Yanma that doesn't exist. Yeah, you know, whatever happened to the old man and Ogre Pawn, right? Like, that was just kind of, like, brushed under the rug. We need to know what happened to that old man. Did the three Pokemon just, like, destroy him? Oh, what do I remember? Where was that spot? I guess I should, like, press the map and look. It was, like, over here, wasn't it? Oh, gosh. I don't remember where it was. Like, at all. I have no recollection. It was, like, something, like, over in this area. Yeah, wasn't I, like, flying down here? This kind of looks familiar. Kinda. Yeah, we just gotta look around a little bit. I don't know. I could have sworn it was like right here when we found it. Huh. Fascinating. What is a ladder? What is an actual ladder? Infernal Pass. Who's that? Who's this? Jirachi? Oh, Lampant. Cool. I didn't know Litwick was in this game. Well, I mean, we'll catch some new Pokemon. Yeah, I didn't know Lampant and Litwick and Chandelure in this game. That's kind of cool. Let's catch it. Earthquake. We got Grass type. Ah, Grass type with fire moves. Uh, that's kind of uh, interesting. Yeah, so I gotta find the location of the uh, little dudes. That's a grass type? Yeah. Cool. Heat wave, yeah. Wow, man. Okay, okay. That was amazing. A wild Pokemon just destroyed me. Heat wave, huh? We're gonna go Mandibuzz. Yeah, I love that idea. I love that idea of returning back to the the pool. This is level 86, by the way. 
This is my replacement for Vulpix, by the way. Here's my Vulpix replacement that's gonna hard carry the rest of this game. Ghost Fire? Absolutely. And level 86, just in the wild? Like, so strong? Beautiful. Vulpix, catch you later. I'm taking this to the bank, level 86. We gotta find a Litwick, though. There's gotta be one floating around over here. Lampant appears at the moment of death and promptly absorbs a spirit as it leaves the body. Interesting. Okay, a little morbid. Later, Vulpix. Have fun. I got a grass terror type on that. That's actually really good. Okay, hey, Slugma. I need the little... Where is Litwick? Is that a Litwick? Oh, we will finish up this Pokedex, baby. We will. Ooh! Where is Litwick, though? Alright, I mean, we're honestly just looking around at this point. I have to find the location of those, um, those three troublemakers. The lousy three. I would love to have those poison-type Pokemon, but I have to, like, search around this area, because I don't remember where it was. And I need Litwick. Yeah, I get that Euro ball. Euro, Euro. <laughs> oh, man. Let's get that Yiro ball. It's Gyro ball. Nice try. Alright, alright. So I don't think it was this far up. I think it was like in this area. So I'm just gonna like turn and burn right now. We are flying. I mean, if anything, we can probably go set, our, set ourselves up for, like, the easier ones. Like, I know for a fact exactly where the lake is that, um, that the monkey's at. What the heck is that? Oh, Rockruff. I know where the lake of the monkey is, and I know exactly where the barrens are. But, like, the mountains? The mountains are huge. Yeah, we'll have to look around a little bit more. And do we even know that that's confirmed, where this bird is at? I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you where he's actually located. So we're just going into this blind, and we're going to attempt to locate that. But I'm excited either way. Like, that's our next thing, is going through and catching all three of them. Uh, because there's no other outstanding quests right now. Like, we beat the DLC. The only thing left to do is just catch those three Pokemon, and then, like, 100% the Pokedex. Uh, which is something that we will do a little bit later on, so... Oh, yeah, it was through some sort of cave, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know where the cave entrance was. Like, somewhere over here, yeah? Oh, and then I went down in the cave, right? Oh, yeah, something like that, something like that. It was, like, over here with the grass. Yeah, yeah, it was over here with the grass, and then there's a cave directly underneath here. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly this. Okay, I remember this area, and then I just ran all the way on the inside of this. Easy mode. And then I just jumped straight down. Yep, it's exactly what I wanted you to do. Yep, yep, climb on the upside of the wall. Jump off! Yep, good dog. There we go. There you are. Oh, we found you. Okay, so, like, you don't necessarily have to go here. Alright, I'm gonna go to the very top. 
Okay, so we got this bird exactly where we need it. I think he's ready to get caught. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to be a straight battle. And none of my Pokemon are healed. So I got it marked on the map. Let's go get ourselves healed. And then uh, next up, we're going to go catch the bird. We're going to go try to catch the dog. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This drift is destroying me right now. Okay, it's right here. Just get there. Let me heal up, man. Okay, we found the we found the bird. Let's go do it. Yeah, this might be like a normal kind of battle that we're doing here. And uh, I don't think it's going to be a, like a test your metal. Like, beat me up again. I don't think so. So that being said, since it is a uh, flying type, I need to come up with a new plan. I can't mud shot it. Or low its accuracy. I don't know if any of these guys have like sand attack in their moveset. But we'll come up with the strategy. And then we'll uh, we'll get ready for it. So let's go catch these three and call it a day. Anyway, you guys are amazing. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you later. All right, friends. Could be a normal battle. Could be not. Uh, who's got sand attack? I didn't even look at my brand new fire Pokemon, which, by the way, is level 86 with a terra type of grass. Amazing. Uh, let's look at moves. Uh, pain split, imprison... Curse, Will-O-Wisp, Hex, Confuse Ray, Minimize, Smog. Nothing that I need from this Pokemon. Poltergeist, Nightshade. Heatwave is good. Over Inferno is really good. Accuracy is very bad. Fire Spin. Give me like Flamethrower, dude. Heatwave is fine. Energy Ball is great. I don't need Nightshade at all. Where's Shadow? Oh, Poltergeist is actually better than Shadow Ball. Uh, Will-O-Wisp I'll take. Instead of Nightshade. I'll just have it for the sake of having it for the moveset. So I think we're going to be good with that. Alright, here we go. Let's do it. Um, I need to see who does what. You have to have something that can help out over here. Sub... Withdraw, Sweet Scent, Recycle, Astonish. No, he's got nothing. You got something for me? Attract, Defog, Knock Off. Leer could work. I mean, what's probably going to happen is... I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to Screech and then False Swipe it. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Screech and False Swipe should be good enough. Um, Bug Buzz. I don't think you have anything that's like kind of status. Switcheroo. It's like items. I don't have any items for it to switch. Fairy Wind. There's really nothing here. I could use Stun Spore right off the bat. I mean, if I eat a Poison Moomba, I'm done. I don't know how I'm going to pull off a Stun Spore. I mean, I'll try it. I don't think I could Quiver Dance. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to try the Stun Spore right off the bat. So, Ribombi is going to be my first Pokemon then. Yeah, let's try that. You're going to go up to the top. We're going to go make lead position. And then I'm going to come in with Como O. I'm going to proceed to Screech. And then uh, attempt to False Swipe. That's it. And then it's already going to be Paralyzed. So it's just a struggle of reviving and getting everyone going. I don't really have anything else like low hitting attacks, like Leer or something. I was hoping someone had Sand Attack. I don't think Mamoswine... I mean, it's a ground type. Typically those Pokemon have like Sand Attack, right? I don't think it does. I mean, Mudslap is great, but it's a flying type. I don't have Knockdown. No one has knockdown. This is like we're going like full on without any help from other items outside of recovery. So I think I'm good. I think I'm good. You guys ready for this? Let's do it, man. Let's do it. There we go. Look at that. Perfect, perfect walking. I'm not even touching the game. I love it. I love the controller, man. I love the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Like, tell me why. Why, dude? How do I fix this? Go. Oh, now you're not going to do it? All right, let's do it, friends. Let's go. Let's catch this birdie wordy. What's his name?
Let's do this. Uh, we're going to go catch the bird. I'm ready for it. Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah here with even more Teal Mask DLC. What we're going to do right now is we're going to head over to the... Uh, we're going to go find Pheasantipity in the post-game. We've already beaten the story mode. It's time to get the post-game uh, and catch this Pokemon. It's going to be a wild one, and we're using a challenge where we're not necessarily bringing all of our old Pokemon in in order to get this Pokemon, so we're just kind of making do with what we have, and it's been a really, really fun challenge along the way. Of course, you can go and bring any Pokemon you want. Bring Gallade with False Swipe and all that other nonsense. Have fun. False Swipe, Hypno Hypnosis, Sword Stance, he's got it all. He's like literally the best Pokemon catcher. Um, but as you can see over here, we're in Oni Mountain right now, and we're gonna go right over to where this Pokemon is at. You can see where the arrow is, or my little, uh, flag. That's exactly where we're at. So let me see if this works. Yeah, it's like right over here, isn't it? Geodude? This is kind of where I put the flag. Oh, it's in like a little cove. Okay, the cove is a little different than where I was. Yeah, that's not gonna work out for me. All right, let's try, oh, was it, is it that? No way. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Um, the one place that I remembered, it was like over here. So let me try that one more time from this area. It was, like, I had to, I thought I could just, like, land on it. But, like, maybe I have to go through the cave again. So, should be fun. Oh, man. I thought it was right there, but I don't know. I couldn't see it. There's probably an easier way of getting it. Dude, move! Not interested. I gotta go get this bird, man. All right, let's get it. Here we go. Okay, so we are going east of Oni Mountain. Coming right down this way, from what I remember. Yeah, right over here. Yeah, at this landing. This is exactly it. So this little gray landing, right here with that little boulder on it, that's exactly where we gotta land, right? Okay, so this is a good way of kind of learning the mountains. Um, once you're over here, all we have to do is go inside, and then uh, through Chilling Waterhead, we should be able to find this little spot right here. Ah, there we go. Perfect. If you don't want to go through the cave, you can absolutely just fly over to the spot. I'm just showing you the easier way of doing it, because this is from where the story was. And then boom, we are right here in Oni Mountain. So yeah, this spot exactly right here. I'm going to set this as a destination in case you guys need it. Um, it is over here. So you can fly over from this uh, crystal pool, head directly east over in this area, kind of where near this like grass is. And uh, you'll see it right here. So this is just like a little spot. And if you wanted to jump down or climb up from it, that's exactly where it's at. So I'm going to save the game. Oh gosh, don't do it. Ribonby, don't do it. All right, I'm going to save the game right here. This is our team. I'm gonna. Uh, my plan is to use Thunder Wave or Stun Spore to stun it. What what is going on? Hello. Perfect. Save the game beforehand, just in case. Hello again. Yippee yippee yep. Okay. What are we doing here? Oh. Yeah, let's go. I can just throw a quick ball. I can easily... You at home can easily throw a quick ball and probably get it. I'm going to go for the Premier Ball Challenge, which is a little bit more self-inflicted. So using a Premier Ball, like the lowest capture rate outside of a Beast Ball, I'm going to give it a shot. So let's figure it out. Great. Great. And my stun spore did not work. And here comes a flying type. Roost, okay. I like that. I actually don't like roost. 
That's going to be really hard to deal with. But now that we got Stun Spore, we're going to be fine. Okay, great. So, now that he is paralyzed, all we need to do right now is... I don't know, switch to another Pokemon that can do some work. I'm going to come over here with Como. o uh, We're going to do some Screeches. And once we get this thing all the way down to... What? Minus six defense? I should be able to proceed to hit it with as much power as I can. Yo, he's Fairy Poison? Oh, fascinating. I thought it was flying. Oh, wow. Here we go. I don't like the confusion. Oh, dude, I did not press run. That was like Joy-Con Drift. Thank you. I'm glad that you can't escape. Uh, I'm just going to go full heal. full heal. I just don't like the confusion right now. I'm not going to deal with it. Okay, here we go. This is great. I like these long, thought-out battles. It's They're my favorite, right? Throwing a quick ball first turn? Not my style. I like a little bit of a challenge. Especially when it comes to, like, these, I don't know, pseudo-legendaries, whatever you want to call them. That's my style. Okay, he's at minus six defense right now. Paralysis was a great idea. Flatter is not okay. Yo, you got two confusion moves? That's annoying. Am I just going to keep on healing? Like, what is this? And hope for the paralysis? I don't want that at all. I got 23 full heals. That's hard. Yo, not okay. Yo, what is his fourth move? This is rough. That's a rough one. I'm just going to wait for the Paralysis. I have, like, plus four attack right now. This is great. Like, please, keep on swaggering me. I'm at full max attack right now, and this is, this is fine. All I need to do is just keep on stalling with full heals. If I keep stalling with full heals... He's going to eventually get fully paralyzed, and then I can hit him one shot with False Swipe. Beat up! Nice. Good job, thank you. That's your last move, beat up. Here you go, False Swipe all the way down. Boom! Look at that, 1 HP. Cool, flatter me all you want. Premier Ball Challenge complete, check this out. Predictions at home, how many Premier Balls to get this guy? I don't know if that's actually 1 HP. It looks like 1 HP. I've got 165 of them, so let's go. We'll be here all day, baby. Wow! Really? Not even! Okay, you know what? Actually, Como O is the master of this entire DLC. Just the resistances are so good. One, two... Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. I'm not even going to attack. I'm just tossing balls at this. Like this, I love this. Like we got you to the point. The only thing that would be better is if we were messing around with hypnosis. But we're not. And I'm glad that we're not. Because then I would have to hit through confusion in order to get the re-hypnosis. I would miss hypnosis half the time. No way, man. This is like the second best. These are the second best odds right now, so we'll get it. Oh, that's not cool. Okay. Yeah, that was not cool at all. Am I confused? I have so much damage right now. I don't like roost. That's like two roosts right now, right? How many, how many did you do? Where is the um, full heal? That's not okay. 
I had my window right there. I threw like three premier balls. And where's the paralysis at, man? I'm gonna be running out of full heals over here. This is gonna be an arduous battle. Yo, he's roosting all the way back up to full. That's fine, because all I need is one clean hit. That's three roosts. I'm counting. You better believe I'm gonna count. Boom! Goodbye. And now you're paralyzed. So this is our, what, fourth attempt? I don't know, fourth, third. Not even. Oh, wow. One, two, ooh, man, two, two shakes. Flatter me up, man. Premier ball counter at home. Where are we at? I think under 20. We'll go under 20 for sure. Nope. One HP and paralyzed. That's rough, man. Yeah? Oh my gosh, really? What a tease. Oh, we had it three shakes, but cracked out right at the end. Deal. Great. And that's how you catch the Pheasantipity in a Premier Ball. Worked out flawlessly. Oh, I love that. Love that. Okay, Pheasantipity, Poison Fairy. I thought it was a flying type. How was I doing super effective ice damage with Mamoswine? Was it flying earlier? Pheasantipity owes its beautiful looks and lovely voice to the toxic stimulants emanating from the chain wrapped around its body. Wow. Uh, cool. I won't add it to the party, but, like, that's great. We'll send it to the boxes. Actually, I want to see the summary. What's its ability? That's kind of cool, actually. Um, toxic Chain. The power of the Pokemon's Toxic Chain may badly poison target um, that it hits with a move. Wow. So it used three Roosts. I thought, wow, that was really good. One HP. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Oni Mountain. Brave Nature. Cool. Yeah, yeah, Beat up Swagger. Flatter. Dude, you think that's a flying type, but it's not. I could have came in with... Um, <laughs> I could have came in with Mamoswine and, like, used the mud shot on it. Well, that's great. Congratulations, and that's exactly where you find it. Okay, well, let's go get our last Pokemon, or our next one. Um, of course, if you already know, the monkey is hanging out by the lake in the corner over here. So we're just going to go over to Monkey Lake. Uh, we're going to set that as a destination. We can come over here to this little Infernal Pass, or any other fly spot, and we can head on over that way. Easy. All right, so paralysis is very, very powerful. I need to make sure that we're all good on that. I mean, we're fine. Ribbon B, Como O, you're good, dude. Like, you got this. We didn't really do battles, right? We really didn't. So uh, we got that. And the Premier Ball Challenge was a success in less than 20 Pokeballs. So we were really great. Like, I think that the fun part about that is going to be bringing your Pokemon and doing the work of getting the Pokemon all the way down to 1 HP. Uh, which is so much fun, right? And then getting the status and all that stuff and then trying whatever Pokeballs. Like, that's great. That's fun for me. I mean, or you could just throw a Quick Ball and rob yourself of the challenge. Whatever. Play how you want. All right, here we go. Check this out. All right, yeah, big monkey. Here we go. I'm going to save the game. We're going to save our adventure so far. I'm going to go into... Let's see, let's see, let's see. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go into you. We're to change moves. We're going to... Since I have Mamoswine, he does have a very awesome move called Mud Slap. 
And I think that's going to be priority number one. I'm going to go with that. Actually, mm, yeah, 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 that's perfect. Check this out. Check this out. All right, so we're going to go priority number one with Mud Slap. And then we're going to go into Ribum B uh, for the Paralysis. And then we're going to go into Como O for the Screeches and then the False Swipes in that exact order. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and save. Make sure there's no shinies on screen over here that I might be missing out on. Let's hop off this dog and let's go get him. Sup, monkey? Okay. Yep. That's a uh, that's a big one. All right, you can throw a premier ball first turn if you want to, but that's not gonna work out. Psychic hurts. How much? That's a lot. And you got the toxic on it? Unbelievable. Well, here's a mud slap. Yeah, there's no way I can keep up with that. I got one accuracy lower. This is very scary. Unless he misses this one. Future Sight is also kind of scary. Because, like, my next Pokemon that, that comes in is going to eat that hit. Unless he does, like, another Future Sight and it fails. I just need my Mamoswan to be KO'd at this point. Sludge Wave. And he missed. Beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. So now I did three lowerings of his accuracy, which is perfect. It allows my Ribum B to come in real quick, do that Stun Spore, and get right back out. And I fainted. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Alright, next up. Here we go. We're going to go Ribum B. Done. Uh, we're going to use Stun Spore on it. I don't have an electric Pokemon that can use Thunder Wave, but that can easily work for you. It's probably a little bit better. But this is a fast Stun Spore. So as long as I get that on it, I'm good. I'm not going to attack it at all. I just need to straight switch out. Perfect. I mean, it didn't even matter. I would have loved to have get, gotten KO, but here's the future sight attack, which is how strong? And it missed because of the accuracy. That doesn't make sense. All right, whatever. I mean, he set the future sight attack at 100% accuracy, so that should go through space and time for two turns or whatever and then hit at 100% accuracy. But his accuracy is like half right now. Dude, enjoy it. Enjoy that. Here we go. Monkey Dory. I'm going to go one Screech, probably one False Swipe, because he's already at that low health, and I don't think that Monkey Dory has a way of healing. So we should be fine. Nasty Plot's kind of scary, though. Like, legit, that's very scary. I'm going one. Okay, maybe two would have been great. Alright, now things are getting a little scary. And here comes a future sight attack. It better miss. That's a plus four future sight attack. Shoot, dude. And it's super effective? Ah. I should have gone for two screeches. Okay, okay. Now we need fodder. Uh, Mandibuzz. Ribambi. Lampant. I don't have another thing over here. So we need fodder to take potential hits and then go from there. I don't like the fact that he's throwing out psychic moves over here. So, I'm not going to use max revives, but I do have plenty of regular revives, 71 of them. I'm just going to take two turns to burn them. And then I have to somehow switch. Yeah, Como O is not really a good pair for this, but like he's my only guy that has that move. Uh, fall swipe. So, I'm going for it. Full restore. Let's go hyper. Uh, yeah, hyper is 120. That'll be fine. I got 72 of them. So I'll rinse and repeat this process as long as I need to in order to get this. Miss. Great. I want more Sludge Wave. So this is where Como O... Oh, this is hard. Because I have to take a switch in, which is potentially one hit. And that's going to be bad news. So let's, let's do this. Future Sight is fine. I'll take that all day. That's two turns... I can do, like, another Screech, or I can do two False Swipes. I can do one Screech. Oh, come on, get it. Good. Future Sight Attack is going to hurt if it does hit. It's plus four, and it's super effective. I just need, right now, 
All I need is the false swipe. And bet, it's happening right now. This is gonna get him down to 1 HP. And then I'm gonna eat the future side attack soon. He's at plus 6 right now. That's pretty scary on the sludge wave. Here's the future side attack. Boom, get KO'd, which is amazing. Great. Cool. He did everything that he needed to. He got this monkey down to 1 HP. So now we're gonna go over to Mandibuzz. A little scary. If I get hit by a sludge wave. At plus 6. So what I'm gonna do in order to mitigate that is I'm gonna go with uh, X Special Defense. On Mandibuzz right now. Because I don't want to be caught and get hit by that at all. I may do three of these. Psychic's not going to touch me. I'm a dark type. Like, come on, monkey. Alright, I'm going to use another one. Check this out. X special defense. Done. Get it. Okay, here's a sludge wave. Let's actually look at it. And that's half my health. With that. And I don't have roost for some reason on this Pokemon. I don't understand. I should have Roost on this Pokemon. That would be so e so much easier. Uh, for safety's sake, I'm going to 100% use three of these X special defenses just to mitigate his entire um, moveset. Right? We're fine with this. So now here's a time where we start pelting it with uh, Premier Balls. Keep count at home. One. First try. Bet. Mm, okay, maybe not. Oh, one's good. Here's two. Predictions at home. Okay, get it. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a monkey. You're mine. We just need that critical capture. That little shake in midair, man. We need it. So yeah, Mandibuzz is actually really good against this. Um, the poison is a little rough. So actually, Bronzor. Can you believe it? Bronzor would be amazing against him. Bronzor with it, like Hypnosis? Bronzor not only resists the Sludge Wave 100%, but four times resists the Psychic moves. Bronzor would be really good. Or Bronzong, whoever. Do it. Okay, now we need to heal. That's a little much for me. So we're going to go for Max Potion. Yeah, the Sludge Wave is now like a 3-hit KO. So we just have to be mindful of that and how much it's going to be taking away from our HP. Paralysis is beautiful. It's just going to be pelting balls at him now. Music's kind of fun, too. Wow. What is this, number 9? We gotta go under 20, man. No, he's not doing it. What was that? Foresight? Uh, Foresawn attack. Oh, Future Sight? Dude, this monkey does not want to stay in the ball. You know, we got actually pretty lucky with the mud shots. Honestly, that was so good. Come on. No, dude, not any... Oh my gosh. Not any chance. He's not even shaking at all. It's just all, like, odds right now. It's just the odds. And we have the second best odds in the game in order to catch him in this fashion. The only thing better would be putting him asleep. And he's got tons of power points because 
Nasty Plot has like a lot. It's got like 20 or something like that. So we got all day, monkey. One, two, three. Oh gosh, we got two shakes. Not bad, not bad. Jumping through hoops, man. Yeah, the mud shot was actually very clutch. I'm now thinking about that. Go, 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 go. Two. Oh, wow, really? Okay. Okay. Ooh, all right. One, two, three. Oh, wow. All right, man. We might be going plus 20 balls on this guy. We got it, man. We got. A, I got 140, man. I'll be here all day. You monkey! Come on, man. Less than five minutes. Bet. Here we go. Really? This is so vanilla too, right? Like, we're not using anything. We're not using Bright Powder as a hold item. No way, man. What did we do? Just like revived our guy once or twice? Like, we're fine. One, two, three, and... Oh, come on, you monkey! Oh my gosh, this is so good. Really, monkey? Alright, that hurts. That's like a good, like, one-third health. I'm fine. Like, we matched our defenses. Two. Oh my gosh, man. Yo, do the Premier Ball Challenge at home. I dare you. Nah, I'm just gonna throw a quick ball. Says some of you. Yep. Oh, man. Alright, show me, man. Show me you're a true Pokemon Master to catch all of these legendaries, pseudo-legendaries, and Premier Balls like a champ. One, two, and three. That was it. Come on, man! Let's go, monkey. I said five minutes. And that's all you're getting. Really? Ah, man. I guess I should start planning for the next guy. One. That is uh, very hurtful. All right, let's do this. Bag, max potion. So you got to keep up with your HP, man. Sometimes he's going to hit through that. All right, go, go, go. Beautiful. Keep hitting me with those psychic moves, broski. You're great. You know your type matchup so well now. Wow, man. He may PowerPoint stall me and then struggle for the KO. That's unfortunate if that's the case. One, two. Really, monkey? Oof. This was a lot longer than the previous guy. It's fine. If I used like an Ultra Ball or something else, like I'd have him ages ago. But no, man, this is a Premier Ball challenge. Let's go. That's what we do here in this household. We only use Premier Balls on Legends.
Go, go, go. One. Yo, I'm almost at like five minutes from five minutes ago. Like, that's all I budgeted for him. Dude, you had three shakes! There's no, like, fatigue. There's no built-in fatigue in the game. It's just all algorithm-based and odds and RNG. Three hoops you gotta jump through. Four? Technically four? It's all algorithm-based, man. What's the capture rate of the ball? Right? Is there a status condition, yes or no? If so, which one is it? Right? What's the current HP? What is the Pokemon's capture rate? Like, it all goes into a calculator. And then there's, like, some multipliers of, like, RNG. Uh, like, random numbers to jump through as well. Oh, my gosh. Anytime now, monkey. Let's go, dude. We just need, like, a critical capture. No way. Yo, this monkey is being rough. I'm worried that he's going to PowerPoint, st PowerPoint stall and we're going to have to do this all over again. We got really lucky with the mud shots. And I don't want to have to go through that again. Come on. Oh, one, two. Dude, stop, guy. I mean, he's not hard. By any means, he's just a pretty stubborn monkey. I think all he has left is nasty plots. And I'm hoping that we could PowerPoint stall him whenever he gets fully paralyzed. Got him. That's two out of three, baby. Good job. Oh my gosh, catching those two is rough. Uh, we did it, though. We did it. So there's Monkey Dory. Premier Ball Challenge done. On ball number 43. All right, the chain is made from toxins that enhance capabilities. It stimulated Monkey Dory's brain and caused the Pokemon's psychic powers to bloom. Oh, wow. Uh, fascinating. Cool, let me look at this guy. Poison Psychic, cool. Yeah, he had three more nasty plots. He had three more nasty plots, and then he would have struggled out. So that would have been a reset. Oh my gosh, can you see that right now? At 1 HP. So, so hard. Three more. Oh my gosh. Yo, get put him in the boxes, man. Put him in the boxes. We're done with that. Get his monkey out of here. Oh, we gotta go get Okie Doji. Uh, let's do it. Let's go get Monk Okie Doji. Okie Doji. Okie Doki. Uh, where are you? You're in the Barrens over here somewhere. I Do I remember where he was? Somewhere over in this area. I'll find him. Alright, anyway. Uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. We got two out of three. And then I think we're going to be golden. So uh, let's go find that last one, shall we? Thanks for watching. Alright, Premier Ball Challenge. That's done. Premier Ball Challenge is done. We have one more to go. And then I think all we have is... Uh, what? Like a couple Pokemon that we haven't explored in the areas? And then tomorrow, I think I'll focus on 100%ing the Pokedex. Like, I gotta get some sleep. It's like literally 3.30 in the morning. And I gotta go. <laughs> so let's do one more, man. Let's do one more. Uh, if you guys are good with it, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Uh, Delta, all of you guys at home. Toadster, Laney, uh, all of you guys in the United States that are, like, still awake right now. You guys are the super fans. So you guys are amazing. 
Good to see all of you guys. All right, good to see all y'all. What are my stats on my Pokemon? Let's go get healed up first. And then we'll repeat our process. We'll repeat our process and go from there. So let's do it. Hey, what's this about a Nintendo Direct? Don't be saying that. Don't be saying that unless we got some confirmation. Did I miss something while I was streaming over here? Don't. That's like crying wolf. That's the worst thing you can do. Especially to me. Get that out of here. We don't do that around here. Alright, you guys ready? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Half awake dragon over here. Alright, cool, cool. We got this, man. Yeah, I don't I don't care about rumors, I don't care about any of that direct stuff. Don't go mentioning directs, please, thanks. Unless something's been confirmed. That's annoying. All right, let's do this. Uh, Paradise Barrens. It's like there's usually a direct around this time. Like, no, don't. Let Nintendo do their stuff. That's it. All they usually do are... Oh, no, I don't care what they usually do. No. Stop. All right, where's your monkey? Yo, where's your doggy? Where are you? Wasn't he over here? Fudge, I gotta remember where he was. Yo, Como O is like the best Pokemon. Where is this dude? Oh, there he is. Seizing? What is he doing? Weird. Stop walking backwards, controller. Just do it. All right, here we go. He's like literally right in front of me over here. Like right, like right, he right here. Okay, perfect. Okay, are you guys ready? We have enough Premier Balls, so we're like, we're fine. Let me save the game, though. Uh, same strat. I'm probably gonna eat a close combat, which is gonna be very bad. But he only has five close combats, so this one's gonna be a little bit harder. He might run out of, uh, power points, uh, depending on what he's trying to do, so I'm ready for it. Alright, let's see some big hype in the chat. If you guys are members, we actually have the Premier Ball emoji. If you guys are members, so let's go ahead and put all of those on board. Don't we have the Premier Ball emoji floating around? Like, where is that? Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, let's see that Premier Ball hype. Dude, we've been doing Premier Ball challenges since, like, the very first time. So let's do this. Please, please watch as this controller just drifts downward. It's a beautiful sight. It's a beautiful sight for an $80 controller. I love it. Oh, my gosh. Help me. Don't you, Bombardier. You're not shiny. Don't come near me. Don't come near me. Unless you're shiny. Like, I'm good. Alright, let's do it. Oh, come on. Move. What? Now, as soon as I unpause, he's gonna be there? Alright, great. Okie dokie. Okie dory? What's his name? I don't even know, man. Um. What's the monkey's name? Monkey dory? Monkey dory? And then it's Okie Dogi. Yeah, these are weird, weird names. Monkey Dory, Okie Dogi. Oh my gosh, these are weird names, man. Just keep on adding them. All right, let's do this, man. I'm ready. It's like 3.30 in the morning. I don't know how I'm staying up this long. Let's go. I just got to get this Pokemon, man. Last one. Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdali here with even more Pokemon DLC. It's time to get the last of the uh, famous trio Let's knock it out. We've got our friend Okie Dogi over here. So with Okie Dogi, we're going to do the same concept as before. Remember, we're not using any crazy Pokemon that you got from Paldea. Uh, we're using Pokemon that we caught here. So my st first strategy is going to be using Mudslap as much as I can. I'm probably going to eat a close combat right off the bat. So, like, maybe, maybe if I paralyze first, I think that'll be a little bit more successful. So how about we try that? Uh, so I have Ribumbi with uh, Stun Spore right now, which is great. Let's get the Paralysis. And then I'm going to go with our Mamoswine to do Mud Slap to lower his accuracy as much as I can while I'm alive over here. And then we're going to come over to our Como-O 
do a little bit of a combo of Screech and False Swipe. I think that should be good enough. And then proceed to Premier Ball. Welcome to the challenge. This is the last of the three. Save the game. And then let's knock it out. Let's get that Premier Ball challenge. Three for three, man. Feel free to go ahead and do this challenge at home. Or if you don't care, throw a quick ball. I don't care. Play how you want. This is just more fun for me. Well, hello there, kind sir. Yeah, yeah, that is terrific. Oh, here he is. Poison fighting, yeah? Oh, man, if I eat a poison move. I think I'm faster. Rybumby is very fast, so we're going to go Stun Spore. Of course I'm going to miss. Great. Hit me with a close combat. Oh, I needed that! Ah! That's a bad start. I can't run either. I... It's not 100% accurate, so you can't be mad at it. You use it. You just use superpower? Lower your attack, whatever. I'll revive these guys, it doesn't matter. I'm made of revives, bring it on. Okay, so this dude is legitimately doing work right now, and I don't like that at all. I'm not gonna Will-O-Wisp or anything along those lines. That doesn't make any sense. But what we need to do is we need to uh, revive some guys. <sighs> not with max revives, those are hard to find. Why are max revives such a hard thing to find in games? Like, why is that a thing? So, close combat superpower doesn't work. Brutal swing, you have that move? And you poison me with that? What a guy. Already things are not looking good in this challenge. Alright, of course it's the last one that's going to do it. I do want Mamoswine to actually take a hit. So we're going to try him again. If I could force him to use superpower and actually hit me. You got Crunch too? I burnt him. I didn't realize I had Flame Body. That's not going to work. I did save the game, yeah? I did? It's not going to work. No way. Run. Can't escape. Why can't I escape? Dude, the, why can't I escape? It's just not a thing. Okay, I saved the game. I'm going to dip out. That is just an unfortunate start that I missed the move. And then I didn't realize that Lampant had Flame Body. I don't know what other ability I thought it would have. Um, but yeah, we saved before. Um, we saved beforehand. So I think we're we're good. We're good. You know, you can't, you can't have the best luck all the time. You just got to do your thing. We have our plan. We're going to stick with it. That's the number one goal. Uh, Okie Dogie is really strong, and he knew what to expect. He wasn't missing moves. He wasn't... He knows his tight matchups. He's strong. All right, here we go. Ribe and go. No fancy items. Nothing. It's even more challenging that way. I could throw Bright Powder on every single one of my Pokemon. I could throw Leftovers... I could throw Focus Sash on a whole bunch of them. Like, no. Let's make it as organic as possible. So that you guys can replicate it at home. Here we go. Don't miss. Beautiful. Good. Now get KO'd. Alright. Good first turn. Superpower. Beautiful. He's going to lower his own attack. Love that. Do it again. Please. Hey, this is good. I, just, I don't want to crit right now. I guess I will drink and kiss. Mmm, yummy. I'll do baby chip damage. It's okay. Get a little bit of health from it. If he uses superpower again, that's amazing. He's just lowering his attack stat, which is so good for us. Yeah, yeah, keep lowering that. And I'm going to keep on drain and kiss. Barring a crit, I should be able to do one more. And if I can get him to lower his attack stat even more, that's great. And his defense is lowered, too. Crunch is fine. That's not going to do much. The only thing I'm worried about is Poison Jab. I'm going to do one more Draining Kiss. If it crits, it won't KO. 
This could be a KO for me right now, so I'm going to switch out. Or hope that he does Poison Jab. That's amazing on Superpower. Yeah, so now I can go in. <sighs> He's got a lot of moves. I'm going to go in with um, Mamo. And hope that this works. I hope I get the Foley Paralysis over here. I want Mamo Swine to at least hit three Mud Slaps before getting KO'd. Yeah, 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 that's beautiful. I don't know if he has close combat, to be honest. One? That's a lot of damage. Maybe I shouldn't have been doing that with Ribum B. I'm gonna do one more. Barring a crit, I should be okay with one more Mud Slap. Oh my gosh, that's way too close for comfort. Not okay. I usually like doing three. So the misplay that I did right now was going a little too much on Ribum B's, like, like attacking. Didn't need that. Uh, he's only doing physical attacks right now. So all I need to do is get him to one HP. And then we start reeling in. Yeah, that doesn't do much. But he's going to do the Poison Chain. Okay, great. Brutal Swing. Poison's going to be really annoying for this battle. It's like, maybe if I had a Poison Pokemon, that would be really great. But we're going to go Fall Swipe. Boom, he's now at 1 HP. Paralysis, beautiful. And here we go. We're already at a spot where all we have to do is... Stall. And go Premier Ball. We're already here. This is great. Here we go. And predictions at home. How many Premier Balls? I hope less than 40. Because Poison's going to drain me. And then I'm just going to use all my other Pokemon. It's very toxic. One. Oh, okay, Dogie. Great, the accuracy is perfect right now. Uh, this poison is uh, taking its toll. It's okay, here comes three, man. Wow. I mean, I could use a full heal. Or not. It doesn't matter. Okay, here we go, here we go. So Pokemon that's not going to take a lot of damage is Mandibuzz. Uh, because there are, what, two? You got Brutal Swing and Crunch. Brutal Swing, Crunch... Uh, what were they, the other ones? I don't remember his other moves. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll be fine. Oh, Poison Jab is one. What's his fourth move? Did we see it? Oh, superpower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He doesn't have close combat, which is great. Alright, here we go. Good thing we got that accuracy debuff, because, like, I would be getting poisoned. And I don't want to waste all my full restores in this guy. Come on, man. There we go, good paralysis. It's like a 50-50 almost. Let's go, let's go one. Really? What a monkey. Ooh, big superpower. Does not hurt in the slightest. Ah, uh, that does hurt though. I don't like the toxic chain. And that's literally toxic. So every turn that, like, you take that toxic damage, it is 100% doing a lot more. I can just do full heal. I'm fine. I don't need the waste the, uh, the full restore. This is fine. It's unfortunate because it burns a turn. And it's probably going to burn a turn again. Oh my gosh. Not every time. Interesting. Yeah, not every hit that you do with this ability will give you poison damage. 
Yeah? Oh, come on! Nope. That's unfortunate. Oh, another full heal. Dude, this guy, the poison's like really not a joke. Accuracy would have been a priority for me. Ribon B, man. Loved kissing this dog. I don't know, getting like doggy kisses over here, some drool in the mouth or something. Poison. Good, 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 good. That is a good doggy. Love the missing. Not happening. 14, 15 balls. What do I got? 100 HP? Next time I get poisoned, I'll use a full restore. Let's go, man. I'm not made out of premier balls. I gotta catch this trio. Wow. How much health do I have? Uh, I may need to heal. 78? I'll be okay. Come on, man, just get in the ball, monkey dog. Yeah? That's all I needed to do is call you a monkey dog. Perfect. Wait. What? Why did that, like, freeze a little bit there? Oh my god, it was very scary. Alright, cool, I'll take it. The game's like, should we have done that? <laughs> Okie dokie's data has been added to the Pokedex. After all its muscles were stimulated by the toxic chain around its neck, Okie dokie transformed and gained a powerful physique oh okay poison fighting is cool yeah let me take a look ball number 28 not bad not bad not bad okay so yeah we had plenty of moves superpower is only five power uh power points brutal swing had so many more like this one was a lot faster um his yeah his stats are pretty stacked look at that attack stat my gosh wow i love this pokemon he's cool he's actually really cool uh, yeah, we're gonna send him the boxes. Yeah, he goes in, in the boxes for being a bad dog. Boom! Okay. Well, that's it. That's it for all the legendary Pokemon, huh? I don't know if they're calling them legendary, pseudo-legendary, whatever you want to call them. We got them all in Premier Balls. Let's go take a look. Oof, wow, that Premier Challenge was so fun. We have Ogre Pond right over here. Uh, display Pokemon. We got Ogre Pond. In the Premier Ball, top corner. Take a look at that. Uh, we have Pheasantipity in the top corner as well. Uh, we did get our Monkey Dory right over this way in the Premier Ball. And then our last one, done. Amazing. Look at that. So, so done. All four of the legends in Premier Balls like we do here on the channel. You guys are great. Okay, well, we got a little bit more work to do. Let's catch some more Pokemon and uh, finish, finish what we're trying to do here, right? We got to finish out our Pokedex. A little areas that we haven't gone to. I haven't gone over to the Kitakami Wilds. So let's go exploring. Let's see who else we can find. My Pokemon are feeling real good right now. Ribonbee's great. Ribonbee says, put me in, coach. Who's this? Oh, nose pass. That's kind of cool. I'm good, though. Yeah, I don't know what what they're going to be classified as. Like, do you think that, like, all of the, like, Qian Pao and all those other Pokemon, are those considered legendaries? There's a cool little cave over here I didn't even look at. Oof! Oh, 
let's take a look. We're gonna run. Don't wanna deal with Geo Dud. I wanna go on escape though. What? It was just a dusk ball? Oh Geo Dud. Alright, so the treasures of ruin are legendaries. Then why aren't these three and four Pokemon, the mask Pokemon? Why aren't they considered Munchlax? Why aren't they considered legendaries? Hey, I needed this little guy. I don't know. You tell me. What do you guys think? Are these little mask Pokemon? Legends or not? Really, Munchie. Okay, I'm out of here. See ya. Yeah, I'm not messing with that. Alright, Uncha, Uncha. No, you can't see me. Yeah, get hit. Is that a blue spider? No. That's not a blue spider. Okay, I was gonna say, man. We haven't seen a shiny at all. A shiny Yanma's a myth. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Alright, get that Muncha Ancha. You're telling me that Munchlax is a brand new species and I have to give it like a lax incense or something in order to evolve it into a Snorlax? You're telling me this right now? Oh, man. It needs to consume its own weight in food every day. As far as flavor is concerned, it's indifferent. Alright, well, we'll figure out how to evolve that thing into Snorlax. Cool. We got a lot of things to do. We did find Uncha, though, which is real cool. Hey, there's another one. Cool, great. Imagine if I found a shiny one. I would be so over the moon. Yo, Primeape? Oh, wait. Oh, yo, An Annihilate just chilling out here? Oh, my gosh. In the wild? Oh, he's coming after me. Ah, uh, that's not okay. I did not consent to that. I am running away now. That was really cool, though. I didn't ever imagine seeing Annihilate out in the wild. We got some Hatena up in here. We got some Mighty Yenna up in here. Yo, Big Squirrel! Wait, I have Greedent. Get out of here. Oh, thank you. I have Hoot Hoot. I don't have Noctowl. I guess we're out here just trying to find any other Pokemon, right? Where am I? Oh, you can find Gyarados? Oh, we gotta go in the water, and we gotta go inside, um, yeah, this entire area. That'd be cool to see Gyarados. I would love that. Is that a shiny Hoot Hoot? Oh, no, it's not. What's a shiny Hoot Hoot even look like? How do I change it from out of nighttime? Shiny Hoot Hoot's golden, from what I remember. I want it to be daytime. I'm so depressed with this nighttime. Kirlia, leave me alone. I'm just trying to find new Pokemon. It's the end of the game. Who's that? Hatena? That's a big Hatena. No, that's the new one. I'm sorry. Ugh! I have you! It's the middle one. Hatino? Hatrim? Yeah, I don't remember. All right, we're looking around in the wilds for some wild... Nuzleaf! Oh, cool! Yeah, Nuzleaf. Cool, I love this little guy. He's cute. The Quick Ball. Okay, let's do it. I got the acorn, I got Nuzleaf, and then now I just need Shift Tree. Hey, there's a Noctowl! Cool! Uh, it leads a quiet life deep in the forest. If anything wanders into its territory, Nuzleaf will warn the intruder by sounding a grass flute. Okay, give me that Noctowl really quick, though. Hold on, hold on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, 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 go. That Noctowl's flying right away. What's up? They're coming right out at nighttime. Maybe that's a thing. Alright, Noctowl, 69. Let's go. Nope. Oh. Oh, yay! Quick balls are so powerful. 
I love them. And here we go. Its eyes are especially adapted. They concentrate even faint light and enable it to see in the dark. Cool. Noctowl in the boxes. Boom! We need Polyrath. Uh, I can get a Water Stone somewhere. Yo, look at an actual Gyarados right now. Look at this thing. Yeah, Gyarados can fly. I don't know why it's not flying at me, but... I remember Gyarados came out of the waterfall once in Pokemon Snap, and I literally snapped. I was so afraid. Wow, two Gyarados, Cramorant? Look at these things. They're huge. Yanma. I need a Yanmega, please. Okay, that's a big old squirrel. Here, Leah, getting some net balls over here. Who's this in the water? Gyarados? Oh, it's a Swana, and that's a low tad. I'm good. I could use a Lombre or a Ludicolo. I'll take all of those. Who's that over there? I don't know. Oh, is that Indeedy? What the heck is Indeedy doing on an island? I guess. Uh, that's kind of cool. Enjoy. Have a fun time. Player up, there's Quag Quagsire. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. Just seeing Indeedy just stranded on the island over here. Alright, now's my time to get a shiny Pokemon, friends. There's Munchlax, cool. Quagsire doing a little swimmy swim. Mighty Yenna. Who, who, not Golden. Who's that? Pseudo? Oh my gosh, Pseudo Wudo's booking it. Surskit? Wait, wait, wait. Do I have Surskit? Yeah, I knew I had Surskit for a while. Yo, Annihilate, though. That's so cool. Experience Candy Large. Where are we, by the way? Let me look. Oh, okay. Lombre. Yo, you can get Trevenant over here? That's kind of fun. I love the idea of just, like, looking at all these little islands in the water. Like, I love trying to find the Terra Pokemon, too. Like, that Terra was, what, Swana? Okay, so no orange Cramorants. Indeedy is just kind of chilling out with these guys, too. Turtle? Oh, uh, what's his name? Dreadnaw. Yeah, that's right. Dreadnaw is a kind of a cool Pokemon back in the day. Right? Wouldn't, uh... Oh my gosh, is that a Magikarp? Cool. Masquerain? Whoa! Magikarp jumped in the air! Cool! Wee! Look at that thing! What? Magikarp jump? Wee! Look at it! Flying! That's so cool! I don't think I've ever seen Magikarp do that before. Alright, that's kind of cool. Golden Hoot Hoot. Magikarp literally jumped. I can't believe my eyes. You're not a shiny. Yo, now's my time for a shiny, man. I gotta get one. Uh, yeah, I don't think Masquerain is new for the DLC. I don't think so, because I saw a Surskit and I had it. Can anyone else confirm Masquerain? Because I'll go back and get it, like, I don't care. I figured that if I got Surskit, Timeless Woods, who's over here? Oh, Mimikyu, cool! Mimikyu and Pawniard, wow, in the Timeless Woods. Quagsire Terra, who's this? Oh, Morgrim, cool. Yeah, this is where all the cool Pokemon hang out. There's Litwick, needed it, yes, cool. Hey. Alright, who else am I looking at? I needed the Litwick so badly. Yahoo! And then we just have to evolve our little Chandelure guy. Lampant. 
The flame is usually out, but it starts shining when Litwick absorbs life force from people or Pokemon. Cool. Goodbye. Yeah, we got like a really high level Lampent. We did. Sir Skip Masquerain are already in the deck, so that's uh, a hard confirm no. A hard confirm nice try. There's Lampin. Look at that. Just in the wild. Morgrim just chilling out. A lot of Pokemon in the woods here. Who's this? Is that a golden hoot hoot? Nope. Trevenant we have, yeah? Oh my gosh, I don't have Trevenant? Well, I need Phantump then. Don't look at my honey. Wow, I didn't realize that sleeping Trevenant... Wow. Using its roots, Trevenant connects itself to trees and monitors every corner of the forest. It uses curses to drive intruders away. Cool. I like him a lot. Trevenant's one of my favorite Pokemon, too. Very Halloween. Uh, I have to find Phantump now. Okay, so Phantom is around here, and so is Lombre. It's Morgan, where's Phantom? Phantom is like a little floating pumpkin. Who's that? Pikachu? What you doing over here? Let's see who else we can find. Yo, Tentacruel? Who's that? Spider? I want a blue pony. There he is. Cool. Yeah. Got him. That's so cute. I love him. Level 73. These are very high level Pokemon. Phantom looks like a little pumpkin, doesn't he? Am I missing that? I always thought a little pumpkin. Yeah, like a little jack-o'-lantern. But also a stump. Uh, legend tells that its green leaves can cure any illness. Uh, when plucked, however, the leaves will instantly wither away. Yeah, his face reminded me of a jack-o'-lantern. That's why I always think of him like a pumpkin. Alright, dude, our Pokedex is looking stacked right now. I'm so happy. Who else is in the nearby? Vulpix? Hi. I don't have Lombre. I could probably get him. So I just gotta keep on heading uh, to the east over here. Maybe we'll find something new. Hey, anything that's Halloween is pumpkins. That's just what it is in my brain. Pikachu? Okay. Oh, um, I forget. Hat Hatterin? That is just a wild Hatterin over there. There's so many. Yo, Bisharp and the babies? Mimikyu hanging out? Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Mimikyu hanging out near like Pikachu. That's so canon. I uh, got Nuzleaf. Tentacool. Toad's cool. Hoot hoot. You know, I have a lot of these guys. None of them shiny, though. Lorantis, do I have? Yeah, I do. Really falling the walls over this way. Pikachu all over the place. Mimikyu, are you shiny? Phantump, nope. Are you shiny? Dude, you look so shiny. Yo, it's my time. I will get one. Pikachu? I don't know. I don't think we're gonna get a charge a bug. Like, so I have all of these Pokemon in this area. Like, I can care less about them. Electros, big old squirrel. Who's that? Hatrin, there's a Pikachu, Bisharp. Like, no one's shiny, no one's important. Uh, we got work to do, so let's keep on heading out. Aridos, I have. I did catch him in the wild. Oh gosh, there's a Grubbin. I thought that was an item on the ground. Alright, give me like one more look into another area, and then we're gonna call it. We're gonna go into another area and call it. Alright, let's go.
Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready. Great, great. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Chesto berry. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Ooh, a cave. Oh. Oh. Yo, what? Yo, who's got a polka flute? And King Gambit? Who is this cave? With Snorlax blocking the way? That's such a throwback. No. Yo, he's like, you shall not pass. Wild King Gambit over here, friends. Just hovering in the back. Do you see this? This is very rare. Yo, he's like, you shall not pass. Hey, turn around. Oh, okay. Ow. Level 76 Norlax. Ah, see, here's the thing. Bum, 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 bum. Yo, King Gambit is like the king over there. there. He's never in the wild in base game. You have to, like, go find the leader, beat up the leader, get the item. Alright. There we go. Yo, break his back. And I teleport on the other side of him. Yep, now we have a higher chance. Almost every time. If you get the sneak attack, you get him. And now I don't have to worry about, like, luck incense on a Munchlax. I have Snorlax now. That was so cool. King Gambit, though? I can't get over that. That was one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, this gluttonous Pokemon eats constantly apart uh, from when it's asleep. It devours nearly 900 pounds of food per day. 900 per day? I never thought about that before. Mamma mia. Well, welcome to the team, Snorlax. What else we got over here? Who's in this cave? Bisharp, King King Gambit, Dunsparce. What are you guys doing here? I'm just here for this item. Yo, Masterpiece Teacup? Whoa! Whoa, makes a certain Pokemon evolve? Masterpiece Teacup, we found it! Help! Inside a little cave over here, a Masterpiece Teacup. So what, you give that to who? You give that to Pulte Geist? Or Pul Pul Porchak what is his name? Orchata? Macha? What in the actual world right now? What is what is that thing? I I got him. It was like a cup of tea, this this thing. Pulchi Geist? You're telling me that I just picked up the key item for this Pokemon. Masterpiece- what? That's not it, huh? No, that's not it. I don't know. Because mine's a counterfeit? It didn't show that I could use it. What's other items? Let me see. It didn't show that I could use it. Why? Yeah, Masterpiece- it says cannot use. Like, I can't use it on it. Um, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Anyway, um, whoa, what's with my eyes? Okay, here we go. Yeah, oh, dude, Dusclops is here too? I can just honestly spend all day catching Pokemon. But uh, we got we got stuff to do. We'll probably do that on the next, um, next couple episodes here. It's just like catch everything and just go from there. It'll be so fun. But uh, yeah, we're looking real, real good right now. Uh, I think this is a really fun area to explore. I think this has the most exciting Pokemon for sure. Who's in the lake? Quagsire. And uh, I think we'll call it. I think we'll call it right here. This is a great stopping point. Well, we beat the entire game. We caught all three of the legendary um, trio and the ogre, ogre pond. We got a lot of things going. So right now... The only thing we have to do is the Pokedex, right? Uh, in our Pokedex, we have caught 164. 
which is really good. So we have to go through and like manicure each one of these. A lot of them are just like, oh, I have this one. I'm just going to level it up and evolve it. Um, Ninetales is going to be great. I have every single one of these. I don't know who these two Pokemon are. We're going to have to look that up. Um, Shift Tree, easy level up, right? Uh, Sinistra? Sinistra? Like, I don't know how I'm going to get that. So I have to find another Polchigeist in the wild and then give it that little cup. Make sure it's not a... I don't know. Graveler, uh, Golem, and Girder. These guys, we just have to go through and, like, trade. More Pico, I have to find. Lotad, that's going to be easy. Level up. Probo Pass. Like, there's just a lot of stuff. So, anyway. I can go through it all. But we're going to do that in the next upcoming episodes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. All right, friends. Guys, I think we did it. I think we did everything. Oh my gosh, did we do everything? Man, I hope you guys are having a great time today. We did a lot, a lot. Seven, wow. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen episodes. Did we? Dude, I couldn't even tell you. Seven, eight, nine. No, what? Oh. Yeah, we're already over midnight. Which episode is this? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I gotta go mess around with episodes and whatnot. All right, guys. I think that's it. It's literally four in the morning right now. I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, you guys are great. Thanks for hanging out. Shoutouts to all the mods. Our chapter team, you guys are wonderful. Uh, we will jump into this DLC as soon as I wake up tomorrow, and we're just going to finish it out and collect all the Pokemon. So, uh, thanks for hanging out and being part of history today, where we were one of the first people to actually get all of these Pokemon in Premiere Balls, live right over here on YouTube, all by ourselves. Good job, all of you. All right, that's it. Have a great rest of your evening. Thank you so much for all the Super Chats, and thanks for hanging out. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button on your way out if you're not already subscribed. And we will join you for uh, even more of our Pokemon Scarlet tomorrow when we finish out the Pokedex and see what else, whatever else there is to see. Have a great rest of your evening, and please get some sleep. We'll see you later. Adios.